and your gorgeous faces are on stream. Welcome to the stream, All right. guys. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Hello. Feel free to introduce yourselves, talk to people. You are full face cam right now, and we will oh, be boy. the tabletop on as you present. Sounds uh, great. Have you presented Dex? What's that? Are you guys ready to present Dex so I can uh, give judges time? Nah, give me like give a me minute. Give me a second, guys. Yeah. Figure out sideboard. Also, my deck was sorted, so. <laughs> Uh, you gotta shuffle up a little bit? Yeah. No problem. No problem, I'll just hold it against you forever. Understand. <laughs> if either of you have a phone that is smaller that you'd like on the play space, feel free to use that as well. Gotcha. Same note, anything that shows up on the phone will show up on the play space. So. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Uh, try to keep your nudes to yourself. <laughs> sure. Understandable. I feel like Min Max wouldn't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. That's all right. Of course. <laughs> How was your day yesterday? Uh, Could have gone better. Where was the place at? The city? Uh, yeah, good games. Oh, okay. Have hey, you been there before? No, I hadn't. Yeah. Super nice venue. Oh, that's cool. Just good store. It's just yeah. it's a bit of a hike. Kind of hike to get so. there, yeah. Where was it at in the city? I was, yeah. uh, right by, is it DeVry? Paul? Whichever one's in Oh, DePaul? Yeah. yeah, it's up north. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that, well. <laughs> yeah, I don't go there too often either. But. You said you guys had like 30 people, give or take, uh, or 26 or 26, 29, somewhere yeah. now. How many rounds did you guys play? Five. Five? Yeah. I ended up losing rounds two and four to the people who went first and second in the tournament. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You guys some good breakers then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I ended up losing round five as well, so breakers like two, yeah. two and three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Did you play this yesterday? No. I, I do not have the the willpower to play it more than, more than <laughs> well, I, I mean, depending on how this goes, I may play it uh, next week at Men's Charity event. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna do the classic uh, throw all of the cards in against Bravo. Yeah, right. <laughs> not a bad plan, right? Yeah. It's just a pain to shuffle when it's all of the cards, and yeah. I had it sorted, so I'm like, really need this mix. So. Gotta wrap it up, yeah. Yeah. Is Sam playing Briar? Yeah. Yesterday, too? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, it's funny, going into this event, I told everyone I was on Oldham. Oh, really? <laughs> everyone thought I was on Oldham until That's right cool. now. So you are the person who found out? Yeah, we should probably roll. It's uh, 11. Right, I'll go on the play. These dice were deceiving. I thought they were going to be. Yeah, yeah no, they're Heavy, super right? light. Yeah, yeah. 3D printed dice. Yeah. All right, I'm calling that shuffle. Did I grab my equipment right? Okay. Oh, oh it's going to be weird using other dice. Yeah, no kidding, man. Yeah. Uh, Best of luck. Yeah, yeah, ditto. You see me. Pitch, make a token. Two float. Crush confidence, two float. Block three. No reaction. Any? Did you? No reaction. No reaction. Right. I'm gonna react with uh, two cover. Okay. Back to reload. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna place it. Nice. Sounds good. Start my turn. Tunic's gonna tick. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna activate the skull bone cross wrap. 
uh, reveal or release the sensor up top. And I'll leave it on top. Sounds good. Uh, playing release the tension. Was I on plus three? Uh, yes, plus three and defense reactions cannot be played from ours. Got it. Uh, to the next attack. To uh, the next pitch, attack. Right. Pitch to activate death dealer. Loading a yellow sleep dark and drawing a card. Uh, one resource floating. I'll play not the death whistle. Knock the old whistle, eh? Mm -hmm. No, because I meant to resleeve today, but then I realized I was telling everyone I was playing Oldham, and so I couldn't. I didn't get here early enough to actually resleeve without letting people know. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't tell, huh? Yeah. <laughs> A little hard to be like, oh yeah, I'm playing Oldham. Can you resleep? Help yeah. me resleep my Azalea. Sure, deck. sure, sure. <laughs> right. All right. And then Knox gonna put this on top. Got it. Uh, I'm gonna activate Azalea's ability. Sleep dart to the bottom. Fatigue shot into the arsenal, giving it dominate. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play another release attention. <laughs> and then fire a fatigue shot. Come in for eleven with dominate. Okay. Uh, what does that one do? Fatigue shot is on hit. Your first attack action card played next turn has half base rounded up. Half base round it up. That's correct. <laughs> uh, and no defense reactions from Arsenal from the release detention. Right, obviously. right. Uh, let's go. Pass it. Yeah. Alright, take three. 37. 37. Uh, fatigue shot tree. Um, yep. And I'm gonna move to Arsenal. Got it. First attack rounded, or half, you said? Uh, half rounded. Half rounded. Up. Base is half rounded. Up, so it. any any changes past that point will not uh, be in that. Surge pop. Pitch, make it token. Yeah. Six. I'll declare no blocks. Any reactions? Yes. Um, no reactions. Sink below. Uh, move to resolve it. All right. Pass for me. Nothing for me. Take two. I'll take two. Go 40. Uh, pass. Three. Two. I will pitch two to activate Death Dealer, loading a fatigue shot, drawing a card. Read the glide path, helping one. Okay. I'll leave it on top. Uh, take in. Fatigue shot. Coming in for 11. Dominate on this one? Yeah. No dominate on this one. Yeah. <laughs> one in hand, no four. Got it. So this will be another half on the base, huh? That's correct. Got it. Uh, say no block. No reaction. Blocking seven. Yeah. Uh, taking four. 30... 33? Yeah. And I will move first. Got it. So many pumps, Levi. Get me a lot in here. That's right. Surge pop? Yep. Uh, 
Scarf Island. Okay. Make a token. One foot. Four. One for three. The reaction. Nothing for me. Take one. That's correct. Forty to thirty-three. That's what I got. Yeah. Test. All that work to get you right back to where you started, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start of the turn, two next to go to three. Uh, I'm going to trigger the skull on cross trap. Reveal a yellow pencil shot and opt one. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave it on top. I'm play Memorial Ground, parting Remorseless. Okay. We'll trigger Azalea. Giving it down. Seek and destroy. Uh, activate tunic to gain a resource. Okay. And fire remorseless. Coming okay. in for eight with dominate. Okay. Uh, no defense reactions from arsenal. Okay. If it hits, action cards played next turn will lose a life. And at the end of your next turn, your arsenal and hand is destroyed. Gotcha. Just a couple things going on yeah. there, I suppose. Yeah. Right. I feel like I'm reading a whole textbook every time, every time I'm explaining <laughs> yeah, all the things yeah. that are happening here. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on there. For sure. Dominant. There we go. I like that. That's a good marker. One card in hand, a money float. One correct? in hand, nothing float. That's correct. Right. All right, we'll go. Let's see. Two on Mr. Cappy. And then. Uh, say Black Bear for two. All right, no reactions. Uh, movable from hand. Pitch of blue to get there. Sounds good. Uh, and I will move to All right. Cappy's got one. <laughs> Search pop. Uh, command and conquer. Pitch two reds to get there. Four with Dami. Four Dami? Mm -hmm. No on hits. Got it. Uh, if its attack goes above its base, it has on hit, uh, go again. Or sorry, on it has go again and on hit reload. So an automatic go again, but reload on hit? If its attack goes above its base. Oh, it's I see. Not. Gotcha, I see, I see. Two cards in hand? Two in hand. And nothing for it. Got it. Uh, black three. No reactions from me. Same. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a remembrance. Okay. Uh, to release the tensions and read the glide path. Right? Got it. Shuffle them back in, eh? Mm -hmm. I guess that's. You gonna want those later. Yeah. <laughs> Did they note down any potential time extension? <laughs> Josh mentioned they were going to, but okay. as far as communicating that to us, I don't think he said anything. Right. Well, yeah. Just have to check the stream. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll ask everybody on stream to right. petition for us to get a uh, half hour more. So. However long it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's for you. You're good. Yeah. Uh, this is going to get banished. Yeah. 
Did I mark down the one? No, I didn't. No, so I'm at 32. Got it. Uh, and I will go ahead and move to Arson. You got it. Pitch, make a token. Two floats. Six here. And I guess you're below 40 is the question. Yes. Uh, I'm going to declare no black. Is that your reaction? Pass. I'm going to play a take cover out of Arsenal. Okay. And use the reload. Pass. Take two. Yeah, there we go. See? 38. That's what I'm talking about. We're in there now. Arsenal pass. Take the tunic. Yep. Activate cross threat. Reveal a sigil. trying to remember what's on the bottom of my deck. I just shuffled it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, do I want that? Yeah, yeah. No. All right, it's going to the bottom regardless. All right. Uh, I'm going to play the Sigil. Okay. All right. Undo all that hard work. Man, come on, dude. You're killing me here. Uh, and then we're just going to come in with a Commanding Conqueror. Got it. See, all this work for nothing, you know? Jeez. I still put the dice on the Commanding Conqueror because they're... Got it. Why not? <laughs> It's like, everyone knows how much it's always going to be. Might just, as well for consistency. Just in case, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, let's go three, five. I'll put the fist out there for six. All right. No reactions for me? Pass. I'm going to move to Arsenal. All right. Okay, that is four. I'm <laughs> sorry. I just want to make sure. Search pop. Uh, let's see here. Pitch. Make a token. Two float. Pitch six. Uh, no blocks. Any reactions? Pass it. Two. See, there we go. We're there again. Mm -hmm. so I'm talking about uh, 39 32. That's what I got. Yep. I got everywhere. Perfect. Yep, you're good. Draw. Right. Start my turn. Two it goes to three. Activate the cross wrap. Reveal a taking in red. Opting one. I knew that was there. <laughs> just going through the motions. It's <laughs> like, wait, I've seen this card before. Yeah, there was just a fate, uh, right? Yeah. We're going to play a take game. Uh, Plus three in the next one? Yes. Pitch for Death Dealer. Got a Sleep Dart. Got one floating and draw a said card. Okay. And then. Yeah, definitely messed that ordering up a little bit. Uh, we're going to play a Seek and Destroy. I'm just coming with a Sleep Dart for 10. And Sleep Dart is which one is that one? Uh, lose the hero ability if it hits. Got it. Uh, Seek and Destroy is destroy the arsenal. arsenal. This does not have Dominate. Gotcha. When does the Arsenal trigger get the uh, That is at the end of your turn, end just of, before drawing up. End of my turn. Okay. Yes. Got it. Interesting. <laughs> Ten damages, eh? Mm hmm Pretty awkward hand here. But that's another word for blocking hand, right? Yeah, indeed, okay. indeed. But you would think that would be the case. Um, Arsenal for seven. And we'll pitch three to get there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right. Nice. Beginning my turn. Search. Arsenal. Sounds 
good. Back to you. Uh, I'm gonna activate the cross wrap to opt. Springboard, look out. Mm-hmm. Let's go on the button. Okay. Read the glide path. Opt it up. Straight to the bottom, huh? Activate Azalea. Should we run off the top? <laughs> no, I'm not be surprised. Ah. Oh, the Scots dominate though. So that's the old two dominate. Uh, Bridge Rider up. Send that to the bottom. The old two dominate special here? Mm hmm. Oh, it's got a buff. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Release the Got another buff. <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be coming in for seven. Seven dominate. Seven dominate. Yeah. Seven dominate. No defense reactions from RC. That's the Ridge Rider shot. Yes. Or no, that's the release attention. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Ridge Rider spin out. Gotcha. No defense reactions from Mars. Uh, block three on Dominate there. Alright, no reactions. Same, take four. 28-39. That's what I got, yeah. Call on that. Alright, I'll move to Mars. You got it. Yeah, you're thinking two Dominate, that's fine. No problem. Yeah. Then you're uh, releasing the tension there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, pitch, make a surge. Pitch, two float. Anthos. Uh, six, sorry. No blocks. Any reactions? Uh, I'm just going to pummel that for two. So we're up to a nine. Yeah. Play sink below out of the arsenal. Okay. And it said sink below. I will sink this card below. Pass. Take cover. Gotcha. You got it. Pass. Alright. One goes for Yeah. Three. Spend the resource from Tunic. Coming for 8 with Dominate. No defense reactions from Arsenal. Seems good. And then that's uh, actions next turn. Action card. Yes. Action card. Got it. The old quarter. It told me the I whole time. I said you separate three and one. I was like, okay, he's holding Yeah, right. It was the other hand. way. Other way. Uh, we'll go and dominate on that. Uh, one action. Or uh, one health on the action cards. Correct. Uh, I tip my hand off. I think I saw two reds. You saw two, pur two purples and a green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. <laughs> Uh, no black card. 
No reaction. That's the same. 20. The old quarter, George told me the whole time. Mm -hmm. He was looking right at me. It's an important thing to, to note. So yeah, it's true. I gotta get an actual like token for it. A well. dominate token, yeah. yeah. But quarter will have to do. <laughs> Over to you. Alright, search bot. Pitch, make a search. I have two left over. And then crush confidence with the three here. Two in here. Two in here. Mm -hmm. Daily ability is turned off. Yeah, I crush it. Uh, and you lost one life for playing the crush. Yeah, good call. Good call. 19. Pitch a yellow to get there. So I'm taking 11. Take 11. 27. And then I'll decide on my discard. Yep. Excited by seeing something. <laughs> um, we'll the uh, we'll just up the sleep dart for me. And that's the uh, lose the hero ability. Hero ability. Back. I'm yeah, being sleep dart. I think confidence yeah. is back as a good one. Yeah. Normally it's waking up from sleep dart. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll pop the surge. Sure. Uh, pitch. Dominate. Uh, yeah, you did on yep. One left over. And spinal for four. One, two, three, four. Go the surge. Uh, Borrow the quarter. Uh, 
have black card. No reactions. Same. 32. <laughs> Disable for five. Blue yellow. I'm crushed, but your arsenal on the bottom. Uh, seven power. Any reaction? Pass. Got that lunging press. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fake for scene. I mean, it is pretty blue, sick right? if I did, huh? Yeah. Uh, we'll get uh, right. So, button seven. Pass. Arsenal. Oh, there she is. Huh? Release the tension. Activate tunic. Spend the resource. Come in with run the ledger floor. Eight with dominate. No defense reactions from arsenal. One action next turn on hit. George Washington. George Washington. <laughs> Let's remember this time, man. Is that actually George Washington on there? <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, yeah. we look like an idiot. We gotta get an Azalea, Azalea quarter, I think. Right? Be a better way. Yeah. Uh, five. No reaction. Same. Take three. Go to ten. And I have only one action next turn. Is that right? correct? Got it. Uh, move to arts. Go ahead. Pitch, make a token, gain one. Eleven. <laughs> Two left over. Uh, that's that would be your action for the turn. Under red and the Good call. Right, you're welcome to swing the hammer instead if you'd like. Um. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks. No worries. Ten, ten, ten. ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, are you, are you pitching something else for the hammer? Or you, you just want me to leave this here? Oh, and I, I assume that you were just pitching that. Okay, gotcha. You can do whatever you need to. I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay. Let's go to 11 on the pitch. All right. And this is not fair. Right. Uh, I am going to block for three guys. Any reactions? Yeah. <laughs> Activate the cross route, revealing a rain razor. Uh, send this to the bottom. Okay. Uh, play out the rain razors. Pitch for death dealer. Put a golden shot. And draw. Go again on hit, I can reload. Got it. No dummy. Got it. Send six. Lock is good. Uh, we're gonna go again. We're gonna activate the bullseye bracers. What does that guy do? Uh, let's me put an arrow from my hand face up into my arsenal and gives it plus one. You have a battering bolt. We're gonna come in with a battering bolt. This one's gonna be for nine. What does that one do? Uh, on hit, you reveal your hand and discard all cards other than action cards. <laughs> so be all the reactions and instants are going. Got it. 
Uh, I'll send six. All right. Take, take three. three. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Uh, I will move to Arsenal. Feel my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Discard all of that. <laughs> Hoping to catch that uh, part of final. Yeah. That would've been great. <laughs> that would've been pretty good, huh? Star is gaining your life. It's losing your life. Yeah, indeed. Uh, That's battle. hilarious. Yeah. The value there, huh? Right? Uh, thank you. Sounds good. Uh, activate the cross strap. Reveal a fatigue shot. Now it's one. Leave it on top. Uh, activate Azalea. Okay. Release the tension. Pitch for Death Dealer. And draw. Yep. Just gonna come in for eight. No defense reactions from Arsenal. On hit, one action. Right? Dominate? No. Uh, did you guys take note of the time they were in slow tap? No, no worries. You guys have a five minute extension if you need it. How are we doing on time? Huh? How are we doing on time? You have 60 minutes in the round, so you guys have 21 minutes. Okay. Sounds good. Six to twenty-one. That's what I got. We move to Arsenal. You uh, move an arrow. Um, yeah. Harden Arsenal to the bottom, top to the arrow. If it's an arrow, it's an arrow. Yeah, that's right. So you just assumed I wasn't cheating this whole time. Appreciate of it. Of course, yeah, I got you. You just read it and it does something completely yeah, different. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it gives it a go again or something instead of <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, I'll take this Carl Witch Crush, put this into my hand. It gives it plus seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> plus seven go again. Yeah. And dominate, of course. It's so. basically a mini star bomb, right. is what it is, yeah. No, no, no. Bigger star bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Bigger star bomb, right. I'll be done there once I shuffle up here. Sure thing. You really cut me on the back for the last, like, 15 turns in a row here. That's the plan. Just bringing the heat, yeah. I'll just on the bottom. Sure. Into my hand, draw three. Sounds good. Start with my turn, tunic is going to go up. I'm going to activate the cross wrap to reveal a red bolt and shot. Yep. One. I'm going to leave it on top. Play a seeking to strike. Come in for seven. Go again. On hit, I can reload. Got it. Loading our remorseless. 
Reactions at the beginning. I mean, couldn't get I anything got through. Them in there. Yeah, and then the sigils, you're at like 65 life, and yeah. then I can't get you. At down. least, it might have been a little bit. Yeah, right? <laughs> a good game. Yeah, you too. I think I maybe messed up a couple times. Didn't give Dominate on turn one when I could have wasted two resources. So, um, yeah, turn one that would have pushed at least three yeah, more days. It would have pushed three more, but I had to. I had to take cover anyway, so my, my turn one was busted. Was yeah, yeah, sure. Take cover, yeah, and then the sigil, sigil. Right? Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh my god, free, so I got, free value, I got reloaded. plus three and yeah. an extra card on yeah, turn right. one, so. Yeah, that was really good. I was like, as an Azalea player going second, that is the exact hand you want to see. That's the one you have. Lucky me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was good stuff. I realized, like, because, like, I was talking about how my cards were, like, clumping, sticking together. I realized, yeah. like, halfway through, I had my deck sitting here like this. And I'm like, uh -huh. you know, I didn't mean to. Yeah, but yeah. it could be looked at as I'm trying to keep track of my pitch that way. Oh, so I don't I know see. if you noticed a couple times, like, picking it up, trying to straighten gotcha, it all up. Gotcha. Well, I know you're always <laughs> trying to swerve something, yeah, so I should have called the judge in here. Right? <laughs> uh, I figure I'll point that out. It's definitely not the intention. Yeah, yeah. Just a little much chat the entire time. Yeah, he's yeah, he's pitching. Yeah, he's yeah. tracking his pitch. <laughs> I, mean, I was tracking my pitch in my head as best I could. But, right. Uh, uh, so that's, I don't have time to resleep. Right. Yeah. Well, you gotta have. You can't give up the uh, the old him swerve. You know. You oh no, keep no, no. I, going, I, right? I, can't, I told everyone that, but I can't really uh, sell that anyone. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess now they over here. Yeah. So. yeah now it's uh, now it's over with. Yeah. How do you go, guys? Yeah, it was great, yeah. Nice, yeah, had fun? Yeah, it was yeah. great, yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Which, who won? Yeah. Yeah. You got time to sit down and chat? Sure. Before the next round, real quick, I'll take three minutes here. I'm already sitting. All right. Or do you need me well, to when move you guys, more? Yeah, when you guys finish up, that's awesome. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks for playing on stream. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a way, like, that last turn when I played this in the showtime, it's like, well, maybe he draws into something and I can try to swing something, or draws into something that's not optimal. Yeah. Can maybe try to get something back, but just too much too much pressure. Yeah, in these long games, like, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my threat density up. Yeah, like, for sure. Making sure. And actually, I, don't, I wasn't back in my pitch, but uh, I started drawing into, like, all red hands. And I'm uh -huh, like, uh -huh. come on, where am I? <laughs> where, I had yeah. this stuff set up, and it was just right. weird, all red hands. But well, yeah, like you said, still good. to your point there, in the beginning, you were just blocking me out the whole time. Yeah. Like, just keeping your deck full of... Arrows, you know? I think the biggest thing you gotta do is with the equipment block. Yeah. That that needs to stop an on hit. That, yeah, that yeah. is going to disrupt you. Because you sure. just used it for health early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when there's an on hit that you need to pull up a something relevant point, that you matters. Didn't, you yeah. didn't have that opportunity so. for sure. Because armor is like the scariest thing for me as an Azalea player. Right, right, sure. And seeing it out of the way early was uh yeah, good thing. Because yeah. that was like a, it was a, I forget what it was, just a huge like 11 or 10 something, something like or other, yeah. right? But nothing relevant. Like right. a, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing was, you, you blocked like six of it. Uh huh. So it's hitting but regardless, the hit happens. Oh, so yeah, I see what you're saying. Just yeah. take the 11, save the help for later. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, I, I actually think that this is a pretty good matchup for Azalea now. Because mm -hmm. uh, with the new tools, we got Neverfest. You're putting your back on the map, Levi. That's all that matters. Until I run into the prisms or old ones. <laughs> then back off the map. Then back off, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, man, good luck. Nice playing with you. Yeah, as we'll always. see you around the room, yeah. Oh, Josh, thanks. Game, oh, oh, I, I, Let's go in. With, with the COVID going. thing, I'm never right, sure. Right, you know what I mean? Good. No, thanks for playing. Thank yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you back here. Yeah, sure. Oh, I got to settle in, dude. I'm going to okay. sit in my own stream. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the end of round one. I am here with round one winner, Levi. Levi, congratulations, man. How did it feel? It felt good. Uh, lean in. Let's talk. talk lean in if you lean, can. Lean in. No, <laughs> uh, uh, no I, it was good. I wasn't the matchup I was expecting, but it's one that I, I played a lot. And 
Everyone says that it's a bad matchup for Azalea, but I think with the new Everfest stuff, it's actually quite good. The release the tensions are huge for stopping the defense reactions, uh, as well as the read the glide path, having that extra opportunity to dominate. Um, every Bravo showstopper I've played against since Everfest uh, have ended up winning, and it's just they, they can't stop enough of the dominate because of those new tools. Uh, okay. Or it was the opposite before, so... Uh, happy with the matchup. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you are on some old tech that I've known about, and you coached me up on a little while ago. You said the Everfest stuff has maybe put Azalea in a more favorable position. Is there a matchup that's out there today that you don't want to see? You're confident in your Azalea play. you got some good decks. What do you not want to see today? Oldham, Prism. All right, so we don't want to see Oldham. We don't want to see Prism. You got the round one win. Do you have any words for the... There's a ton of Azalea fans in chat right now. I wish you could see chat is popping off about your That's Azalea awesome. gameplay. What do you want to tell people out there? Uh, it's just a fun deck to play. I don't know. It's, it's, it needs a lot to be competitive, but I think it's... Uh, a very fair deck right now. All right. Well, hey, you got, <laughs> you got the round one win yeah. playing fair. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah, man. We look you. forward to seeing you back up here in the future. Yeah. Guys, stick around while we wrap up. We're going to get to the next round. Thank you for hanging out. we got more Flesh and Blood gameplay coming your way. We'll see you soon. Congratulations, man. Thanks. That's awesome. It's got to be weird playing with the hot mic, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was weird. Like, I mean, I guess it's still going, but I don't really care. Yeah, most streams don't do it that way, so... I, I want you guys to be able to express yourselves. Yeah, which I, I was really happy I was playing. Am I closer? Or leave the mic as Oh, you leave it right where it is. I don't want to. I don't want to move your cam. Actually, <laughs> we can probably since there's no gameplay going on yeah, right now. Oh, I'm gonna shake a little bit. We'll move it into the middle. Let's make sure it's tilted <laughs> towards you. Nice. All right. Let me make sure we're on the right seat so we can see. Lean in real quick. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. About. What's up? God, you look good. Thanks. I you try. Look, you look good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the stream. we got some time between rounds. So I want to catch up with a couple of our local players and guys and girl, gals that you might know out there. And I am here with Sam. Sam, hey. Dano. what's going on, man? How you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing great. How's, uh, how's your pro quest so far? You got round one. How'd yeah. you do? It was good. I was playing against a Kano player. Okay. Uh, I had the Shock Charmers, though, luckily, so I was very fortunate. Okay. Uh, but uh, it was a good game. We played another game, very friendly. The group of people that we have today is just super great. I mean, it's all the local players, all the great Midwest players. It's just really nice to see everyone's face again, you know? Okay, and are you on the boat that I'm on, that the Chicago scene is one of the best flesh and blood scenes? Maybe because of players like yourself, maybe yeah. not. Maybe some other dudes. But... I, I don't want to take any credit for that, but I think that we have a really great group of people um, just particularly great players but also just people that it's just great to see and hang out with all the time and it's great to see all these new Midwest people come out too that are okay. just spread out through Iowa and Michigan because they got some really great players too so I'm just fortunate to have the chance to play against more people. Right on. <laughs> Heartland of the country, as I've been That's saying, the is. flesh and blood scene. We need some big tournaments here. Oh, well, 64 player I know. quest. That's pretty big. LSS, pay attention. Get a see calling what's going over on. here. Let's go. So you said you got round one done. Yeah. You said Shock Charmers. I'm assuming that means you're on Briar, your patented Maybe. Briar list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was debating Katsu for a while. It was up to like three in the morning, flipping coins, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And so I had sent both deck lists in, and as I was driving in this morning, I saw a local player, John Wood, next to me in the car. And I got very scared, and I'm like, okay, I need to play Briar. Today. Rumor has it he was giving you the evil eye. Yeah, yeah, with playing. a big smile on his face. <laughs> 
Well, that is awesome, man. Yeah. What do you expect to see? What do you expect to come out on the top of this tournament? Outside from yourself, outside yeah. from some of the locals, you know, what do you expect to see in the top eight? Um, well, yesterday we had a ProQuest at, uh, in Chicago as well, and there was no Starbos that were at that ProQuest, surprisingly, but it was a lot of chain, a lot okay. of aggro. Top eight was all aggro, so I'm suspecting there's definitely going to be chain, obviously chain on top. I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple Starbo. I don't know how many there are. I know there's a good amount of Oldham in the field, too, so if they can survive through the prisms, they might have a good shot. Um, but I think we're going to see a lot of aggro, a lot of room blade and maybe a few Guardians here. A lot of Echo, a lot of Ruby, a lot of Guardian. Dude, I love yeah. it. Well, thanks for taking the time. Before yeah. I let you go, you've kind of got, you've built this little cult following, and I know <laughs> you always say, I don't want it, I don't want it, leave me yeah. on it. But dude, you got fans. What do you got to say to your fans out there? Tell them anything you want. You got, the camera's all yours, man. Uh, all I gotta say is I just appreciate you guys. Um, I try to stay under the radar, but when I come out and play these events now, I, you guys say hi to me, or you know me, or I've been called the Drift King on a few occasions. Not <laughs> surprising. It's subtle. It's, it's very I, subtle. I guess I've been yeah. called. <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate it. I, I'm just happy to be a part of this community and try to foster it and meet new people. It's been so great just talking to everybody, whether you're here in the States, across overseas, Europe, Asia, wherever you may be. I'm just really grateful to have met you guys, and I appreciate it. Just keep saying hi, message me and I hope to see you at some more events coming up in the future, you know? Well, dude, thanks for taking the time. I know this time is valuable between rounds. Let's go. Guys, we're going to take a break. We're going to set up for round two. Thanks for sticking around. We will talk to you soon. See ya. See you guys. Go pee. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I don't know why I wished you luck to pee, by the way.
put my mat down or do I have to use this mat? You have to use that mat. All right, all right, all right, all right. So guys, welcome back to round two. We have a couple players here. Uh, introduce yourselves, let everyone know who you are. I'm Nathan. I'm Mark, how's it going guys? All right guys, I'm gonna switch to the table mode. I will let the judges know you have had a little, had a little extra time. Good luck to all players. And if you would like to do something smaller for the next one, please feel free to do so. The good old rubber match. <laughs> good thing I changed decks. <laughs> Would you like to roll these weird dice? Like yeah, go for it. Are they wood? Yes. Ooh. Six. Ooh, those are rolled nicely. Six. All right. Bam. Eleven. Ooh. Oh, man. Have to try it. Not Eleven and a gain your life. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Like first or second, so. uh, I'll go second. That seems good. <laughs> so it was a mirror match yesterday, right? Huh? Mirror match for the finals? Yeah. What was that? How'd it go? You won, right. but besides winning, was it? <clears throat> it was pretty tight. Um, I mean, I went first, and that was basically what decided the game. Oh, was that? All right. I mean, like, they're, we both hit banishes pretty well. I had more red banishes than he did. Um, but. That's fair. I, mean, I feel like banish luck is always a thing in the mirror. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, everything was pretty even. Like, he got the tone, I got the tone. Um, so it was, it was pretty even. Fair. I'm so glad I'm on a dash right now. This meta seems terrible for Kano though. Looking around, there's a lot of Prism, a lot of old hens, a yeah. lot of OG Bravos. Like, a big shift from what yesterday was. Yeah, I saw a ton of old hens. Like, why? Why are we playing old Maybe because there's no Prism yesterday that we're all like, this is my time to shine. A lot of Guardians, a lot of Prism. Mm -hmm. Does this have to sit there or? I, I think this is there exactly for stream, yes. I'm going to whip a little ad on the bottom for. I can see that's for. <laughs> Who'd you play against round one? Briar. Briar? You keep beating these Briars. Everyone tells me it's a bad match for you, but maybe it's not. It's not. No? <laughs> There's a thing called Poskets real good. That, that's fair. Yesterday in our match, I was like, do I just bring Pistol with Go again instead of Pounder? Because I almost feel like that is the same damage, it's just more expensive, and I was like... Uh -huh. Pounder, Pounder essentially negates Tusk. Like, yes, but it, if I shoot Pistol three extra times, it also negates Tusk, right? So but like, that costs you dollar use. No, right, right, right. So that, like, uh, Teclo, Teclo is, like, free on the board, is a plus six. Yes, where but a lot of those turns, I had the extra floating resource or two, and I was like, man, you end every turn with a resource, you're like, I could have been doing this better. I think it slows down your overall game plan, but... I think it does, yes. Because you're just trying to go faster than Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm right here. 
put this match away with Kano. Yeah, you too. Is that cold foil? No, I, I there, foil. there's a cold foil on the Facebook Marketplace right now, and he has no idea how much it's worth, and I don't <laughs> think I want to spend that much money. <laughs> Hopefully they reprint it, because it is a promo, but who knows. And I'll be going second. Best of luck to you. How much AB we got over there? Two. AB two. And Spellboy. And Spellboy two on the helmet. Not bad, not bad. You might want to fix that. I'm at 30. Oh, yep. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I wish I was at 40. point to draw two. I 
Michaels. Four go again. One card in hand, two flow, lots of resources. Uh, no box here. Okay, six? Yep. Two and two with Rosetta Thorn. Uh, take it. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Move that into uh, That's good. Something. You've done it. I'm a personal. There you go. All right. Check a one. The other person. Can I get my ghost feet back? Check. <laughs> Two and two. 
The blue comes in for two, correct? That you reveal? That's a two attack? Two? Yeah. I'm going to see when you flash. That's alright. That's alright. Uh, so that'd be five. Uh, no block. Two. Okay. Uh, so going down to 22. Three? Oh, 23. Yep. Math is hard today. I am not in it to win it. <laughs> Judge, can we get uh, <laughs> some math out here? Yeah, that would be very helpful. Uh, three. Go again off the hook, tree. Uh, no blocks there. So the 20? Yep. Peak. What's that? Um. Uh, five. Five. I'm hit this guy. Pretty good. <laughs> Plus one. Dis uh, Banish draw two. Yep. Uh, any response? Nope. Plus one. Banish draw two. Uh, one card hand. Thirty. That's fine. That's three all. That's all our wars, right? Yep. 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 Checking. Yep. Go sleep for six. Black six. So five, six. Go again. I've hit face one range here. Take three. Mm -hmm. 
16? Or 17? Yep, 17. Good to reach you. Yeah. Rune chant and four. Uh, no blocks. Take five. Down the twelve. Two and two. Go to eight. Not bad. <laughs> Going to Arsenal and send it back to you. I did it. I was hoping. I was like, this looks good. <laughs> Four. Uh, go again. One hit creates two rune chants. Okay, now. Too big. <laughs> Six, six, 
Kill you off, let that. <laughs> That's the new plan. <laughs> Fatigue. <laughs> Fatigue, you know. Okay, so I'm drawing four. So I play energy potion and then take out. If you have any response, go for it. One, two, three, four, five shackles. Drill, bounding, a little. Step is full. Shuttle burst. Block out this turn. I don't think I can kill you, so we're in a we're in a spot right now. <laughs> the conundrum we find ourselves in. Um, <coughs> it's just six. Yeah, and then four. Wait, are you at six? I'm at seven. I'm are at you six. six? I, I myself at six too. I might look at three down. Yeah, so it's just a casual lethal. Yeah, then you have four, uh, two, four, four, and high at least two and two more. So you're representing 14 behind? Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you want to do like math and stuff, sure. Kano during sure. math? Uh, math doesn't even really that important when you think about it. No, definitely not. If I strip your hand, it doesn't matter because you have a zero attack and zero attack. Pretty good. Uh, I like the Kano. <laughs> the, these Kano flips, I think, have been the worst I've ever had. Uh, I don't know, banish it. But it's not gonna, not gonna do much. You 
all your tomes are gone. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it, it was. This is, I think every time I played a tome, I just drew nothing. <laughs> I don't even think you could show me like, this has been the worst game I've had on Kano. This is technically on the top, whatever it matters. Uh, Aether Wildfire, two blazing Aethers are gone. Yeah, it's been a terrible game. Yeah, like, it has yeah. been like... You were, you were out of threat. I, maybe I just kind of fatigued you. I, you have lethal on this family of matters. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Four. I've been pulled. And two are Two. So you took one, right? I, I, I took zero, so I accept your two for the reverberation. I, I will do that. I, I, I bumped you off the hand, too. One of those games where the deck... Oh, this side for them. Sorry. One of those games where the deck is like, we're not going to win today. You just beat Prism, you don't need to be chain. <laughs> hey, you beat a Prism, that's, yeah. a, that's yeah. impressive. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> You had 22 for the, for the record. Got no, it. I already took the two, so I was at 24. <laughs> and actually, no, you, your reverberate was only one, so I'm 25. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Spellboy 2 and 82 is terrible for you. It doesn't even matter, though, because I didn't even do damage. <laughs> I think I flipped all the blues. Yeah. I don't think I flipped the red the whole game. That was... Oof. Yeah, well, good game, dude, like always. Yep, good game. Hopefully we see each other in Top Coat. I'm here for fun today. I am here for fun. We play some Kano. Play some Kano. You said yesterday, no more nail biters, so I decided to give you the easy one. You know, like, <laughs> oh man, my word. You said no more nail biters. Yeah, I, I hate that. Every, every turn is a nail biter with Kano. It's like, can he kill me here? Do I save this thing? Do I go? Every for turn, it was like, I need to kill you. It was like three reds. I'm like, block out. Like, what kind of play? Played Wildfire from Arsenal because I had to get you down a little bit lower because you were at 30. But I was like, if I use this, it's pretty bad. If I don't use it, it's pretty bad. I on top turn two was it. I was just like, this is not. Yeah. This is not what we want. You guys finished Yes, we did. How'd it go? Who got there? Do you want to stick around for a couple minutes for a post game interview? Sure. Oh, geez. Wow. Do you want to maybe give the guys an earthquake and make everyone <laughs> sick? I do. After that game, I'm already sick, so uh, I got me. Well, and then I'll, so I'll do a post game interview with the winner, and then maybe we'll have you come back. We'll think we got a little bit of time to kill. So. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. Cool. No cards on the floor? I dropped like half my deck right now, so that was fun. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, you too. Hopefully you dodge the rest of the prisms and oldums. Half the half the field. <laughs> half the field today. No, no, no I want to dodge. dodge. He wants to dodge. dodge. Yeah, that's a terrible matchup for him. I, I would rather have oldum the prism though. Yes. Yeah. Well, like, I can beat him. It's just not fun. No. It'll take a long time. Yeah. Sorry about that, Josh. That's it's totally right. just head back to your. Uh, that's fine. Not <laughs> mine. Man, you ready to chat? Yeah. Let's pop in. Let's talk about your game. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm getting old. It's hard to bounce around and back and forth here. So real quick, what's your name, man? Tell everyone who you are. I'm Nathan uh, from Michigan. Uh, playing chain today. Nathan, nice to meet you. My name is Josh. Uh, I run Hometown TCG, and we're glad to have you here. So how'd the game go? Uh, it went really well. Um, he didn't didn't hit what he needed, and it from from how we played the matchup, it's it's... When you have two spell void and AB2, it's incredibly hard for a Kano to do anything. Okay. Because um, their Aether Wildfire turns are incredibly muted, and uh, you have, as Chain, you have so much aggression that it's really hard for them to kind of chip you down and set up all at the same time. So. Okay, so you came in, it sounds like you said you had AB2 and two spell void. You were expecting a couple Kanos out here. I, I did not want to lose to a Kano. Okay. I, I, I can sacrifice two. Two, two places for Null Rune, and 
the goal is to just not get high rolled by Kano <laughs> and make that matchup pretty much free. Well, you're seeing it pay off here in round two already. You get the Kano matchup, you're prepared for the Kano, and looking at the life totals here on the board, you took care of business. Now, come to that last turn. This is something we talk about a lot on stream. It's something, something I'm sure you as a flesh and blood player of experience. When you're sitting across from a Kano, trying to go off, what are some good signs for you as his opponent that you want to see when the Kano is trying to make it happen? Yeah, so like going into that last turn, he had no arsenal. Uh, he had an energy pot and four cards. Uh, he'd already burned Talismanic Lens. At that point, I feel incredibly safe. Like he has to, and he'd already played uh, two Blazing Aethers and two Wildfires. Like his his threat density to be able to combo me off with my two spell voids still up and AD, it's incredibly low. I was feeling incredibly comfortable just because I had a, I actually had a quad red hand, but just because because of the spell void. Like, I felt really safe, even if he somehow, like, high-rolled into, like, Blazing Aether and Aether Wildfire off the top or something. Well, dude, uh, it sounds like you came prepared, you got it done, and I'm hearing some rumors. You run won a ProQuest yesterday, is that correct? I did, I did. You were playing the same deck? Yes, yep. Now, tell the people here, people want to know, do you expect to win this one today? <laughs> I'd love to. Um, it's a big field, and there's a lot of diverse decks. So we're just gonna we're gonna keep the good times rolling. Well, dude, it's been a pleasure to meet you, and yep. thank you so much for playing on stream. Good luck to you the rest of the way, thanks, and man. hopefully in the top eight, we'll see you back here. Yeah, thanks, guys. We will be right back. I am going to grab Mo, the Kano player from last round. We're gonna chat about the round, see what went right, what went wrong, and we will talk about his opponent behind his back because he won't be at the table anymore. It'll be great. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Dude, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate that. Are you ca are you casting in like another room? No. No. Okay. No. No casting today. No? Uh, no? No? No. All right. No, you're right. You don't, you don't understand content. I, no, me content? Never. Never, Josh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you did. Uh, it's, I love giving you a hard time. People don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I guess we're having a side conversation, which is super professional. I am here with the one, the only, Mo Bogsley oh. from the Mo Goes Pro video on Hometown TCG. Hometown TCG Ascent at Mo Bogsley on Twitter. There was a Twitch stream a while ago, but I don't know if it's still going. Is there anything else? Oh, the YouTube. YouTube channel now, too, that go. is popping off. YouTube.com slash Mobogsley. Make sure you give him a like and a follow over there, a subscription. A subscription. Yeah. I should know this. Sub. Yeah. I need yeah, to know sub. this. Yeah. But, dude. Smash welcome. that sub button. Hit that like. <laughs> hey, you're getting your practice in, oh, yeah, dude. Man. I love to I see it. Uh, well, you should have got your practice in on Kano, because that last game did not go your way. Yeah. What happened, man? So, sometimes Kano says yes, sometimes it says I on top turn one. Like, it just happens. Like, yeah, so turn one, I pop Talismatic Lens, putting I on the bottom, hit a blue. Talk this way for oh, us. Oh, my bad. Hit a blue, hit a Blazing Aether. It was just not good. Oh. It was everything that could go wrong went well. Um, he had three Artivores, turn two, one, turn three, two. So oh. It was just like, it was like everything versus nothing, so it was fun now. It was... Well, I, I was watching the stream, it sounded like you guys were having a blast, it was good camaraderie, a great game, but that does put you 0-3 against Nathan in the last two days? But, I, but the pro quest I won, I did beat him in, so I oh. did the top eight, so we're good. Okay, we're so you got, you got one up on him. When you see a chain and you see that spell void too, how does your strategy change going into that matchup, knowing he's going to come out of the gate hot? So... The AB2, I don't care about. It's chain, lots of reds, not many blues, whatever. Arcane Barrier and chain's not really scary, but the spell void is. Uh, my plan was to get him below 20, almost happened, uh, and then just bait out a Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom into anything, try to get him to pop it. If he doesn't, that's still like 7 8 damage, and then just set up the Wildfire. Okay. Wildfire for 6 is still Wildfire for 4. Okay. So. Dude, I mean, I, I love the strategy. It sounds like your head was in the right place, but like you said, sometimes Kano says yes, sometimes Kano says no. 
I want to give you a chance here, man. You've kind of built like this cult following. People are a huge, they're not only fans of Ascent, but fans of Mo Bogley himself. So take a second. What do you got to say to the people out there watching you? What do you give them some advice. Pick up Kano. Just, hey, better lucky than good. Even if you're bad, you can still win. Uh, I beat a Prism turn one, all based on luck, no skill. So I. Like, just go out there, flip cards off top of your deck, and have fun. That is the worst advice. Like, if there are children watching, that's <laughs> terrible advice. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out. Mo, uh, always a pleasure. Always, always. I'm sure we'll chat off stream about uh, yeah. your game. But thank you guys so much. We will be back with round three. I will let you know soon when round three in chat will be back. Again, click the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for hanging out, guys, and we will see you around. Thanks for thanks for sitting down, man. Oh, it's tough after a loss, but I appreciate it. I'm having fun. I'm on Kano. I could care less. <laughs>
Welcome to the casting couch. Glad to be here. <laughs> All right. Can you scoot up a little more? A little more. Almost like I'm playing? Yeah. Better? Yeah. You're taller than most of our competitors. Ooh. I'm yeah. just not I'm just not in game mode. There it is. You know? Alright. So we're gonna have to talk loud. Alright. It's meant to pick up. We Which, do that. Yeah, dude, you're no fantastic. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging around between rounds. We have about five minutes to go in round three, so I wanted to bring the chief himself, the TO. Peter from Inmax Games, welcome, dude. Congratulations on the turnout today. Yeah, man, I'm excited. This is this is awesome. This is uh, everything we wanted it to be, uh, and yeah, it's it's working. We're here. Well, I gotta tell you, just from seven o'clock this morning when you guys were here setting up, this looked like it was gonna be awesome, and now to have the place filled with people. I'll be taking shorts that you guys can check out. It's hard for you guys to see right now, but the room is just stocked with people. Did you expect to not have empty seats show up? Did you think, ah, maybe we get one or two? Well, you remember a few months back when we had that bet? I do remember. And uh, selling out. So yeah, so that was the cool thing was that, you know, you expect with any event, there's gonna be some people that just don't show up, something comes up. So having a wait list and then filling that wait list was awesome. So I think we're only a couple people short. I think we're one, if I'm one? not mistaken. Okay. I think we're one person short. So 63 player pro quest due to a last minute no show. Yeah. So I mean that's that's a win. That's All right. A win. So you got you've been at almost every flesh and blood event. You've been at the big ones. You've been at the small ones. You run your armories. You've got something like this going on. If you had to pick the perfect flesh and blood event to go to to run to have a booth oh, at. Man. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot, man. What are you picking? Are you picking a gigantic pro tour event? Are you picking something more personal like this? What do you think? Honestly, the callings. The callings have just been, um, and I mean, if you were to poll, I bet at least 40% of the people here have been to a calling, mm -hmm. if not if not more than that. So um, what's been really cool is that we have people that have come to armory events, calling events, world premieres, and it's almost like uh, they're just following us. So it's been, uh, <laughs> it's been really cool. So. I, it's really about the people, you know. Yeah. Uh, so seeing people, you know, we, we do stuff online, and so it's like, oh, we saw you at this event, or we caught you here, or somebody right before they're doing another um, pro quest in another state, and their order arrived two days before uh, the event. They're like, you saved me, like, <laughs> and it was a dash deck too. So like, that's a that's the best. Part. So maybe it wasn't. No, it could have been. Yeah. Yeah, probably a ProQuest event. I think I think so, it was I think it was probably a ProQuest event around yeah. this time, especially if you're yeah, saving there's people. Nothing, there's nothing blitz right now. Nope. In the format, so not that I know. Yeah. Of. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah. We are lucky to have you here. Do you have any? We've had two rounds, two mm -hmm. kind of off-meta gameplay yeah. here on the live stream. Do you have any like idea or thought of what hero is going to take this whole thing down today? I don't know. Being being at the the world tour or the world tour uh, the, the pro tour. It's a min max it's world, a min -max world yeah, tour with all the, the events. world premiere is coming up. Yeah. We're at the pro tour. Yeah. Seeing things like Kano show up in the top eight, like I have no idea. You know, there are a lot of very good players here. A lot of people that have topped in other events. Sure. Um, and we have literally every hero present. So it's anyone's guess. So and you saw game one. Right? So don't cop out. Yeah. Pick a hero. Who's gonna win? Uh, uh Prism. Prism's gonna Prism's win the whole gonna thing. Take it. Yep. You guys heard it here first. The TO is going to make sure. Pri no, I'm just kidding. You, you, you gotta I am not Prism. a judge. You gotta vote for Prism. I think I'm gonna go chain because chain, okay. I'm weak and I don't wanna make an off meta pick and be wrong and be roasted on the internet for right. the next seven days. Yep. So, dude, thank you so much for hanging out. Do you have any, any closing words here you wanna say? Well, no, I'm sure we'll talk um, to you throughout the day. Honestly, thank you for being here because oh, we're not people are watching. Out. No, I'm doing it. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, like you are putting this out to everyone that couldn't be here um, and everyone loves you. So, thank you for being part of our group. Well, thank you very much, man, and thanks for all you do. Guys, stick around. We got some more exciting gameplay coming your way. If you haven't, visit minmaxgames.com. Uh, pick up all your fab needs, anything you need, best prices that I've seen, and coolest game store. I mean, look at the shirts. Right. They're sweet. They're not bad. They get by. Thanks for hanging around. We will be back in about five minutes with round three. Stay tuned. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Always a pleasure. Yep. We'll get, uh, we're still hot mic'd, so, you know, don't call have me any of the names Ryan? that you normally call me. Have these uh, been used at they're, all? Yeah, they're fit. The dice are fan. They show up all right? Yeah, they're I'll let Hungry Hungry Henry.
Alrighty, my friend. It has been an uh, enjoyment to uh, play test you. <laughs> yeah. So this is your microphone, guys. These are your face cams. Again, you are on face cam. You are on mic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round three. We have a special treat for you today. We actually have friends. You guys have play tested for weeks against one another. You are here in round three playing against one another. Good luck to both players. Have fun. Good luck, Sage, truly. Good luck, dude. <laughs> oh. That good luck didn't sound sincere at all. We both want to win, but we're both severely disappointed, but also very happy at the same time. I have tokens. Same. That's good. I know. And as Shocking. long as you guys want to talk is fine because the mic is configured to not pick up small noises. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. As, as it, you know, the room is a little loud. Uh, can we move this? Is that I think we have to leave that for the life track. Oh, it just stays right there? Okay, yeah. I guess that does work. All right, uh, we have to play very clean on stream. I know. You know what that means? <laughs> we both yeah. have to play very clean. That's why I think I'm not our strong suits. Oh, I guess we're using that. Yep. Uh, high roll of these really cool 3D printed dice. Sure. Sounds really weird. Five. I'll take the play, good sir. Cool. Hey, first time I've won three in a row today. Dice rolls. All right, so we'll have to use those to represent stuff. Yeah, let me make sure my sideboard's right. Should have. Nine pummels for you. Totally. I appreciate all nine of them. <laughs> uh, I think you probably would. What'd you lose? I might have left it over there. Do you need to borrow something? Is this hometown TCG stream or Min Max? I'm sorry? Where can we find the stream? The stream? Yeah, um, it should be on hometown TCG. Hometown TCG? That's the guy you want to speak to though. I'm gonna help you. I just wanted to know if it was on your stream right now or where? Yep. YouTube.com slash Oh, it's on YouTube? TCG. Okay. Uh, don't watch the stream while you're playing because you might I'm be able not. to see your opponent's hand. I am not. I am sending uh, right there. the link. That is both of you guys right now. Uh, how do I send the link? <laughs> I'm, <Deuces>. just, <laughs> I'm just sending the link to Heather. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I promise you. That's fine. Dude, I don't. I'm not offended. No, you're good. And again, you guys are friends. Just don't cheat each other. The internet will call you out for cheating. Uh, They'll also call him out for think, bad play. Yeah, I think that's the part that you. <laughs> I think you have to worry about a smidge more. Try to. But do you've your been best, do your best to keep life totals. Okay. Yeah. You've been getting a lot better at it, though, so I'm not too worried. All right, bro. We know the deal. Uh, you know I don't cut, so we're going to cut you really weirdly now. Cool. Would you like to cut my deck? I would, in fact, like to cut your deck. All right, GG's my dude. Yep. Uh, equipment. You have a carry on us. No way. I know, it's shocking. Okay. So my sideboard just going back in my case. You got it. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna make a surge. Cool. Cold well. Which you block fully. <laughs> yep, uh, Arsenal. Cool. Over to you, my friend. Yeah. 
Already turn one? You got, oh, you got four reds, I bet. Soul Shackle? You yep. got it, bud. Soul Shackle's consumed. Sure. Shadow? Yep. No banish, but go uh, again. From... Yeah, sure. I'm gonna crumb. Cool. Uh, take one? Uh, yeah. Uh, Crater Enchant. Um, two and two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one, one, two and two. Block two arcane. Uh, take three? Yep. Clean up stuff? Yep. Earth, ice, lightning. Cool. Uh, search bombs. Break round for eight. Dominate. Keep your cards blocked too. Uh, no blocks. Eleven. Two floating or one floating? Sorry. Uh, no reactions. I'll take eleven. Discard a card for me. Yep. Uh, with the last pitch, I'll make another search on the go again. Yep. We're going to discard. Drop and pass, good sir. Cool. Going to. Uh, yep. Art of War. You should soul shackle first. Vanish. Alright. Art of War. The chain. Choosing? Uh, we're gonna go plus ones. There. That will represent plus ones. And vanish. You got it. Sir, vanishing to give it go again. Uh, for three, go again. Block two, take one. Yep. You get a fast play. Yep. Alright. Um, break chain to shackle. Paid one? Yep. You got it. And I will. Unhallowed rights for five. Okay, one. One. And no card to the bottom. Lock three, take two. Okay. You got another fresh play? Yep. I will uh, move to end. You got it. I'll take one from Blood Dead. Uh, does that have Blood Dead? Oh. Oh, Blood Dead oh, yeah. bounding. You want to put them together then? If they're banished. You got it. I'm gonna remake the surge after it pops. Yep. Channel like frigid. Cool. Uh, cold hammer. Take that deck. One ice card. Yep. Another ice card. Yep. She already knew. Draw up. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, start turn, we're going to shackle. Sure. One hit. Alright, we're going to. Show I'm gonna crown. Yep. 
paying for the. Yep. Bounding for and five go again. Five go again? Yep. And if it hits, I look at the top card. Pay one for it? I did. Oh, you, for. Yeah, yeah, you paid for Shadow Puppetry. Sorry. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and then five with crown. Okay, are you going to pay for the hides? Yep. Cool. Um, then I will... Pay one to shackle. Um, yeah. Okay. Take one blood bet. Uh, yep. Um, we'll make a surge. Cool. After the surge pops. Break round for five. No box. That's fine. Alright, start a turn, we're gonna shackle. One, two, three, two hits. We're gonna start with the Gorgonian Tome. Again and vanish. <laughs> Leave the charge. Uh, double minimalism. Sure. Going for three. Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with go again from the armor. Then I will uh, break chain shackling. Four. Four three. 
personal. Uh, one blood that yet. I think that was probably a mistake. Make a new surge. Spinal. Yep. Six. Seven. Eight. Take one. Okay. Alright, banish four. Yep. One, two. Three, four. Plus ones and banish. Mm -hmm. We're gonna banishing a minimalism. Two for the hell. Captain's call giving uh, plus two. Then I will shackle. And play the rift bind for three, six, seven, eight, nine. And this has not triggered. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, take one. Then I will. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Yeah. So I blocked eight. Oh, yeah. I was like, why did you take one? Okay. So then I will uh, break chain. I'm leaving this because it still has effect. Yep. And I'll play. Uh, shadow puppetry? Sure. For two, three, four, five. Go again. One, two, three, big two. Okay, uh, look at it. I will banish that. Um. Then I will match you for four. Yep. Okay. Uh, five. Oh, uh, because of Ardo. No, I. You chose I, Gordon, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It was last turn that. Yeah. Quick pop. I draw a pass. Cool. You take a blood dip, by the way. Yep. All right, banishing five. Two, three, four, five. Hit, whiff, 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 whiff. Okay.
a little minimalism reveal to find a blue. banishing to give a go again so coming in at you for three yep. um, I will then shackle for I have played one so for four Two and two. All right, and I will take two blood. Finger game, everybody. Cold hammer. Yep. No box. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pay more than that because you had to pay for the frostbite, oh, so you had to yeah. pay two. Okay. Um, You're good on the cut. So you have to pay. So two more. this is already in my hand. So you have two floating. Yep. <laughs> Three? Yes. Four go again. Yep. Put a howl at the bottom. Just swing your sword, bro. What? Yeah, and then I will Rosetta. I can see. The game. The one time I don't beat you. <laughs> Nine out of ten times you get lucky ten percent. <laughs> I gave you the game with that too much damage. I should have just blocked yeah. it out. Yeah. I hate blocking though. I know. I knew Spinal was just gonna be blocked by Karen too. Yep. <laughs> Even though I knew what was going to happen, I still don't do the right thing. Uh, that was a good game. I think you played it very well. I don't think I played it very well. That's fair. I, I will accept that. Damn it. Well, you're in top, right? Almost guaranteed. I think I have to win one more. Well, I mean, I for sure have to win one more. I think, I mean, sure, but the odds uh, of you not being there are pretty, pretty yeah. low. Yeah. That's
just said the stream continues. <laughs> I should have chosen no. It'll be a day I have to win, right? Like, odds are. Yeah. I mean, eventually. Five or so keep, in a row? Keep doing it. It's five in a row now. Is that really? I can't win on stream. I'm like Ethan. <laughs> I just can't win on stream. Yeah. It's like a curse for me or something, I think. Oh, well. I am now 3-1 on stream. So I gave you the, I gave you the good luck, too. I mean, the only person I've lost to on stream was Dakota. That does not surprise me either, though. Yep. Dakota's something else. <laughs> and I was playing Viserai when it was, you know, good, and he was playing Prism. And he beat you? Yeah. I was just like... Yeah. I mean, I definitely misplayed some, but... Sure. You know. You better make it top eight today. I really hope so. I will do my damnedest. My best. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go home and, you know, watch this game on repeat just so I can see myself. <laughs> that that turn that I didn't block was my, my downfall. Yeah. Hey, I would agree. Severely. That'll do it. Yep. Alright guys, how we do? I got it. You got, a, you got a second for an interview? Maybe sit down yeah. and chat for a little while? Yeah. Good game, guys. This, I got it here. Right oh, there. You're cool. Good to go. This, I got it here. I got to switch. See, everyone that pops in is a little bit taller than the last, it looks like. I just give people, I'm going to give people nausea moving the camera, <laughs> fine, whatever. All right, man. Well, congratulations on the win. Welcome to the stream. My name is Josh. What's your name? Sage. Sage, nice to meet you. So how'd nice it go? Me. I went pretty well. Um, I'll be honest, going into it, so played my buddy who I've played test constantly, and he wins nine out of ten times. So I was a little uh, so, worried going into it. So Sage. <laughs> In playtesting, you mean to tell me you win one out of ten games and you sit down at the feature match at a pro quest? Yeah. And get the win? I did. <laughs> Let's go. That's like the dream. Congratulations. What Thanks. what what contributed to winning? What went different this time that doesn't go that way the other nine times? Three art wars in a row. <laughs> We have all been there, guys. Three Art of Wars in a row. Oh, that used to be my biggest frustration, just getting Art of War, Art of War, Art of War. But you do the Art of War, you're able to get there. Were there any pivotal moments in the game that you thought maybe even with the three Art of Wars it might slip away? Um, yeah, there was one turn. Um, so there was one turn he took too much damage. Um, I think he, had he blocked out, it would have been a bit of a different game. It would have been a lot closer. He took the damage, and then I was able to just use my husk onto his crippling crush, so, or spinal crush. Okay. So. Wow. So, yeah. Put me at a fairly good lead, and then from there it was pretty smooth sailing. Okay. Well, Sage, congratulations. How? I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, just kind of about your journey. I mean, yeah. how how did you start playing Flesh and Blood? Um, I started playing just around the time of Nationals uh, last year. Um, I'd heard a lot about it, but I, you know, like a lot of people thought it wasn't a real game until I uh, saw the coverage from the Calling Las Vegas and then I was like, wait, this seems like a really great game. So then I kind of got <laughs> slowly got into it from there. Okay, and did you always, you said Calling Las Vegas era, Chain was really relevant then. You're still on Chain now. Have you always played Chain? Is there any diversion in the in I the actually decks? just picked up Chain about three weeks ago. Okay. I think. Um, I started playing as uh, Katsu and Viserai. Um, played Katsu throughout the whole last Pro Quest season. Um, got one top eight with it, which was cool. Then from there, when, you know, with the bands to Viserai and yeah, yeah. Loki Katsu kind of isn't great right now. Yeah, the, Ka <laughs> the Katsu soft band with Plunder Run, as I've been yep. calling it. Yeah. yeah, so then I uh, switched to Chain. Okay. Well, when you started this, you, you, you're starting on Katsu, you pick up this game after Vegas. Did you ever think you'd be here against stacking wins on feature matches? I did not. <laughs> well, from the community, from myself to you, congratulations on the win. Thanks. I hope you had fun, and I really appreciate you coming and playing on stream. Thank you so much. Yeah.
Good luck with the rest of your day. Thanks. All right, we got another one. Why don't you step in? Come on, take a seat. <laughs> your energy, by the way, on stream is amazing. Well, it's people don't want to see, see you be bored. I mean, we're excited. We're playing Flesh of Blood with friends all day. You guys got to just play a feature match <laughs> with playtesters. That still to me blows my mind. Oh, that is awesome. For Congratulations, three weeks, man. man. All right, and I am here with, what's your name? Lee. Lee? Josh, nice to meet you. Well. And unfortunately, Lee, this one didn't go your way, yeah. but it sounds like a lot of them normally do go <laughs> your way. Yeah, usually he doesn't get three Ardors in a row. Usually <laughs> I see him go on the Banish part, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, that's nice. <laughs> We, we would all like to see Art of Wars go in the Banished Zone. Aside okay. from maybe the chain players that are banishing the Art of Wars, that's always a little painful. So what were you on today? Uh, Bravo, Starvo. Okay, you were on Starvo today. Yeah. You ran Starvo. Is there anything spicy about your list? Is it pretty standard? Uh, four pummels and tech plating over tunic. I'm not even running tunic. I'm okay. not running rampart. Rampart's kind of falling out of favor a little bit. Okay. Uh, tech plating has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, keeping out channel like frigid twice a turn, fixing my hand repeatedly so I get rid of extra pitch. Okay. That's been really great. But pummels, dude, low pummels? key are just amazing. They've always been really good, but it's saving me games many times. Okay, so you are got some spicy Starvo tech coming into this event. You've clearly got lots of playtesting with yep. Sage under your belt. So you kind of know how it goes, and you saw the three Art of Wars. Was there a time that you thought maybe I could take Tempo back and really regain control of this game? Yeah, so midway through, I had a Spinal Crush with two blues, and I was hoping to swing through, and he wouldn't block the Carrying Husk, even though I knew we had it. Yep. But he pushed through so much damage, even blocking with my whole hand, he was still would have gotten maybe six less damage through. Okay. So it still would have ended in the same result. It's kind of hard to fight through three Art of Wars. There's no turning point there. Okay. And he had the turning point against me because Spinal is kind of a good card against him. Yep. And Carrion Hus blocks it. And much like Starvo, I've always said Carrion Hus is is a crazy oppressive card in this game. I know a it's bit. a defensive card. It's a very oppressive card. So it's cool that you got to, you know, experience the friend game plan stream, but unfortunately you came up short. But yep. that's still good. I'm glad you had a good time. Do you have any, any words of advice for people out there that might come against a chain that maybe slap some Art of Wars down? Anything you can do to get over the top? Yeah. Talk to the people let them know blizzard all the time channel like frigid try and keep it out two turns in a row seems to hurt him a lot okay anything that ice cards that's why icelander would have messed it up but you know chain's gonna be gone by then well icelander you know on the way hopefully you get some icelander tech lee thanks yeah. for taking the time to talk to me guys thank you for hanging out we will have a couple interviews going on in between rounds here so stick around and then after these interviews we'll be back for round four dude thank you so much yeah. for hanging out we'll see thanks. you guys around thanks and I know, dude, it is tough to, to sit down and do it like a...
make sure you're nice and pretty and in the frame. You know? Yeah. You can't lean too far back. There you go. Right there is perfect. Oh, dude, it's getting hard to like get up, sit down, get up. I'm getting old. Let's see if I can get this mic more centered too without bumping any of that. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are between rounds. We got about 10 minutes to go, but I am here with Bryce, one of the Chicago locals, and Bryce right now is XO. Bryce, how you feeling? Pretty good, actually, though. Like, I woke up this morning with only three hours of sleep, and I'm here. Oh, so you only got three hours of sleep, and you're XO at a ProQuest. Yeah. You think that three hours of sleep is going to come and bite you in the butt sooner or later? I guess Chain it almost did. I almost forgot some things, but he um, had an unfortunate... Soul shackles, so <laughs> we ended up getting there. <laughs> Some, hey, sometimes you need the soul shackles to bounce your way. So you just played a chain. What are you on today? Prism. Why Prism? Okay, out of all the decks you could pick, I know you personally. I know why you're on Prism, but tell the people, why are you on Prism? I saw Prism since uh, the pre previews. I said, this is my deck no matter what. And since then, I just said, hey, we're going to rock it. So you've been rocking with Prism since day one. You have been through every Prism build known to man. Yeah. How do you feel that this Prism build that you're on today differs, and what makes it so much better? Uh, it doesn't differ a lot, to be honest. Like, there's like slight, slight tweaks. Like I've seen some list play Art of Wars. I personally don't own two Art of Wars. <laughs> So we're just we're just throwing in some extra defense reactions and just wait it out. <laughs> so the one thing I've seen you do that you play, you mentioned throwing in the defense reactions. You play the tempo and the state of the game very well, and it shows that you're a TCG veteran. You've been playing trading card games. You work here at a local game store. You know your way around these card games. So I think that's giving you an edge out here. What are you doing going into a match that maybe gives you that mental edge against your opponent? What kind of exercises are you going through? How are you stacking these wins? Ask a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't miss any triggers. If you're not sure what a card does, just to be like, hey, like I've seen that card a thousand times. I know what it does, but I'm like second guessing it. Just be like, hey, what does that have? What, what, what are you doing? Okay. And then if you had any advice to prisons out there, I'm sure we got prisons in the chat that are going to their pro press. We got prisms here that might be watching the stream. I've seen a lot of phones out, people watching the streams. Give the prisms out there some advice on how they can be XO in their pro quest going into round number four. Or round number five. I think we're going to round number four, right? Yeah, four. Oh, God. It's not like I'm the content creator or anything. Uh, stay lucky. <laughs> Practice them chains. <laughs> Well, Bryce, dude, this has been an absolute pleasure. And since I've been playing with you, you've been on a hometown throwdown. I love doing content with you. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to get out, mentally reset, uh, continue to stay lucky. We hope to see you at these top tables. Yes, will do, man. All right, guys, and we have about five to ten minutes between rounds, so make sure you stick around. Thanks for hanging out, and we will talk to you soon. Dude, thank you so much. No problem. Stay lucky. He said stay lucky. Yeah, just stay lucky. <laughs> Lift the top of the deck over my guy. <laughs>
So here's how this is going to work. Just so you guys know, let me move this back out of your way. Yeah. How this works is you will be playing live in front of all of the YouTube audience. Uh, you are hot mic, so don't say anything that you don't want the whole internet to hear you saying. Gotcha. And then just for my sake and my, you know, YouTube livelihood, let's try to keep it clean. Of course. we Will do. we Will do. And then enjoy yourselves. If you have any questions, feel free to call the judge. We'll have adequate time to finish. Uh, your face cams are here and here, so your faces and sure. your hands are live at all times. Sounds good. Alrighty. Thank you very much. No problem, guys. Enjoy. Have fun. What do we got today? We'll I'll say when we flip over. You guys don't have to say it earlier or anything like that. We got Viserai. I'm on Dash. Oh, we got Viserai and Dash. Dude, this is spicy. This is kind of an interesting matchup. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. I didn't even know you, this was the matchup when I picked it. Uh, nope, I had no idea either. Good luck, guys. It's the fun of the way the game is played. You go there, you go there. Say, so I'm going to keep my rune chance in play. Um, if it's empty, I've got none. Is that cool with you, or I can For keep sure. them? No, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So I was gonna have a Snickers this round, but I guess we'll save that for after. <laughs> How's your David going? It's going pretty good so far. Good. I have surprisingly dodged chain all day, which is Me not too. something I expected. I've dodged chain and I've dodged prison all day. Exactly. And I guess I don't even uh, need these dice if we're playing with the big ones, right? Feels so fancy. I know. Let's we'll leave those off to the side. Um, I'm gonna grab. I will need a bunch of. Well, not a bunch, but I'll need some counters. So I'm gonna leave my dice out anyway. Yeah. I'll probably just do the same because you know, we're in crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready to cut whenever you are? Yeah, just give me one second. Yeah. I want to oh, take your time. Finished up a pile shuffle and I don't want to cheat on you. Gotcha. Seven. Seven. Higher uh, than six. I'm going to go ahead and go second. Sure. <laughs> Teclo Pounder. All right. We got a race you know what's coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what's coming. Good luck. Let's have some fun, man. Let's do it. Combustible courier boost. Okay. For six, go again. Sure. Six from the pounder. Ah, uh, gotcha. Do you mind if I actually read pounder? Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. <clears throat> What's pretend effect? When you boost an attack action from a steam counter and it gains plus two. Okay. So yeah, you're so at only, two it's left. It's for action. Yeah. Okay. I've got two counters left. Um, I'll go ahead and block six for sure. Oh, sorry, I need a pitch to play that. There we go. Um. Sure, I'll play a blue T-bone for zero. Sure. I'm not going to boost it, but you still have to block with equipment. Yep. 
Oh, block with Let's go. Sure. Arsenal, and I'll pass to you. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go turn it to one. I'll draw my grip. Play a Mordor Titan. Mm -hmm. I will pitch to grasp. Yep. Make two. One pitch floating. And then I'll go ahead and pitch to Shrill. Two and two? Uh, five and two. Five and two. <laughs> five physical, two arcane? Yep, two arcanes coming first. Yep. Sounds good. Sure. I've got nothing. I'll go ahead and pass over to you. Okay. <laughs> Pitch to Foundry Heart. Okay. For two resources. Sounds good. I'm going to pay Combustible Courier. We're not going to boost it. So for four. Okay. Um, I'll declare no blocks. All right, take four. Mm -hmm. I will arsenal and I'll pass. Oh, yes. Four. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and start with belittle. Okay. Uh, revealing yellow meat and feet. Mm -hmm. uh, grabbing a red minimalist. So three and two room chance. Two room chance, huh? And I will present to cut at your leisure. Sorry, you said three and two? Yep, I'll three physical, two yep. room chance. Um, let's take all five. Okay, sounds good. Sure. Um... I will then play Minimalism. Mm -hmm. Remove the Rune Chance. I'll play a Moss Guys. And one pitch for Meet and Greet. This is going to be six on Hitmaker Rune Chance. Or make. Yeah. Six, six would go ship. again six on Hitmaker Rune Chance. You're floating one. I've got. Oh, I actually I apologize. This should have a Rune Chant on it. I'll leave that up to you. Sure. No, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So you make a Rune Chant on this yep. one on the back end. So three and one, creating one on the back? Uh, six and one. Minimalism one. is actually yeah, going to yeah, buff yeah, the yeah. Six and one, creating one on the back, and you yep. already have one on the back? Uh, on hit, make one for meet and greet, and three for moths, guys. Okay, okay. So I have one. If it hits, we'll go to for five. It's going to be seven. That's fine. Yeah. Um, on hit, make a rune chant. Yeah. On hit, make three. Yep. Go to five. That's what I was concerned about. Last pitch is going to be Rosetta for yep. two, two, and two, five. Two, two, and five. Two, two, and five. That's nine more? Nine more damage, yeah. Two, 
Oops, I shouldn't uh, tap my leg. I'm shaking the cameras. <laughs> mm. Why do you make this so difficult? <laughs> Yeah, let's take nine. Sure. Let's go down to 15. Get weird. Uh, I got you at 17? 17. Sorry. Sometimes Unless math. I missed the damage on no, blue earlier. Sometimes but... math is difficult. No worries. I'm going to pass over to you. Sure. Okay. Pitch a high octane to play a high octane. Okay, we're going in. I'm floating none. Pitch. Play a red throttle boost. It's coming in for eight go again. Okay. You're using the Teclo Foundry? Yeah. Okay. Eight go again for an action point. One card in hand, one card in arsenal, one pitch remaining. Probably going to Teclo to gain a two pitch. I'll declare no blocks and take the first eight. Sure. Um, with my go again, I'm going to play a tone. Gotcha. Draw two. Okay. Super hit for five boost. Go again. Okay. That takes my action point from yep. the tome. No pitch left, one card in arse. No pitch left, one card in hand, one card in the arse. Mm -hmm. I'll again declare no blocks. Okay. Um, I want to see what you got. It's nothing special. T bone for three. Sure. Um, yep, block two, take one. Sure. Past you. I'm going to go ahead, or I'll let you draw. <laughs> play Moss Guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and play Meat and Meat. Make one Rinchan on the back end. Yep. Two pitch floating. So there's three physical. Yep. On hit, make One, three. Chance. On hit, make three. Three fiscal on hit, make three. Walk three. Sure, sounds good. Uh, I'll go ahead and use one pitch to Rosetta, two, two, and one. Kick five. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and Arsenal my last card. Pass over to you. Sure. Okay. Red zipper hit boost. Okay. For seven. Check low pounder goes away. Yep. Seven go again. I'll declare no box. Okay. Sorry, I had to pitch to pay for that. Correct. So I'm floating two. Uh, we'll play a T-bone for zero boost. Whew. A bad one to boost. Um, but that's coming in for three block of equipment. Yep, take two. And I'll use my remaining two to play an overblast for seven. No blocks. Sure. I will pass to you. Sure. Tune is going to go to three. Yep. We are going to start this turn with the Gork Tone. 
We are then going to play Belittle, mm -hmm. revealing Red Vexing Mouse. Yes. Having red minerals. So three physical. Two pitch sorting. Block two, block three. Sure. Uh, would you like to cut? Go, uh, uh, no reactions. Sure. I'll go ahead and play a Moss Guys. Yep. Use a pitch for Vexing Mouse. Yep. Three and two Arcane with one Rune Chant and one on the back end. I'm running out of dice. <laughs> three and two. Three, two, and one. Three, Got the whole two, range. So I'm taking six, I'm holding two. Uh, on hit, make three more Rune Chants. It's three physical? It's three physical, yep. two arcane, Plus Alder, one yep. range. Yep, yep. yep. Block three. Okay. Uh, so you'll take three arcane? Yeah, take three arcane. Um, I'll go ahead and play the Minimalism. Yep. Um, swarming Gloom Vent. For... Four. So we've made one, one, two, three rune chants. So it's going to be four, four or yeah. seven, seven from the minimalism, and yeah. one rune chant. All modes active. If you don't, if it hits, you can no longer prevent our key. You didn't break the chain yet either, have you? Uh, this would break the chain, I believe, the non-attack. Okay. Seven and one. Block four. Take three. Sure. Uh, last remaining pitch, a Rosetta for two, two, and one. Take five. Cut. Go down to one. Pistol, we'll pay two for a tech roll pounder. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Sounds good. Um, Moss guys? Yep. I'll use Tunic Resource for Vexing Malice, three and two. Yeah, can't stop. Only stop one arcane. Uh, you can with Skullcap if you pitch a blue. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm lower now. Well, I don't have to pitch a blue, right? I can pitch three. No, you have. Well, you have to pitch three total. Yeah, yeah. 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 So if I'm not holding a blue, I can pitch. Yeah, if you don't, if you can pitch three yeah. reds, but it, yeah, no, not suggested. Although I might have to. Three physical. Three physical. Two arcane with go again. I know you're making this tough. Pitch the three to stop the arcane. Okay. Block the three physical. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and pitch to meet and greet for four and one. Yeah. Block four physical. Take one arcane. Yep. That's it. Good game. Good game, man. Whew. That was just a no holds barred it's, slugfest. It's the same thing that happens every time. I've lost this deck. It's I drew two high octanes turn two in the same hand, and it's just like there goes everything that I have to give it some help. You guys are done. Yep. yep. Blocking. Free, it's a game of chicken. First one to block loses, my friend.
Are you kidding me? Nope. And it was, yeah, a 6 nothing game, and it's already over. Sorry, bud. That's awesome. We go fast. <laughs> That's crazy. Dash is not just a clever name. <laughs> All right, so who got there? I got Peter. there. All right. Dash is not just a... Well, let's do it with both you guys. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Sure. We'll do one at a time. We'll do winner, and then we'll do loser. Sure. Yeah. Card, yeah. Sorry, we'll do first, and we'll do second. Let's yeah. yeah. There are no losers in Flesh and Blood. <laughs> so really, the only option now is to get them a classic battles box and have them play that one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Was this a rune blade off? Is that what I mean? Uh, dash, oh, dash, dash, dash. It was yeah. Dash versus Vizera, which is kind of nuts. Just take the defense step out of the game. That was not what <laughs> I was much. expecting. I was expecting to verse a chain or a prism. And... All right. Oh. Dude, I'm struggling to get up and down. The more I, the more I go up and down, I'm struggling oh, more and more. Oh, you are admittedly the tallest person in this room. Yes. So getting into chairs, uh, you got to go the farthest. Yes, I am a large TCG player, <laughs> especially for this crowd. So congratulations on getting there. My name's Josh. You. Nice to meet you, Josh. I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Congratulations on the win. I see you're playing Viserai, clearly not deterred <laughs> by the news that dropped about the Viserai changes in the banner restricted announcement. No, huh? no, not at all. Uh, I was at first. Originally, okay. I did play a lot of OTK Viz. Um, I've only been playing the game for a few months, and so picking up Viserai, OTK was the way to go. I still have the squad in my binder. Um, but after those bans, I tried a lot of different versions with Viz, and they all just felt a little awkward, but I just like the character too much. Okay. I tried playing Briar at Jersey, and it just wasn't my style as much. Okay, so you, you land on Viz, you know you're coming to the Pro Quest. Yep. What did you expect to see here, and what did you not expect to see at all? I expected to see a lot of Chain and Starvo and Prism, probably a lot of the same things a lot of other people are seeing. Surprisingly, I have versed none of those. <laughs> okay. Round one okay. was round one was OG Bravo, round two was a Viserai mirror, round three was Lexi, and round four was Dash. So you <laughs> came prepared for something that you have seen absolutely none of. None. Do you have any tech in your deck that because of this do you think is, is bad cards that you just wish you didn't have or something that's underutilized? Surprisingly, no, because the techs that I have against Chain and Viserai, or the one particular tech, is one that kind of works against a lot of people, which is Consuming Volition. Sure. Um, something I actually did in round two was Mordratide, Consuming Volition, Creepers in Revel, another Consuming Volition. So now you have to either block out nine rune chants or block the four and you're still taking a ton of damage. It's just a card that really guarantees at least a card from hand. Which okay. against Chain or Starvo is great because you never want them to play with a full grip. Right. The last thing you want is Starvo's going to take 12 from you and then he's going to come back with a crippling crush. And, sure. Um, the kind of other weird thing that is again more of an everything thing, um, and I actually got to play it off in the game a little, is we put the Belittle package. Oh, so you are running Belittle Minnowism package in the deck. Yes. Um, I. <laughs> two of my close friends are chain players, and we sat down to build this deck. Um, shout out to Bryce, who's actually ranked 25 in Flesh and Blood right now. He got 12th in the Pro Tour. Okay. And my friend Raj. Um, we sat down, it's like, well, we want to build Viserai. Do we want to put Belittle in Viserai? I think we want to put Belittle in Viserai. Like, um, so we ended up running a lot of things, like yellow meet and greets, uh, we're running a rainbow of mauve skies just to look for go-agains, and red vexings. Okay. Really kind of uh, come in pretty good. Being able to search for the one of blue mizoism, binoism, or just get in for a lot of damage. Okay. Well, I love the spicy tech. I love the gameplay. Going forward, what's what's your record right now? 4-0. Uh, oh. We're so uh, currently undefeated. Okay, so you are EXO going into the back nine of this tournament. Mm -hmm. What are you looking to do to kind of give yourself an edge to really get into that top eight and get into that top eight in a strong position? Uh, kind of just continuing what I've been doing. I mean, just playing... You are uh, XO. That's a good strat. Say, playing a little slower, making sure I can get my arsenals to get some strong swing turns. Um, as much as I love to just continuously play four card hands and slam damage, I've been really trying to practice blocking a little bit, setting up some stronger turns, and then really coming in for those big swings. I've seen a couple old hymns, I see, have seen a couple Starvos, and those kinds of decks, as much as you love to, you can't always just gas to the floor. Sure. Un unlike Dash, where it is a game of chicken. First one to block <laughs> is uh, unfortunately just going to lose too much tempo. Okay. 
Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Congrats awesome. on the win. Thank you Get so out much. there. We hope to see you up here in the top eight. Yeah, and I hope so, too. You guys finish fast. Get yourself a nice break. <laughs> Maybe get something to eat. Congratulations. I, uh, Let's I bring got our dash player. I, say, I got a Snickers before the round, and uh, when I came up to the top table, I'm like, well, I guess this is being safe till we're done. I don't want to eat on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always feel free to eat on yeah. camera. It's, I know. It's it's a little... I get self-conscious on camera when it comes to eating. It's always like, ah, oh, people probably don't want to sit in here All right. Me. Well, I'll free up the stage for our wonderful well, friend. Dude, he also has some fun stuff. I'm I was excited. about to say, I'm super excited to talk to both of you. So again, thank you so much. And we are bringing in our round four opponent. Unfortunately, didn't quite get there. Came in nope. second. But playing Dash, what's your name, man? I'm Josh. Andrew. Andrew, nice yep. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Congratulations so far yep. on the run. You're playing kind of, I wouldn't call it an off meta or off the wall hero, but something you don't see a ton of. What made you pick Dash today? Um, that's what I feel like. It's just enough off meta where I have a fighting chance against pretty much every deck. I've built it specifically to outrace chains okay. and hopefully go bigger than Briar can before the channel mount turns start coming around. Um, I tested Prism a few times back and it just gets destroyed in every room blade so it's just been not a fun sure. testing round for me but you know I've always I've always played dash I switched to control dash switched to a very super aggro all gas okay dash and it seems to be worked the first three rounds have worked well I just kind of draw had a few bad draws this game draw two, two high octanes in hand same turn you're always oh. in trouble after that but right I've been lucky with a couple like high octanes boost for an action point play a tone behind that player action point have a six seven card hand to go with and just keep doing with the pounder and past two games it's been i play my tome one of the two cards i draw is either a max loss or an overblast so i'm like all right at the end of my six cards here comes an attack for 10 or an attack for eight on top of all that it's just well, it's hey, been a fun run ending your combat chain with an attack for 10 yeah. almost always a yeah. great strategy oh, yeah. so you've been out here at was that your first loss that you just took today yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so you are x1 going into the back half of this tournament yep on Dash, when you built this, you said you were looking for Star Wars, you were looking for Chains. Is there a matchup that maybe you've heard of in the field or something you're seeing that you don't think you're prepared for and are going to have to pull something out of the hat? Um, I haven't played against Lexi's yet. I'm kind of prepared. Like, I know what Lexi does. I'm just not necessarily sure I'm, like what to do when Frostbite start or on-hit effects start. But sure. It's There's you know a little bit of a mid-range control package in there for the Starvo decks. Like, I swapped out, you know, a handful of items and fatigued out my previous hold and match in round two. So, there's a little bit of everything in there for the right decks. Yeah, I'm, Lexi's the one I haven't seen yet, and I'm kind of nervous that I will run into one and not do well. But <laughs> Well, I mean, so far, so good for you. But speaking of the last match, you did take your first loss. What do you think went wrong? What do you think the pivotal moment was? And was there anything you could have done differently to maybe change that outcome? Um, like I said, the two high octane in hand was just a bad a bad run and I just kind of lost tempo from there like if I can't find a way to push cards out of his hand or push damage to a point where I'm presenting lethal and then okay. pushing cards out of his hand it's kind of just get stuck like that's the three games I've lost in the past few days is all for the same reason like okay just, the high octanes pile up either in the beginning of my turn or two in one hand yesterday I had three in one hand so it's just like what do you do you pitch one to play one to Arsenal one, and you're probably already lost by it. I was about so. to say, you're definitely not feeling great, no. but that's the wonderful thing about TCGs and Flesh and Blood in general. It comes up different every time, but yeah, I, mean, you, I mean, you're having a great run. Yeah. You're on a really cool hero, and I yeah. want to thank you just for taking the time to play on stream and show. I oh, know the chat is full of Dash fans. They're cool. going crazy right yeah. now. Good. So, dude, thank you yeah. so much, and good luck with the rest of your rounds. Really yeah. appreciate you jumping willing, out here. I'll make top eight, and we can do this again in, in an hour or so. But Absolutely. We'll do you see. have anything to say to the Dash fans that are out there watching? I'm, I'm doing my best. Try and, try and keep, to keep Dash relevant, guys. We're, we'll see how it goes. Well, that is awesome. Thank you again, man. And thank you guys for watching. We have a lot of time left. That was a race in the round. Oh, yeah. So stick around. We're going to figure out how we want to fill the time. we got some interviews coming up. We might even open some product. we got a lot of fun <laughs> things. So, again, thanks for your time, and yeah, we will course. see you guys back around. Sure. And you are, we're still, we'll still be hot mic so I can go press the button okay. so you can leave with any funny antidotes you want. Yeah. yeah. I've been talking about how funny it is to get out of the table skirt here without knocking them. Oh, yeah, I almost cooked my foot on it earlier. Oh, dude, that <laughs> sucks. Hey, where's that video going to be on, by the way?
ladies and gentlemen, I got something spicy for you right now. We still have a bunch of time between rounds, but I have Mo Boxley and Sam Dando coming over. They were playing some four fun games, and I coerced them. I twisted their arm, and they are going to come play some of their side decks, some of their favorite decks on stream while we wait for the round to close out. So thank you guys for hanging around, and as a reward, if you're still hanging out in the chat, you get to watch Two local heroes jam it out and play some games, and here they are. But the thing is, one of you guys has to start at six, and the other one's got to start at zero. Okay. Oh, look, hey, I, call, I call zero. I'm gonna... <laughs> there we go. We're good now. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys yeah. more than you can imagine. Enjoy, have some fun. You know there's a button in the middle that just... We're fine. Morning. We're fine. You know that, right? Well, this is fine. This is this is great. So people can just hear us. We're just talking. Yep. Okay. Yep. You are hot mic'd, as I've been calling hot it. Hot mic'd. Welcome back again, chat. Hello, chat. <laughs> We're just gonna play some aggro mirrors here. We finished our game early. He uh, kano'd me, and uh, it, was, it was a good time. So uh, now we're gonna just play some good fun kano games. This is match three. I won the last one, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I get to go second this time, so I feel yes. pretty good. We both switched decks. He's on Briar. I'm on. No, I'm on Katsu now. Well, normally, yeah, yeah, normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was uh, Briar Kano, and he had a really good turn with the uh, Aether Flare into Lessons in Lava into Blazing, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. This man's playing old Kano right now. They saw. They finally lose to round two. Yeah, it's the, fine. It's okay. His deck actually worked this time. <laughs> it's weird. He got to play the eye rather than flip the eye. <laughs> when Kano does Kano things, he wins. When he does not, he loses. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I'll go second. So yeah, yes, go ahead. sir. Uh, la, la. I feel like I need to slow down. Our last game was over in like two minutes. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, pace this I one. I probably actually think. These are fun. Yeah, this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is. It's like, man, you guys really <laughs> No, no, Josh is like, it's dead air. Please come. <laughs> uh, six go again. And hit next attack gets plus three. Block five, tick one. Four, go again. I'll block two, tick two. Next will zero. Yeah. Uh, probably arsenal pass. Like 99% sure arsenal pass, but. We're good. Uh, take one. Another Kadachi. Yep. Art of War. Yeah. Going to banish, draw two, plus one, plus one. Oh, wow. I guess. Got the gas? When you're good, you're good. Better lucky than good, guys. Better lucky than. Five, go again. Float. So when you say that, I feel like I should block this. <laughs> However, this is an aggro mirror, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, six. <laughs> Let's go again? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, no mask trigger, though. That's No good. mask, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Uh, trigger. So many dice. Oh, my card. Laughing cards. I don't need that blue in my arsenal. Uh, high octane. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're going to do the things, I want to do the things. Uh, gain an action point. Five, go again. Yeah, I think we're just uh, holding on here. We're just blocking stuff out. <laughs> Block five. Uh, one, go. <laughs> Get an action bad. point. Take one. Uh... Four, go again, get an action point. Yeah, I'll take four. Activate heart. Yeah. Go up to four. Uh, load gun, shoot two. And how many action points uh, you got? Three now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be able to block all that. <laughs> take two. Shoot two. Shoot two. Shoot two. Shoot two. There you go. 
I think I got all the twos in there, I hope. Hope I didn't shoot you an extra time. Gotcha. Uh, take it. You got another high. <laughs> I did. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think the one, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Better lucky than good, Sam. Come on now. If I could draw a surging strike or belittle for once. Or acting? Yep. Uh, seven, get an action point. Draw the high octanes in the air, aggro mirror, win the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, take seven, I guess. Uh, five, get an action point. Uh, break combat chain, shoot for two. Uh, use heart. Got the two resources, load gun, shoot two. Uh, boost, get an action point up two action points. Shoot for two. <laughs> uh, load pistol, shoot for two. One action point. Load pistol, shoot for two. There you go. Oh my gosh. Mark, you might be the so best glad I don't have to play this anymore. Me and Sam are both super fast. <laughs> <laughs> We're also playing for fun, so like, uh, I'll take one. I mean, this game's been, it was long over. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Hey, when I play Kano, I play a little bit slower. Yeah. A little bit slower, not much, but a little bit. Yeah. There's a little bit more math involved. This yeah. one is just like, what's the number on the card? How many yeah. resources do I need? That's extra uh, two? Cool, that's extra three? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do? Four oh, nice, nice. Another prison. Is there any way to mend, bend my way around this? <laughs> bend your way around it? Yeah. So, two to the bottom, reveal 100 wins. Yeah, so go. What's 100 wins do you again? Um, it's it's a three <laughs> combo card with go again, naturally. Oh, I took out the dice, sorry, you can have them back. <laughs> I have one float. Yeah, I think we're not going to need the dice for much longer. Uh, let's go uh, Belittle. Reveal. Belittle? Oh, yeah, okay. like I said, it would be nice huh. to actually draw the Belittle package for us. Uh, three. What color are you getting? Um, we're going to get uh, we're gonna get Belittle. Wins for three. Go again. <laughs> Sorry, nothing. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> My mind trick worked. Uh, what do I do here? Pitch. I play back of three. Breaking skills. This one. He saw the line, guys. He saw the line. For four. Four on hit John card? Yes, sir. Pop. That's fine. <laughs> Didn't get there? Uh, not what I needed. <laughs> Arsenal. I was sure. hoping for a surging. I, I thought the Snapdragon's going to come out, but nope. No, we, we don't need that. We got Razor. Oop. Four, go, we go. Oh, yeah, and that one. That's just game. <laughs> I think this is worse, but oh well. Seven. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much game. Yeah. I'm just drawing the passing. Yep. Yeah. Another hey, high. Hey, hey, All right, uh, let's just scoop it up. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I was like, I feel bad. Like, yeah, guys, this game is all skill. You just need to be really good at drawing your high octanes right? and your uh, your uh, your art of wars. Uh, better lucky than good, guys. That's always the motto here.
Especially against a great player like Sam. Just out, out lock him and you're good. Hey man, it's all about having fun, right? I, honestly though. <laughs> How much, we got time for another one? Probably. What's uh, what's time on the round right now? Oh, easy. Let's do, 6, we could probably do two more, honestly. Oh my god. If you keep drawing like that, we could do at least two more games. How do you reset it like that? Cool. Nope, I messed up. Come on, man. How does this work? He said it was easy, but it was not easy. I don't even know. Going second to not feel great there. Uh, I guess I'll go second this time. Uh, this is game two. Oh, this is game four, technically. Game four. But, uh... I'm getting trounced. Uh, 3-0. <laughs> You're good. I'll go second. Just sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Works for me. <sighs> oh, I need my pounder. Whenever I draw pounder, I'll just put it on battlefield. That's fine. Yeah. Chat pounders here. Whatever matters. I was just kidding. All right, guys. I do my hand. <laughs> Who cares? Go for it. I don't want chat to be upset. But there's no pounder on the battlefield. Okay, they're not playing. But the user experience. Oh my god! Is that I don't actually, think they're gonna gain. Much is it from actually these the games? next card? It's actually the next card. There you go. I'll take one. Yeah, you will. We got it on your shoulder, don't worry. Here, do you want to go over his shoulder? Do you guys on stream right now? Yeah. yeah. Here, you go backseat game Sam. Right, I'll backseat game Mo. What do I do here? All of it. <laughs> Are you sure? Six. No. Block with tunic. Block with tu There's no tunic. Block with tunic. Uh, sure. Even bigger than that? Mm -hmm. Is it though? We're about to find out. All three pummels? Right here? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, these, 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 draws. <laughs> these draws. Um, I honestly, love even bigger it's than kind of funny. Dude, it's that's, so good. Yeah, I love that card. It concept. is so good. The little? Yeah. Uh, that's a hand. Create the quick in because I'm fast. And then I'm going to. I'm going to also razor in reaction. One. Take one. Oh, you took the first Kadachi. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, so I got distracted by somebody. And I keep my quick in. I wanted to block again, though. It's kind of rude. That was the point. It's in a container. But, but uh, I'm saying you have to dig through the smelly juice. Okay. Uh, must be blocked by equipment this turn. Damn it. Yeah, it's, it's too good. It's it's not. It's like dumb. I was gonna use my heart and cross trap next time, but it's too nice. For zero? Oh my god. Hold on. I'll get the whiteboarded one just for you guys. Thanks. For the people. For the people at home. I gotta get my quick in. I'll even get the disrespect quicken. <laughs> he gave me that, by the way. He gave me a quicken, okay. he gave me those ripped in half. It goes great with Kano. It, I almost used it. Do you have nourishing? <laughs> that card's bad. Yeah, it is. It's a trap. Uh, jaw. Uh, break boots. Nah, do I have any break boots here? Do I have break boots? No. Uh, I break boots here. I have to think for once. What is this? This should be illegal. Break boots. Load pistol. Go for it. Okay. Not the best turn, but it is a turn. Mana counter comes okay. for six with go again. That feels illegal. We're about to go in, chat. Block six. Pummel it. Pummel it. We're gonna go, uh... <laughs> Let's He's go, too good. Uh, He's too good. Definitely plus one. Uh, and then we... I'm, I don't know if I want to go into the trap of the banish. Yeah, I still have one float too, so I guess that's relevant. Yeah, where all the dice go? Uh, look over here, sir. Do you not see all my dice? Um... The D20. <laughs> yeah, I'll banish Strato. Sure. Uh, destroy Arsenal, which is the card I not want to do. Destroyed. Yep. But, um, I will um, belittle, reveal the whelming. Mm -hmm. Search out my blue. Coming in for four. Because it's thick. Oh, I took uh, one here. It looks good at you, though. I don't want to waste my Tekla cores, but I think I have to waste my Tekla cores. Uh, take four here. Okay. And then we're going to pitch, surging for five. 
Uh, draw yeah. cards. Yep. This is like halftime entertainment. Here. This is. This is. <laughs> this is halftime. <laughs> this is us just being goobers. <laughs> Who won your actual? Oh, uh, I did. Yeah. He canoed me hardcore. Five. Oh no. Yeah. 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 Five. Hard war. Four. Oh, that's also awesome. fun. There's no draw on this one though, right? No. Yeah, it is. Welling draws. Welling draws. That seems good. Five. Come on, man. My Teclacore, like, value, though. See, look at That's what this deck is supposed to do when you actually draw a little. Uh, start of my turn, I'm going to trigger. Uh, I'm going to switch for two. There you go. Yeah, you like them? So I love sad. them. They're so... Where'd you go for those? Uh, Dragon Shield makes them. What's that? Dragon Shield. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like 25 bucks a pack. That's not bad at all. No, it's not. That's crazy. Yeah. Such good quality, too. Seriously. Like, those look great. Yep. Yep, that's for a six. Yep. I'll shuffle. Which color did you get, red? I got blue. Oh, that's a razor. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I don't think I see you did. Yeah, game's over anyway. <laughs> block six. Do I have block six here? No, I just take it. Yeah. I think I'm playing Control Dash for some reason, because I haven't done anything yet. And then Kadachi. Oh, block with the I actually didn't see it. I'm not even joking. I did not see it. Three. Uh, with Mask Trigger on the star. I'll take three. I need a Miracle to win this game anyway, so like... I don't know about that one. It feels like it. Uh, four resources... Seven. Four. Uh, pistol. Spark for zero. Draw pass. Yes, sir. I think everyone's confused that we're actually still playing. Draw your card. Uh, bottom, draw, arsenal, draw four. I'm swinging a sword at you. I got Kano. One. And I'm dropping. I Kano'd him, yeah. It was rough. Oh, yeah, I should drop now. Yeah, I, it might be too late, actually. We'll see. Nah. Uh, black four. Always got a black for the mass trigger. That's too good. Uh, find another out of war here, though. Just, uh. Oh, crap. Did I drop? I said I lost. Who do I have to talk to to drop? Uh, you technically it's on the phone. No, I can't drop anymore. Uh, I'll go up to, uh. The guy with the three of the uh, thing. Nick? Yeah, go talk to Nick really fast. Man, this turn is gonna be so sick. I, uh, St stand I by, chat. I, I got your stuff. Stand by. One second, chat. We'll be right back. How was everyone's day going today? We all doing good? We all canoing people or star rowing people? All right. I've been dreaming about this moment. Yeah? Yeah. So you're blocking for four. Yep. Um, you want to block that one damage? I think so. You draw a card. You draw one card. Uh, no, you blocked this, didn't you? What, this is not draw? No, only when it's in combo. Oh. Snapdragon? Yep. Five. Go again. <laughs> On hit, add all the Lord of Wins. Six. I'm gonna snatch. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'll get my two resources. Uh, eight. On hit, my next stacking is plus three. Boost. Eight boost. Yeah. What happens if it hits? Uh, plus three. Six. 
back, 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 back. Two. There you go. On the men draft, so yay! Mm -hmm. Make sure you drop from the official event. You will meet over at the Big Mac booth as we get on. My dice. <laughs> Four. Has said, I have everything. You can draft whatever you want. So put him to the desk. One, okay, two, three, three four. four. He's got it. You're gonna draft him right there over there. Four. I'm hit. Nothing. I'm hit. Goes back into my deck. And mask trigger. Deck. Oh, mask trigger. It doesn't have go again. Wait, no snappies either. I don't have snaps, but I do have a razor. You know, the, the way you said that, I was like, I know Sam. I know what he's doing here. Draw. I could have blocked that anyways, though, so it didn't matter. So we'll finish this game up. Six. Damn. Unfortunate. Sadly, I had to break the chain for that, but. Yep. Yep. So there you go. I think I got this one, guys. I, I, if you don't have this one. Gnachi. Four. We're in the Kadachi lock, guys. We're in the Kadachi lock. I got this, guys. Come on. It's, oh. Everyone, root. Get your, <laughs> get your hands up for me. I'm going to take a game here. Oh. We don't think. We just swing with swords. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. Woo. We got there, guys. One for Katsu, baby. Oh. One for Katsu. All right, we will leave this so Josh can get the actual event going again. All right. Hope you uh. enjoyed the shenanigans. Yes. Hopefully, I will see you guys on the top eight with Kano. We will see. Yeah, we're, we are live. We are. We're, we're rocking and rolling right now. <laughs> Josh, come get your baby back. You don't want to babysit anymore. <laughs> Good game, sir, like always. Hope you do well. Good luck moving forward. Just gotta Thank win you two guys points. for being so awesome. Hey, man, we're here for the people. Yes, sir. Two of the fan favorites definitely throwing down right now. Helps. Helps pass the time. Hey. And we didn't play Kano either. We're pretty nice. Like, yeah, back here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Sam with the classic drip. Let's go. Oh, Levi. <laughs> oh, he was good. just playing with a bunch of alpha players. Yeah. So. Hey. All right, bye chat. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs> Gotta go play against Azalea. Enjoy the rest of the games. Oh. You going home? No, I'm gonna stay around for some yeah, We can have a good time. Maybe use some money matches in the past. Oh, there you go. You guys want to see some min max money games with me playing Katsu <laughs> to some people? Start making some noise in the chat and hopefully we can get that between rounds. I will play anyone for up to $3. Ooh. <laughs> start, start Discord messaging people. Let them know. Find me.
Exactly, right? Exactly. So please come, come on over here and uh, take a seat. And I, use your mats, right? Yep. yep. So you have to use the min-max mats. And the dice? Min-max okay. dice? Yep. And the dice here. The, don't roll these dice to see who goes first. Roll your own dice. They're just for counters. Yeah. The way it works, guys, your faces and your voice are on stream at all times. Okay. So don't say anything you don't want, you know, to any way you don't want to present yourself. Stuff? Yep, and then again, top down camera, we have uh, visuals of all the hands, everything, so no watching the stream while you're playing. And then feel free, you're mic'd up, this is a hot mic, speak loudly, speak clearly. And you can, any table banter is always welcome and enjoy, you don't have to like act super professional this cool. year. Have fun with it. Sounds, Sounds good. good. I'm gonna wear a mask because, just for funsies. Go for it. Whatever not because it, not because of you guys. Whatever makes you, whatever <laughs> makes you comfortable. Uh, does this need to move from where it's at, or does that stay there? That stays right there. Okay. So Actually, it, it should it should be Sam Dando plays weird. <laughs> Weirdo. It should be there, so you can put your equipment there. Sounds good. I'll set you both up at 40, and you guys are great to go. If okay. you'd like to use your own life counter, feel free. Okay. Um, don't use our own dice for tunics and things like that. No, try to use these ones for tunics and things like that so people can see you. Should I not use these? You, whatever makes you comfortable. Okay. That's totally okay. Remember, have, have fun with it. This is not a high pressure situation. Enjoy yourself. Got it. All right, guys. Welcome to round four. Uh, thank you again for playing, and good luck to both of you. Thank you. You guys are good looking dudes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Jim Williams is there. No, worst looking. <laughs> Make me blush. Yeah, I don't know what build you're on, so we're gonna go stupid things for me. Uh, I don't know what build I'm on. <laughs> I threw this together like three days ago. Okay. Played two games with it before I came here. Okay. Not great. You said Lexi, right? Yes. 100% okay. Lexi. Here, me. Just want to make sure I side border, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Definitely don't want to mess up any of the uh, things. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let me go um, evens. Evens? Yeah. All right. Yes, please. It's yours. Um, I'll take the play. You got it. We can re-roll that if you want. I, I know it landed on a card. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we're good. We are good. Yeah, this is 
I'll get there, don't worry. You're good. Tunic sleeves, like it. Oh, I love the, the... Is it Alter EA? No, it's a cold foil? No. Cold foil. Yeah, cold foil. Yeah. So you just put the nice um, sleeve on it? Yeah. Someone's double sleeves look uh, thicker than mine. <laughs> or you just have more cards. Because you're going to fatigue me. Huh. <laughs> huh. Cool. Good luck. You too. Get forty. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Let's do it. Uh, well, let's start by ticking up tunic. Yep. Frosty four? Yep. I will. Respond. Okay. Sounds good. Um, no block. Uh, no reactions. Cool. Get a frostbite? Yep. yep. 36. Go. Um, and then I'll go to Arsenal. Uh, sure. We will put this guy away. Cool. Um, I'll drop with you. You got it. Activate hard advice. Okay. Um, I will not respond to that. Cool. Uh, active. Um, so used to using my own stuff <laughs> to float. <laughs> Artifact? Okay. Choosing... Pick two, right? Yeah. Actually, I should have oh, paid two here. Same, same result. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you can have the same stack. You can have the exact same stack of cards. Sorry, you can just switch the hero. That is awesome. Uh, one and banish. Okay. And you banished a. A bolt and shot yellow. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. Drop it. Plus one. Okay. <laughs> Six. Fuse. Sorry, did you choose plus one off of this or go again? Um, sorry, yes. Uh, seven. seven. Yeah. Okay. Reveal ice pick red. Are you good with it? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So no go in on this. No card. go again. It's just a seven. Okay. Um. Block for three. Reactions. Uh, no reactions from me. Uh, I will sink below. So block seven. You got it. Go ahead and sink if you'd like. Uh, I will keep the card. You got it. Um, that's it. Um, I will arsenal my last card. Okay. wonder what that is. <laughs> Trying for. Yep. 
Uh, Took up Tunic? Yep. And then Pitch of Blizzard. Frosty Four. Blizzard Bolt deals how much? Four? Uh, for four. That's correct. Um, I think I will respond to that. I'm going to activate um, Crown. You got it. Uh, that's good. Cool. Frostbite resolves. Um, I'm just going to fire off Blizzard Bolt for four. No fuse? No fuse. No blocks. Uh, cool. Crown will absorb one. Yep. I'll take three. Yeah, take three. 37. Um, close the chain. I'm going to arsenal my last card. Sure. Try four. Uh, we'll take up Tunic. Yep. Um, I'm going to... Uh, play a frigid, paying three. Uh, breaking the frostbite. You got it. And then let's go E strike. Tuck in this. Uh, I will choose draw a card. Draw a card? Okay. Uh, five. Five it is. Take five. Pass. Go to 31? Yep. Alright, so end step. Uh, this is gonna trigger. Yep. Use their dice. Um, putting ice pack on the bottom. Yep. I'm gonna arsenal my last card. And I'm gonna draw. You got it. So polite. I love it. So expensive. So expensive? <laughs> Just a little. I'm going to Lexi and pay for it. Okay. Pay one. Yep. Uh, actually, I'm not going to pay. Okay. You okay with that? Yes. Yeah, I'm going fine. to. Pay the ice plate. Okay. So pick two for that? Yeah. You got it?
Thing two. Uh, plus one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, let's start by... On hit frostbite. No hard device this turn, right? No hard device, okay. you're good. Uh, I'm gonna use my tunic resource to activate crown. You got it. Um, you gotta see my tech here. Hard. <laughs> love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, sorry, no blocks. Sure. Um, I'll react staunch. So seven plus one on crown is. You got it. Full block. Full block. Uh, you already crowned, so there's no uh, passive yep. priority thing. So I'm gonna go to end step. You got it. Two, three, four. Oh, Tick up tunic. You got it. Mm. Sable. So this would go in my art bottom? Go on the bottom, yep. If it does four or more. Glitch floats up an elemental guardian card? Yep. Yeah, so Frigid is going away at the end of the yep. turn. Take seven. Yeah, take seven. Um, putting you down to 24. 24 it is. Uh, trigger disable. Yep. Uh, go to end step. Yep. Uh, frigid will blow up. Yep. And then these are going to go on the bottom, and I will draw four. Sounds good. Plus one. Plus one. You got it. Five go again. A block for three. Reactions. No reactions. Uh, I'm gonna defense react, pitching pulse. So a card back on top, and then preventing two damage. Um, yes. Uh, pass. And then. So this gets prevented. Yes. Okay. Uh, plus one. Okay. Six. Six. No. Uh, no blocks. Sure. Take six. Thirty-one. Cool. <laughs> Go on end step. Uh, yeah, you have no crown. Yep. Sure. <laughs> uh, Took up two to come my turn. Yep. Um, we're just gonna come in with a uh, naked four. Naked four. Um, sure. Take it. Okay. Go to twenty. Twenty. Uh, Arsenal. Yep. Pass back. All right. Hard device? Okay. Uh, yeah, no response to that. Cool. Resolves. All rain. You got it. Three of a kind. Ooh. Yep. Draw three. 
Plus one. Uh, five, six, seven. If it hits, you get a reload. I do. It's pretty good. Not that good. <laughs> You're old. <enough. laughs> seven, right? Seven it is. Block for four. Uh, trigger the stalagmite. Okay. Uh, I will. Yeah, I will get a frostbite. Um, so take three. Yeah. No reactions. Uh, no reactions. Uh, pass reactions. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Um, on hit. Yeah. We'll put it in. Okay. Um, cause you gotta pay two to fire it off. Uh, four, five, six, paid for the frostbite. Used? Um, used. So this is hits, I discard a card or pay one. That is correct. Oh, you're getting the red ice pick, you're getting the reveal. You got it. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Block for three. Cool. Uh, take three. Take three. Twenty-five. Trigger. Trigger. I will pay one. Sounds good. Uh, closing it up. Uh, end step procedure. It's an arsenal one card. Oh, shit, Do you want a crown? Uh, I do not know. Okay. Drawing four. Yep. Uh, took up tunic at the start of my turn. You got it. Uh, we'll use the tunic resource. Okay. And command and conquer for six. Oh my goodness gracious! Here we go. No block. No reactions. Cool. Got it. Six six. Yep. Fourteen. Um, pass back. Cool. Part of ice? Um, I'm gonna respond. You got it. I'll activate crown. You got it. Preventing one. Preventing one. Alright. Crown activation. Three of a kind? No, no. Draw three? Yep. Fused. Go again. Uh, no blocks. Reactions? 
I have zero reactions. Um, I'm gonna sink below paying one. Yeah. So four plus crown. You got it. Um, take one. Oh, sorry, I thought it was five. Oh, sorry. Five, right? You said go again. Yeah, five go again. Is this yeah, for so four? four? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Crown. Yeah, yeah, you crown. Sorry, I missed the crown piece. You're good. Um, good in the reveal. Yep. Cool. Oh, sorry, it was blue, right? Yes, blue ice pick. <laughs> You're making sure. <laughs> um. Go again. Um, I'll see this. Uh, five, go again. Um, on hit, sleep dart. On hit, chilling ice vein ability. Sorry, ping one. It's a, uh, not, it's not an activated ability. It's oh, a it's a trigger. Yeah. Yeah, when you defend. Yep. Um, reactions? Um, I will not react. Mm. Same. Two, <laughs> two and in. Yep. I'm gonna end it there. Okay. Got me sweating over here. <laughs> Shows go again. I was like, something's coming. Arsenal one card, drawing three. You got it. Uh, take up tunic. You got it. Uh, come in with a uh, icy hammer. Icy Let's hammer. No block. No reactions. Cool. Put you at 10. Yep. 10 with a frostbite. Uh, good arsenal. Yep. Uh, draw four. Cool. A heart of ice. Um, paying two. Um, just trying to think if I want to respond to that. Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. I think I will. Um, I will activate crown. Okay. Okay. Results? Yep. Cool. I will Lexi and give you a frostbite. You got it. Plus one. Okay. Four. Four, go again. Two cards. Two cards. One floating. Yeah. No blocks. Cool. Take four. Take four. Twenty one. Thank you. 
Plus one. Mm. Five. On hit. My hand. No blocks. Sure. Take five. Triple. Sixteen it is. I'll and close the chain. I will also arsenal my last card. You got it. Drawing four. Uh, fused Oaknold. I wish. It's not bad, but no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> uh, spinal Crush. Oh, that's pretty spine. That's pretty yeah. pretty good. So I lose go again. It just hits. But how good would an Oaken be right here? <laughs> Uh, yeah, paying the one for the prospect. Yep. Uh, so actually, none floating. Cool. Nine, huh? Just nine. full crush. Casual nine. Because you can. No float? No float. Block six. six. Take, take three. Sounds good. good. I'll put you to seven. Yep. yep. Uh, Arsenal. Uh, seven to sixteen. Is a jam with R2? Yep. Yep. Seven to sixteen. Sounds good. We're doing all the things. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> See what you got. Uh, 
No, no attack, uh, block, block is good. Is good. Okay, yes. yes. Uh, I will block. You got, got it. it. Uh, close the game. You got it. Arsenal, awesome. last card. Sounds good. Uh, start our turn, take up 10 minutes. You got it. Uh, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Tunic resource Check. to activate crown. Yep. Draw a card. Uh, that resolves. Yes. Good. Yep. Cool. Um. Art of War. You got it. Uh, plus one. And banish. Draw two. Plus one. Okay. I'm gonna end it. Go to go to end step. Arsenal the black card. Yep. Took a tunic on my turn. Yep. Uh, winners bite you. Ooh, I like it. Oak and old for seven. No fuse. No fuse. No fuse. Do you have the pummel? You're blocking my back? Yeah, do you have the pummel? Jeez. I was dead anyway. <laughs> good game, man. That's good. You get stuff, dude. I didn't just forget. <laughs> I needed a turn. I was you were you were getting me good and I was like, well, if you have it, I'm dead. I block out. This matchup Pretty feels so dead. weird for me. Like sometimes it's like really rough and grindy, and then sometimes like they just don't draw quite right. Yeah. And it doesn't feel as bad. 
it's all over the place. Yeah. Um, best way to describe it for me. I feel like I'm a dog. Um, if, if you don't have an off turn. Like, if you're just winter whaling um, yeah, and yeah, yeah. preparing for, like... That part of ice, oh my god. That was messing with me so much. Yeah, it's the, it's the only... It's, it's, it's good and it's bad. I've never had Alexi bring it in against me, so I was just like, I'm gonna just load up on all these staunch responses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of your buffed up arrows are never gonna get through. That was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's the. Uh, that's the idea is to at least make you push a little. I need to empty your hand a little bit quicker. Yeah. To see if I can stretch, but you know. No, you played that well, man. I. Uh, tough to punch through. Very tough to punch through. Good game, though. Very good game. Very good game. Do you go by Robert, Rob? What do you go by? Robert or Rob. Rob? Cool. No variations of uh, Bob, Bobby, or <laughs> Robbie, though. What's your record now? Uh, two and three. Two and three. Did you get paired down? Um, yeah, I think I would have, because now I'm 401. That 401? Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, 401. So you drew? I drew in my first round, yeah. That is a weird pairing, then. It is, yeah. I would almost check the system to see if some, like, there's a miss. Got weird? Yeah. I mean, no, that's 3-1 no, that's... against 2-3, that's... That's still a normal pair down, but no, because I was I had two losses and you had one only one draw. That's eh. Two, that one play it's one. possible. I don't know. Yeah, no, everything's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that should be top table for you. Yeah, you should be. You should. Well, not top table, but like top eight, I think. Is with the buy? What am I buy with the with the tie? Draw. Yeah, I think so. Because you'll be every four two, right? Is that how that works? I think you're. T I think you're. Uh, you you're should be four oh one. I almost don't want to play in top eight. You should have to wait all day. I just. I'm not ready. Experience. It's fun, man. It's it's a great time. It gets so tense, though. Well, so tense. I mean, for I mean, you, you played for you, you're old, them, right? Yeah. Don't forget, don't forget, it's untimed. In yeah, for sure. Eight, so for that sure. helps you. Or it might also help your opponent because now they get to think through their old terms. But I don't know. I it definitely it's like good though. I feel like it's fine. Right? I mean, I came here to have fun, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Good luck, man. Good luck the rest of the way, man. Yeah. Hopefully, you make, you make top eight. We'll see. Sit down for an interview real quick? Yeah. Sure. Take a seat. Let's, let's chat. You mind if I steal your seat here, sir? You'll go right ahead. I'm just And then uh, if you stick around, I'd love to chat with you afterwards as well. Sure.
God, it's like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Bill Boxley with the save from downtown. The, the PC is reaching its structural limit for streaming. It has been going live all day long. We were just talking about the Ultim Ice Lexi matchup. It was a grind. It was a slog. But you were able to get there. You said the moment in the middle of the game when you were able to come back with a command and conquer, which against Ice Lexi can just be, I guess any Lexi can be ridiculous. You were able to take tempo. Was there any spicy tech in your deck that really came, into, came in handy here? I, I have spicy tech but I didn't get to play any of it. <laughs> okay, and do you not want to reveal the spicy tech? Is it still, is it super secret spicy tech? It's not that secret. Um, I'm running a Heart of Fiendal. Oh, okay. I'm trying to go long. Um, I'm running two Imposing Visage to try to fetch out my bridges. Okay. Um, never got to do that. Um, and I think for Lexi, that would probably be it. So they were, they were all in there, but I never really got to use them. Okay, well, congratulations on the win. What's your record on the day? Um, 401 now. Okay, so you're 401 going into the final round. Hopefully, we see you back here for top eight. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. And then we're going to bring in our Lexi player as well. Thank you guys in the chat for sticking through the audio issues. The, the, the PC is reaching its maximum, so we'll probably do an audio reset here during this break. Thank you guys for sticking around. And my name is Josh, and I'm here with... Johnny. Johnny, we met earlier. Yes, we did. Got to give the people your name. Johnny, how are you feeling after that one? Uh, you know, I feel okay. Um, it's a really tough matchup. It's like like uh, Rob said, it's a pretty grindy matchup, especially the way I play it. Okay. Um, you know, got to find those openings. I really couldn't create those openings, those windows to really go for those six-car turns, open it up, prepare for the Rain Razor's three-of-a-kind turns. Um, those are the ones I was waiting for. Um, just couldn't get it to the draws to kind of work out the way I wanted. Um, so you just try to ping a little bit, try not to take too many Winter Whale hits, but you know, the Heart of Ice worked um, where it could. Um, made him over pitch, but hey, you know, that's the breaks. No, and you know what? Sometimes the cards fall that way, but the Heart of Ice tech sounds spicy. Did you play that card specifically expecting to play against Oldhams, or is it there for something else? I have no idea what was going on. Um, <laughs> I was looking at the heart, I was like, all right. I'm like, like totals? No, you're killing me. Um, yeah, I could see it though against some really hyper aggro, like, decks and they're playing the heart you know get get lit incremental value you never okay. know one life that might matter but what about your heart of ice is that in there for the guardian matchup for defense reactions in there for kano why are you running the heart of ice today uh definitely the kano okay. kano is uh top of mind for the heart of ice uh, i run it for prism um i like to run it against prism to kind of stop the aura plan sort of force them into the herald lane as much as possible okay um or delay them on the aura plan so by the time i take tempo and attack really fast um when they are dropping auras i don't care anymore i don't have to hit, take them off i can just go straight for the face okay um and then in all of them i just like to stop the d react side because i'm dead to fatigue sure um, we all know lexi is just really awful to fatigue yes um so i was like well if i can hold off for a little bit maybe i can throw them off if they're on that plan okay the react side um didn't work out but i was okay with that plan well i mean looking at the life totals here it came down to the wire uh you guys both played an awesome game what's your record now what are you sitting at i don't want to talk about it oh no you don't have to reveal it on <laughs> it's stream. so it's bad okay. yeah uh this one felt awful um in terms of i, I lost lost the other two, I definitely lost to one bad three of a kind turn, oh. um, and I drew an all red hand, and I had to block out and lose tempo and die to a blood rush fellow. So oh. things like that happen. It's that's the game. Well, that's part of the tournament shakedown. The next one's gonna go better. But Johnny, I want to take you, thank you for taking the time just to hang out with us. I know after a loss it can be harder, but you're part of the awesome part of this community. You're upbeat. You're ready to play the next game. So shout out to you, man, and thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank you for watching the game. Stick around for round five. Cool. Thanks, John. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, that sure, was dude. awesome.
things about being on stream. Your faces, the tabletop, are always on stream, and your voices are on a hot mic. So sure. don't say anything you don't wouldn't be proud for the rest of the internet to hear. Right Have on. fun. Try to monitor each other's gameplay. Table banter is is fine. Talk sure. loudly. Talk clearly to each other. And then good luck. Really enjoy it. Lean in. Have some fun with it. All right. Thanks, Josh. Do you guys have any um, questions for me? No. I don't think so. You're Bullshit. not going to commentary after this? <laughs> I will not be commentating over the game. I promise. No, I mean later. You know, like later. after the thing. You're like, oh, why did you do that? Ah. No, no, no. You could do that. Terrible okay. move here. Oh, the internet <laughs> will do that to you regardless. Uh, that's Hello. fine. Welcome to the internet. My top camera, so what's the dead zone? Is there a dead zone? <laughs> I think you have to go like look, like sync all the way I'm back just saying so I can show like my that. hand to the players. <laughs> it's all about keeping the audience entertained. All right. Uh, I'm playing right. Prism. Yeah, sure thing. Cool. All right, I'm playing Bolton. We're going to have a Solana showdown. I'm about it. Let's do it. Hey, it's all about the Bolton. Hey, you're referring. Uh, you're we're going to we're gonna try and do him proud. Awesome. Audio is broken for one. Absolutely. Let me just grab what I know I need to grab here. Hi, Internet. <laughs> So am I now? We're setting up. Prism versus Bolton. Bolton's doing a good job. It's an interesting matchup for sure. Yeah, that's right. In your defense, I only wraps. So it's going to be okay. <laughs> we're having fun. We're having, here to have fun. That's we're all having that a good time here. Yeah. Uh, I'm totally going to stop and read your cards. I'm like, oh, that's a light card. It's okay. I, Who plays my, those cards? My last round, we were having fun. I was playing Reinar, and she was just like, sorry, what? Do, I have to read this again. Hey, and once again, in everyone's defense, you know, you get the rep, you don't get the reps. What are you hey, do? you know, we're going to do our best here. Yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to play a clean game. That's all that matters. Exactly. We need to give the intrawebs a clean game because you folks deserve a clean game. Thanks for coming in and watching us play. Flip some cards on the Memorial Day weekend. All right. Let's add some cards to this deck. Do you have a good weekend so far? Yeah, mm -hmm. we've been having fun. Uh, Where are you hailing from? Uh, Springfield, Illinois. Oh, okay. I, I played Derek first round. Oh, yeah, right on. Yeah. it's uh, We played our locals yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, sh there were a, a lot of chain players, but it was all good. So do you feel like Bolton has a good matchup against Bolt, uh, chain? No. No, he totally doesn't. <laughs> I, I mean, I know. Of Pri course not. I know Prism's answer. Prism's answer is like, you make me cry. You make me cry, cry deep down he inside. Totally That's okay. doesn't have a good matchup. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, uh, uh you have to combo, or if you're, gosh, if you're playing. If you're playing, uh. uh Raid and you just. So you go slam first? first. Uh, yeah, high roll? Yeah. Sure. Three. I'm a lucky person. Gentleman's three. Wow, skin what, what in my I, teeth. Um, I will go first. All righty. And I'm going to do a, a shuffle here. Let's see. Yeah, let me not do this thing. I need to pile, and I need to get my riffles in. Yeah, no problem. If I have a clean game. Sure. Gotta, I'm going to pack a shuffle if that's okay with you. See what you got to do. Cool. How have your matchups been so far? Play, play many chains, play a few prisms. Two chains, two prism mirrors. Wow, you're doing the Lord's work today. Oh, OG, OG Bravo. Yeah. Heck, I think you played my uh, buddy yeah. who was playing OG Bravo. Yeah, yeah, Derek. I played Derek first round. OG yeah, 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 yeah. In, in his defense, he told me he was playing Bravo, showstopper, and I was like, okay, Starvo. What's my Starvo? Did your mind immediately go to Starvo? 100%, 100%. And after I presented the deck, he was like, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. what? Oh, what? So you're playing cards like, this isn't the elemental card, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, you're gonna get pulverized for 14. It was nothing but love, it's just avoiding that crush effect, that's all you could do. Oh yeah, it's just like, man, I think the strategy coming into it is like, if I have to play a prism, I'm just gonna try and race it. And like, you can try, I don't and know. Th that was the strategy, he went for it, and, but the problem was like, he left a parable on the field. And yeah, he just sat there and rough. generated value. 
yeah, that's that's a feels bad. All right, Eric. That's more for good luck. Sure. All right, let's have a clean game, Nathan. Absolutely. Let's have fun. Have fun, man. Good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. That's a good cut for you right there. Thank you, sir. You're too generous. Too generous. <laughs> Uh, right. I believe I said I was going first. Yes, let's, sir. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Draw four. Let's start this off. Can you tell me if the uh, hand is visible? Yeah, they can see like top down angle. The okay, hands. perfect. To me. I'll pitch two. Uh, let's use this guy. To play a take flight, charge it. Uh, three go again. Or four if you defend with an attack card. Play the defend with an attack card? Yep. Bones ability is on stack. So where's the plus one come from? Bones ability. Oh, Bones ability. Every time I charge, he's going to get a plus one if you defend with attack actions. Got it. Generates so, value. Yup. More power to you, sir. More power to you. Pitching shimmers. Sure. And four. Defending for four right now? Floating two? Okay. Sure. Uh, then I will pay one to saber you. Or two or three. Putting if I block? Yep. Hmm, One card in hand? One card in hand, no float. Gonna take it. Take it, it to the face. Sure thing, I'll move to end step. Uh, and Let take me, two. Let uh, me, probably should. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You okay uh, with I was gonna say, yeah, I'm fine with that. I got a little pad too, but uh, I'm Four. gonna pass priority. Nope, nothing. I'll uh, arsenal that and uh, draw. Go ahead. I was gonna say the internet is going to do us the favor of uh, keeping tabs on us. They'll be screaming Absolutely. at us like, "You made a mistake, my two footage." Oh, oh, I'm gonna make plenty of mistakes. I can tell you that. Much. It's fine. Well, we'll keep tabs on each other. Drawing up for the turn. Sure, same. For the end of your turn. Start turn. Oh my gosh, what does this work? Oh, tunic. I'm gonna use big dice because big dice are fancy, I guess. I'm so glad that I don't have to take tunic in this matchup. I would have missed it so many times. <laughs> Kill the triumph for five? Sure. Um. Block six. Full block. Gonna play Pierce Reality, and that's the front end of my turn. Sure, and that's the plus uh, two on your first uh, illusion yep. store? First uh, illusion is non attack action. I mean, attack action. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. You're not the only one who plays weird cards. Uh, <laughs> play a lot. All right. Uh, I will engulfing light. Charge it. Uh, if it hits, it goes into my soul. This is not a spin though. I will find the two. There we go. No cards in hand, one arsenal. Just a, just a three. Three plus one bolted, right? You charge Correct. Three. I did charge. If you defend with an attack card. Attack action card. No float, no cards in hand, one arsenal. Hmm. One moment. Any uh, yeah. decision no. point? Absolutely. Take your time. Hmm. And you do have go again already? Not inherently. I have okay. snaps available down here, and mm -hmm. if you defend with an attack, it will make my uh, base higher. Yeah. My attack higher than my base, so I can banish a card, give it go again. But I have no flow right now. So. Fair. Strategy. Probably not going to happen, but. No, in your defense, I've never played the. Uh... <laughs> no, that's fine. I've never played the. See you away, meta. Yeah, no, or the no uh, problem. Monarchata. Yeah, take your time. Mm -hmm. 
page? Sure. Social? Social shield for a social shield. Sure. Yep. Um, no reacts. Pass priority. Pass priority. Okay. Cool. I will Close draw. Soul. Sure thing. I will draw. Anything on your end? Nope. Thank okay. you for asking. Sure. Go ahead. Start turn. Tunic. Kill. Sorry, push under. So last turn. Sure. Kill for uh, six. Sure. Protection. Block six. Full block. Poke for one. Uh, oh, sorry. It's going to come eight. in for eight, right? There's eight. Yeah, yeah. sorry. No problem. Don't, uh, um, if you want to change your uh, block. So, yeah, I think I might actually. Uh, Thank you for catching it. No problem. I'll block, I'll block nine. You can walk Full back. Block. Sure. Poking you for one. Yep. Uh, no blocks. Take it. All right. Got cool. an arsenal. Sounds good. I feel like you don't want anything in my soul. I think you're denying me. It, it, I've I'm trying to find my soulmate thankfully. here. <laughs> we can be friends. We can be friends, Eric. Uh, let's see here. Don't tell my spouse about this. I, I won't tell. <laughs> uh, from Arsenal, I'll play Express. Charge it. Uh, just... A clean four coming at you. No on hit effects, no nonsense. It's as hard as this deck hits, as far as base cards go. Taking four. Okay. Down to Thank three you, four. Sir. Yep. Uh, pass priority. End of your turn. Yep. Yeah, no, bitch. Genesis. Gross. Okay. <laughs> um, I will draw up. Go ahead. Okay. Start turn tunic. Yep. First trigger. Second trigger, Genesis. Sure. Um, nobody liked you anyway. Am I being risky? <laughs> no one liked you anyway. Pitch shield. Yep. Draw a card. Yes. That's why no one liked you. This goes on this. Uh, tunic? Yep. Parable of Humility. Okay. And then I'm gonna poke you for one. Uh, no blocks. Take one. Yep. That's it. Okay. Sounds good. Uh. uh weird turn. It happens. I can show you. It's it definitely happens here. Play a lead the charge. Choo choo. I'll uh, bolt of courage at uh, Genesis. Genesis gets poop. -poop. Okay. I'll maintain my action point. Yep. I will then uh, pitch two to swing a saber at. Uh, Man, I've never seen Parable of Humility played. I don't know if it really affects me, though. Did we not just have a conversation about this? <laughs> um, like, we're making top paper regardless. Yeah. I don't care. I'm just here to have fun. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, you know what? I, so let's, let's hit Parable. There you go. Good let's hit Parable. That's a good choice. Thank you. Thank you. I will move to end step. Nothing fancy for me. Okay. I will just uh, draw up. Thank you. Lead the charge. Start turn. Tunic. No Genesis? Sure thing. Sad face. Sad face. Mirage and Metamorph for nine. That's Clothing a lot. Two. That's a lot of damage. It's totally an overcompensation. It's okay. And that's the one if I if I pop it, you yep. can play something for your hand. It duplicates some no, it duplicates uh some, an aura on the board. An aura on the board. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh, let's see here.
Block three. Okay, take five. Yep. Or sorry, take six. It's nine. Uh, yes, thirteen. Okay. Okay. And I'll keep trying. I do not have go again. I am gonna make a shield. Sure. Okay. And that's it for me. Gonna move our arsenal. Okay. Twenty-three. Thank you for waiting. That's fine. Uh, no problem. Engulfing life. Charge it. You don't have to worry about it. It's just going to get rid of a spectral shield if it hits. If so you come here currently for one? Yep, one. And again, your spectral shield will just soak the damage, so it will not hit. And you don't have to worry about it. It'll just clear a spectral shield. You sure? I could take 20 minutes here to make a decision and like, ah, what do I want to do with these cards, man? Internet, <laughs> tell me! No, it's okay. <laughs> sure, sure thing. And I will uh, just draw up. Pass priority. Okay. I'm waiting for that bolting gold again combo. Let's me cry. Let's see. Uh, was there anything at the end of your turn? There yep. was nothing at the end of your turn. Yep. Okay. I'm watching again for nine. Uh. Floating one. Block three, move to react. Going to spend the one? Sure. Go to rock. Okay. Fate, block okay. seven, take two. Two plus the one minus. Yes. You take an arcane, sorry. You got a 29. And I will opt. Okay. Go ahead and resolve the opt. That'll go to the bottom. All right. Booking you for three times one? Yep. Um. With a minus one on. Pretty stiff time to take damage. Yeah, that's a lot. It is. So I'm looking at six right now? Yes, sir. Take six. Ooh. Yeah. Something's Feel, coming. Something's that. coming. No, not at all. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. You're supposed to have a straight poker face. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right, Nathan, I'm ready. Yep, you got it. Show it to I, me. Tell me what you got. This feels so bad. Pitch, swing saber at Odorath. It happens. Yeah. Do I take one for that? No, it's not merciful. That's one game. Gotcha. Good, good catch, no. Thank you. Um, move to end step. I have one float, one in hand. Nope. You're good. Cool. I will draw up. Start turn tuning. You got it. Fourteen for nine. <laughs> I'll pop it. So you're down to 27? Yes. You got it? Cool. I'm gonna... So it's floating one, I'm gonna spend it for the boost. Spend it for fan, yeah, yeah. But this chain closes. You. Sure thing. Terrible judgment for six. Mm, what's the on hit for judgment? You can't activate cards and banish. I don't think it affects you. Meh, I don't care about that. Um, only, only Katsu, Kano, Chain are the ones that come to mind, for the most yep. part. Mm. Uh, move to reacts. No reacts for me. Which two? Soul Shield it. Soul Shield. It's a two over. Uh, was that not Oh, your... no, sorry, you're right, yeah. you're right, you're right. Full block. Cool. Social, go on my soul. Thanks for catching me. Uh, you're good. Poking you for two? Um, take it. 21. Another piercing? That's it for me. Sure. It's a lot of horrors. Uh, I will be drawing up on my turn. Okay. So I'll wait to draw up. Uh, I draw also, go ahead. Okay, cool. 
Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Start your turn. Yep. Miraging for 11. Uh, no blocks. Attack reactions? No reactions. Fate. Okay. Uh, pass you. You're taking seven? Uh, hold on. Okay. I'll sink. Sounds good. Draw card. Taking three right now? Uh, yeah, block eight, coming for nine. Eleven. Eleven, that's right, double pure reality. I really have to do something about that. <laughs> yes, I suppose I'm taking three. You're doing the best you can. I'm right. trying, man. Uh, down to 18, taking three? Yep. Gonna poke you three times? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Fifteen. Two next? Sure. Your addition? That's a lot. Um... Two, four, five, full armor stack. Full block? Yep. You got it. Cool. Gonna move the arsenal. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, let's see here. These all get battle worn counters. Uh, use, use the blue the ones. Use the dice, I guess. Let's get your own dice. I do have my own dice. I think I'm gonna use those. They're a little more clear. Unless you're green colorblind. I'm sorry, Internet, if you're green colorblind, it's okay, we believe in you. <laughs> That's such a nice thing to say. You know, the We're Internet trying. needs more positive stuff, it just is, it is what it is. Uh, for my turn, I'm just going to play a time snap. Oh. That's priority. Oh, it sounds like next turn's going to be a big turn. I'm going to... nothing for me. <laughs> Alright, I will draw. Go ahead. Start a turn too, Nick? Sure. Yeah. Kill the triumph for, for five. Nine. For, for nine. From Arsenal for nine. I'll pop it. Yep, it's popped. Gonna pitch to recovery action point. Sure. This will close out. Yep, closes out. Two floating. Mm -hmm. Poking you for three. Take three. Kill for seven. Cool. Block six. Okay. Take one. Take one. It uh, makes your shield. Sure. Hope you have new shield. Yep. Ten. He's bending. That's it for me. Oh my gosh, Eric. What a turn. Don't. Uh, what a just, turn. It was just me being aggressive. Hey, so many you wars. passed. You passed. <laughs> and, you know, you had the breakers. Uh, uh, it's there's there's some inevitability in the game, but at the same time, you have five and a time snap. I think you're gonna I, try and smash me hard. I, I'm hoping that it comes up sooner rather than later because I don't have a lot of life left. Uh, okay. uh, we will just arsenal. Oh, this one in the soul. Yep, 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 you're Someone's good. Gonna uh, I'm going to move to end step and arsenal this. Okay. Draw it. Oof. Go ahead. Start turn to Nick. Yep. Cool. Should have done that last turn, but life goes on. <laughs> Pitching to make sure. a shield. Okay. <laughs> Floating two. Mm hmm. Kill the protection for five? For nine. For nine. Pop it. Good call. Gonna spend three to recover the action point. Sure. Moving two. Oh, you're saying, I didn't charge it. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna play haze bending. That's it for me. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> it was a full blue hand, in my defense, okay? I'm sorry, internet. I could have done better. I could have, you know, There's optimized so that, but... 
It's a full blue hand. I got a little tilted. Okay, it happened. There's so many auras. Okay, um, don't don't tell. Uh, Non-attack. Okay, um, don't tell your friend this. He got he got hit by more. That was the answer. Oh gosh, that's horrifying. Because this feels like this is overwhelming at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and att I'm gonna attempt to deal with. You're this. gonna finish me. You're gonna finish me. No, Can not you, this turn. This is Raiden's turn. Raiden, this, you can do this. I'll play lead the charge. Sounds good. Uh, Bolt of Courage is going to go at, I guess, uh, these, see, if I get rid of Pierce Reality, that's just up front. If you have any Heralds, you've played a lot of Heralds, though. Um, Haze Bending, yeah, if you don't mind. That, uh, hold, I, I see him. Oh, that's so many. I, I'm going to guess. I guess we'll get rid of because if I get rid of haze bending anyway, it's just gonna keep creating stuff. Uh, we'll we'll swing at Pierce Reality, pulls of courage. Do you trigger? Yep, feels really bad. We can have the conversation after. Oh yeah, of course. Yep. There's always different choices. Absolutely, and then I will just maintain my action point. Pitch one. I'll swing one at haze bending. Okay, majority trigger. It'll create one. Sure. No, it doesn't. It doesn't create one. Majority trigger. Oh, that's right. I didn't see that. Okay, I will close out the chain. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll draw. Go ahead. Three. Go ahead. Yep. Thank you. Let's see if you draw the last one. Try to try him. For uh, no. eight. For eight. <laughs> uh, move to react. Yep. Soul shield it. All right. Taking two. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Technically, chain hasn't closed, but yeah, you're doesn't good. Matter. Uh, take two. We're down to eight. This goes in the soul. Sure. So many spectral shields. Working for seven. That's rude. <laughs> so you have yellow pitch. So I'm looking down the barrel of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven after this. That's a lot. One card in hand, too. No float, though? No float. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, let's do... Block three, mood reacts. No, we have block seven. Full block. Sure. Everything. <laughs> Poking you for seven. We resolve this one step at a time. Sure. Obviously. One. I'll throw a skull cap in front of it. Yeah. Two. Yep. Three. Yep. Four. Uh -huh. Five. Six. Seven. So how many? How many was that? I think I missed one counter. Uh, this was six. Yep. And I blocked your haze bending. Yes. So it was six? Six. Totally. Okay, cool. So I went from eight to two. And I'm not going to be greedy. So I'm gonna play. All right, play it safe. Play sure it thing. Safe. You got it. Hey, uh, you can go off at any moment. I oh. can. Not with cards in my you hand. You took damage from this, right? Uh, no, no, I did not. I've, oh, you blocked. I full blocked it. I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple of... Uh, we might have actually. Carol's going in the soul. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, six. So go in. I will just uh, pass priority. Okay. Go ahead. I missed Tunic. Internet, I missed Tunic. I suck. Terrible. For six. Oh. Eight. Yeah, eight. Um. That's going to be game, man, because you have go again and just a slew of spectral shields. Yeah, I was going to say, that's 
This game. Great Sorry. game, Eric. Oh, you had the hand. I had it. You had the hand if you could hold off. <laughs> oh, three of them. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was. Uh, <laughs> so how does the bulletin go off? I've seen it like on Team Covenant. Yeah. I've never seen it in person kind of. So what you'd want to do is the key card against Prism is because you have Arclight Sentinel. Yeah, I did. Right there. And you just kind of cuff that the entire game. Uh, I get this on the field because that can only save you from one blade. 100%. So if I draw and play the triple lumina with this, so this will give you a plus one for each one. So plus three, five, Galantary Gold gives it six. So and six for every weapon. And six times four times two, parentheses. So and do you have enough charge soul for that? Was six enough? Oh yeah, soul? six is plenty. Okay. Six is plenty. Uh, realistically, four. So it have been 24, roughly? 48. 48, wow. Yeah. So, um, so, I mean, how much would I have been able to block? I had, um, you had a lot of spectral shields. I did. Let's look um, at self pain. Let's say you did survive. And let's say you did keep the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and keep in mind, when you block with an attack card, this will get the pump from this and sabers, which is a lasting effect for the whole turn. Yeah. So, if you typically what you want to do if you're on the, the take, back end. Take the front and then block the back end. Exactly. Exactly. Because. I would have waited anyway to try and turn the yep, skull cap. Yeah, skull cap. It's a little rough at that point because you're at two. It's, it's kind of similar to the chain matchup where if you just start bleeding early, it's it's really rough and you got to keep uh, high enough. And I did a bad job dealing with your board state. I think going back, I would have hit haze bending. It would have created two spectral shields. Only once though. Right, because because one of them would have been destroyed, and that doesn't resolve on it because that's merciful. Yeah, it doesn't reflect you any just, damage. Just merciful. Gotcha. Really so I don't think it would have mattered, but for future reference, attack haze bending. <laughs> it's always gonna be game state. So obviously, yeah. Arclight's one thing. Genesis has priority depending mm. on. Once again, right. board state, how much cards in hand, if they can use it. Yeah. If you're putting pressure, you can probably ignore Genesis because if they don't have a hand, you exactly. can't take advantage of it. Haze bending generates value, merciful mm -hmm. owed depending on situation. Mm -hmm. So right now, this is a heavy herald build, a lot of heavy reds. I kind of noticed that. <laughs> it, was, it was eight reds, okay? Okay. All right. Eight reds. So do you think... I, I felt like I did a decent job defending and blocking your Herald, or popping them at least. Um, I was debating whether or not you wanted to full block and just take damage and just trade with me. See, but that's the thing is, like, this deck doesn't really trade well. You kind of have to just ramp into the combo, and you have to go down quite a bit. Because what I'm just trying to do is just pitch stack everything at the bottom here, mm -hmm. and hopefully, like, Lumina... To get the full cycle? Yeah. Who, Lumina without uh, having to shuffle my deck. But going through full cycle, that's uh, an easy 15 turns. Unless well, you're... but keep in mind on the Lumina turn, whenever a Saber hits, oh, you, you card. three cards come off the top for a full Lumina. But nice things are, uh, E-Strikes are Lumina-proof, is what I like to say. So they actually go to the bottom of your deck, so and they don't go into soul. So when Lumina triggers, every light card goes into your soul. Exactly, and you gain okay. life for each one. So oh, okay. like, realistically, if I had the Lumina, for triple Lumina, uh, these two would have gone to my soul. E-Strike would have been at the bottom of my deck. And so you just repeat that process for every hit, mm -hmm. and then cycle through your deck. Cycle through your deck, and then ideally, because remembrances are in here as well, just so I can block and protect cards from Luna, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I don't necessarily you like you block with Celestial, bring it back. Yeah. Bolting Blade's kind of a weird one. It's really in there just to pop. It was just weird with the full defense package because you had all the D reacts. So just... You gotta play D reacts and combo bolt. Okay. You you gotta, and you just. You did a really good job of establishing a board state that's just so wide, and it's like lead the charges are in here, but there's only so much you it can do. only yeah. So just really prioritize. I mean, there were a lot of turns where you were ending the turn with one card in hand. So I was trying to figure out. It was Illumina. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was respecting the CNC, because um, if you were to hit me with a Herald with Go Again, and then come in with a CNC, and it's like I lose Illumina, and it's losing one isn't. A death sentence, mm -hmm. but losing two or gosh, you know that's really bad. <laughs> I agree with you. But yeah, man, great game, great Thank game. You for the game Nathan. Absolutely, yeah. I'll uh, I'll be seeing you around. Oh, definitely. Possibly. I mean, you're in Springfield. I'm in Chicago, so. Oh yeah, yeah, right on. Uh, are, is Minmax your uh, your Tec home base? I guess. Technically, I don't play anywhere. I'm just. You're, of, you're a just wonder. One, I'm just a casual office worker who uh, comes who has the time to come in and do the stuff. Hey, standard Japanese, sames, uh, man. Yeah, they, <laughs> standard Japanese just uh, stereotypes. En just enjoys uh, card games. When you get the opportunity. And we have a nice three-day weekend. Absolutely. That's and what I was saying. I was going to say, I know you're hanging out in Joliet uh, tomorrow. Any exciting plans? 
brew no. tonight. No. Are there any cool breakfast places around there that you know of? In Joliet, I don't know. I'm not northern. Well, so, you know, I, I hear people, and it makes me cringe every time I hear it, but some people call it Joliet. And it's like, oh. Ah. I mean, there's, there's folks from Missouri here, so I don't want to insult them. <laughs> hey, they're, they're good people in Missouri. They're, they are good people. They're good people I'm there. just saying, the first time you're saying <laughs> Missouri is kind of weird. Missouri, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, sounds good. We are all done, Josh. Gotta go. Prism goes too wide, man. It's hard to deal with. It was, oh. a, it was a little one-sided. It was well, a little, yeah. But if he did guys, his best to defend. If you guys mind, do you mind if I have a conversation with uh, the person who came in first and then a conversation with the person who came in second? I would yeah. totally go with Nathan. Like, Nathan was like, sure. she was sending up the bomb. I was afraid every single turn for him going. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thing. I'm 5-1 I'm five, one. One now. 4-2, I guess? Who'd you lose to? Oh, you're 4-1. I lost to a Briar. Uh, Michael, he's probably still here on Briar. That was brutal. Do you mind if I take you Absolutely. I want to hear because I want to hear from both sides. Yeah, 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 you both sides. Both a chance to talk crap of about course. each other. <laughs> no, no, no. He did a standing job defending. It was just I've never played Bolton before, and the question was like, what am I supposed to do? So I'm just gonna smash face and hope for the best. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. It looks like we've just finished out this round. You guys know me. My name is Josh. What's your name, man? I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. It's like I don't know you at all. Never at all. Uh, for the record, first time I went to an Armory event. First person to greet me, that guy. Ah, uh, he's lying to you all. But so you just played Prism and you just played against Bolton. You mentioned you weren't necessarily ready for the Bolton matchup. What'd you learn after this one? That going hard, uh, they for the well, you gotta figure out if you're doing combo, if you're doing standard, because Bolton is definitely one of those dark horses. I mean, Nathan was able to pilot it up to four one today at a sixty four person event, so he knows what he's doing. Okay. And, and uh, all day, I heard stories about Nathan going. <laughs> Yeah, this guy did double, triple Illuminami and just ended me, just one turn. They mentioned time snaps, the Snapdragons. I was afraid. Okay, so you're afraid you're going into it. What, when did you know you were going to come out on top? When did you know you were going to get clear of this gigantic combo? He was really blocking. He was really eager about blocking out cards, preventing cards from going into soul. Personally, I really wasn't aiming to put cards into my soul. I was just trying to put pressure to the face. And he was chucking cards. He had no cards in hand. So at that point, I was like... They're giving me free turns. I'll take them. Okay, so you're able to take advantage of kind of some tempo, some free turns. Was there ever, ever a time that you were worried you might lose this tempo? Ever a moment that you felt, felt you might fall on the back foot and maybe fall susceptible to that big combo? Oh, the first two turns. Because I was trying to figure out what he was doing. I was like, why are you punching me for one? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, so you got over at the first two turns. What's your record right now? I'm currently 5-1 and one at the 64-player event. I lost my last round to Chain. Okay, so 5-1 and one at the 64-foot player event. It looks like you will get in the top eight, so we can't wait to see you again. Congratulations. Uh, you got a lot of Prism fans in the chat. I know we had a lot of Bolton fans in the chat. you have anything you want to say to the people out there? I'm so sorry for the number of heralds I didn't put in this soul. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll review the play again and try and learn. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Eric. Eric, thank you so much for your time, man. It's been a pleasure. Well, thank appreciate you, you hanging out. It's always fun talking to you. You have so much energy. <laughs> hey, God. folks, you got to subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See, I don't have to say it if I just pay people <laughs> under the table to say it for me. That is the secret. Well, thank you very much. And as you pack up here, let's bring in our Bolton player to chat about the game. Guys, this is one of the hardest things to do after a hard-fought game. And you, you come in second, and then you got to sit down and talk about it about the game these players are just ultimate champions for being able to sit down and talk about it so shout out to all these people playing today and shout out to you dude this is a tough one hey i know what i did wrong no oh, no, no, no. come on <laughs> so come on take you. a seat come take a seat all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back our bolton player and you guys all know me by now but what's your name man i'm nathaniel Nathaniel, nice yeah. to meet you and it Dude. looks like you took a tough one to prism here but you've been playing yeah. bolton what happened so Tough thing when you're playing combo Bolton, especially, is in the Prism matchup, is number one, you need to get the time snap potion out. Okay. Because you, they're going to have Archetype Sentinel, and they're going to hold it the entire game and waiting for your one big turn. So you really have to protect the combo. But as the game progresses, Prism is just going to try and establish this huge board state, which is really difficult to deal with. Sure. Um, Unless, you know, you if you keep going, like banishing cards from soul, but you don't want to do that. You want to stockpile that and get your soul as beefy as possible. So you can close the game out with, like, a beacon for victory for, like, 20. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. it happens sometimes. Um, but, yeah, so Eric did a really good job of just creating that board state with the, the pierce realities were really brutal. Uh, okay. He had two out at one point, so that's a plus four. Oh. 
Uh, I think I did a really good job of popping all, a lot of his heralds. He went herald heavy, big time. Um, but there was one play, I think I go back to, you can watch it on the tape, but I should have played a take a red take flight for four damage, pitched, you know, whatever garbage was in my hand, sold up. Uh, that would have cleared two spectral shields. I don't think it would have mattered. That's probably the one play I'd take back. But okay. um, there was also one more where I should have, uh, I'd lead the charge into a bolt of courage, uh, attacking, he had four auras up at that point. Oh, wow. Which is, okay. It's pretty big. You've been playing against Prism, that's a lot. So yeah. I would have hit the, I hit the one of the plus twos, the Pierce Realities. He had two haze bindings up. I didn't realize it was a once per turn. I know that now. Reading is fundamental. <laughs> um, so if I were to walk it back, I'd hit the haze bending and said he would have created only one spectral shield, I think. That's how it works. So, okay. you know, it is what it is. Uh, playing combo bolt, you just have to defend, charge when you can, block out, and then hopefully hit those really big Lumina turns. And you want to do everything from avoiding a soft Lumina. Yeah. For four each turn. Right. <laughs> you well, want to go for as heavy as possible. Well, I do want to just shout you out. You're piloting bolt and you're doing quite well. Sure. What's your record right at right now? I think I'm four and two. You're four and two, and you yeah. took your final loss as the in the last round of Swiss. So there's a possibility we'll you see. sneak in there if yeah. you sneak in yeah. to the top eight and you get there what's the one hero you do not want to see uh gosh i mean i i'd say prism right off the bat <laughs> but uh you know chain goes even faster and it's gosh even wider sometimes depending on how he hits those soul shackles but yeah probably prism okay the prism matchup was brutal well hey man i'm hoping for you congratulations and, and, and thanks for and taking the time i know this is really hard so we appreciate oh, you so much no we love reflecting on our past losses yeah it makes us better players hey <laughs> that, it's a little sage advice for you guys. Thank you for hanging out. That means we are going to pair off to the top eight, take a short break, and be getting into top eight gameplay. So from both Nathaniel and I, thank you so much for hanging out, and we will see you guys soon after a short break. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much. Thanks, man. And remember, we'll be on hot mic until I turn us off here, so all the rude things you want oh, to say to me Josh, about my ugly face. He's so cool. He's, he's taller than me. Oh, now you're going to lie to the chat. Yeah.
alive. Is my makeup okay, sir? Do I look good? <laughs> You've never looked good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As we are setting up here for the top eight, I've got fan favorite Mo Bogsley back. We saw him round two on Kano, I believe. How was the rest of your day, dude? It was fun. I went 4-2, uh, fried in top eight, but it was a good run. It yeah, was... top eight has not been exposed yet, so we don't know. But you had a heck of a run with Kano. What what was some of your most ridiculous plays of the day? Uh, so my three wins were Prism, Starvo, AB4, Starvo, AB3. Oh, so spicy. We, we beat the hard matchups. We lost the easy matchup. So that's uh, that's how Kano goes, though. Like Some, Sometimes you get there. What is it? I think your earlier advice for round two was sometimes Kano does Kano things. Sometimes he doesn't. Better lucky than good. Better We're sticking with it. <laughs> All right. What was the most? Did you have any blind flips that were memorable off the top today to either save or win any games? Yeah, well, like, you got to put them to the test. If you're going to put them on stream, yeah. put them to the test. Uh, no blind flips. I don't really believe in blind flips for the win. I, he says, I, tells you all to be better lucky than good, but then he tells you don't believe in blind flips. Be better lucky than good until you lose 100 games on Kano and then start getting good. <laughs> you got to cross that line eventually. <laughs> right now, they need to be better lucky. So there's a chance. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance. There's like you a 2% chance, eight. I would say. So <laughs> if you make it in the top eight, how likely is it that you're going home with the win? What's in the top eight? That's the. It doesn't uh, matter. A hundred percent. If we get top eight, we're winning this. Everyone's just gonna concede and just give me the gold <laughs> just foil. Give me the gold yeah. foil. Hey Mo, big fan of the YouTube channel. We love you. Here's your gold foil, guys. Exactly. If you don't know, follow this man on YouTube. YouTube.com/slash Mo Boxley. He's also a pretty good Twitter follow at Twitter with the same handle. I tweet a hundred times a day. So you tweet here. a lot. I would love to make you my social media manager, but I can't afford you. You're too good. I need a job. <laughs> if anyone out there. Uh... <laughs> You do post about your interviews a lot. Do you have anything final that you want to leave with fans before maybe you're back, maybe you're not? I, I will see you guys in Vegas if you're going. I'll be on Kano. Rub it in. All right, ladies you'll and gentlemen. You'll be there, right? You'll, we'll you'll, see. You'll be, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out again. We are finalizing things. We're moving into top eight, so there will be a lot of breaks coming in the stream, but stick around for some top eight gameplay coming right here from the MinMax Pro Quest. And smash that subscribe button. That was, yep. I told you. I don't have to say it if I just pay people to say it for me. That's the strategy. You still owe me, by the way, for the last... You gave me a skull cap just now. I don't owe you anything. <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll talk uh, to you soon. <laughs>
All right, you two sit down. Camera. I'll make sure we can still see you both here. So this is your face cam here. Sure. And both of you are like me. You're both wide gentlemen, so you're going to have to scoot in. <laughs> you're going to say and get close. Am I on the edge John here? John has to scoot that way a little bit. Okay. How about you pull the camera away? What? How about you pull the camera away? Uh, because I don't want to screw up the table set up for our players. <laughs> so you guys can just lean in. Lean your heads in. Yeah. There you go. Great look. I'm going to just digital, di digital zoom. I don't want to change the <laughs> play space for our players, dude. Look, I only roll sixes. It's all about our players. As I roll a one. I don't know, I don't know about this professional. It's all about <laughs> but I only roll sixes. Now we're doing live video editing because you guys want to be difficult. <laughs> I like being difficult. Uh, judges out here acting like they can do whatever they want. We can. I mean, that's right. Yeah, what we say goes. Isn't that the case? That's crazy. Right, LSS? That's, that's exactly correct. All right. Joshua told me at the pro tour I can do whatever I want. Yeah, on camera. Josh said he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah. I, won't, I won't come back to that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the culmination of Swiss here at the 64-player Min-Max Games Pro Quest. I am here with our two judges. Guys, what's going on today? Int actually, first of all, introduce yourselves to the people. Talk nice and loud into the mic. So, uh, I'm Howard Brody. I uh, drove down here from Madison. Uh, I've been playing Flesh and Blood since April of last year, and I've been an L1 judge since October, and it turns out uh, I'm probably better at judging than I am at playing, which doesn't say much, I guess. I'm okay at playing. I'm pretty decent at judging. I'm John Smith. Uh, some of you Chicagoland people might know me as the guy who plays Levia and loses all the time. Um, <laughs> I'm a level one judge as well. I got my judgeship in October of last year, and I actually started playing in, during the uh, Monarch release. Nice. So. All right, guys. Well, we just finished Swiss, which is the, uh, I guess, the big group portion event of the day, and you guys had your work cut out for you. There were judge calls coming at least one per round, but every player seemed to be really positive, really embracing your guys' rulings, and really inquisitive, trying to learn a little bit, a little bit about the game. What was the most interesting judge call you had today? We'll start with you. Oh, man. Um, uh, 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 one of the most frequent, I don't know about amazing, uh, that's, that's going to put me on the spot, but one sure. of the most frequent calls is uh, when a whole bunch of arcane damage goes on the stack at once. Uh, what, what goes on the stack first? Do the rune chance go first? Does the Rosetta go first? And since it's all going on the stack at the same time, the turn player gets to decide. So I saw a lot of uh, instances where uh, the, the turn player would process the two damage first so that Skullcap wasn't turned on for that, so it couldn't be efficiently uh, prevented. Uh, stuff like that. That is an interesting one. John, what about you? I'd have to say there's no specific one, but in general, uh, Prism does Prism things, <laughs> and it confuses yeah. everyone around uh, around you. A uh, lot, of, lot of questions about when they can and cannot play their instance or react or, you know, respond to another card or an ability or some such. And okay. There was, and there was a Kano flying around today, so yeah. it, was the, it was the prison questions and the Kano questions. All the instant speed shenanigans. All right, so instant speed, keeping people on their toes for sure. And I have right here, you know, the culmination, the top eight, and it looks like we have Prism, Prism, Starvo, Azalea, Chain, Prism, Chain, and Viscerai. Does any part of this list <laughs> surprise you two as judges? Uh, well, there's a miracle in Azalea making yeah. a top yeah. eight. Poor uh, Azalea, only character without any living legend points. Maybe today that'll change. I am about to say, she is going for her first, and I'm going to put <laughs> you guys on the spot. You can't pick. I'm not going to ask you to pick. I am going to ask you, however, if you were going to play in this top eight field, what hero would you want to play? John, we're starting with you. Love you. Any reason? Because I 5 0 in Swiss last week with her. <laughs> John's all in on Levia. Finally, what hero would you play in this top eight field? I'd be playing Ice Lexi with uh, Rain Razors and stuff like that. Okay. I'm definitely, I definitely run to tight. Uh, I don't particularly care what's good in the meta. I'm just a Ranger fan, and Ice Lexi does everything I've ever wanted Rangers to do. Well, that is awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will culminate our top. Our, our Swiss, our 64-player yep. Swiss event. We have cut to the top eight. The stream is going to take a break. We will be on break mode until 6 o'clock, roughly 45 minutes from now. Judges, can I get an official ruling? Sounds about 45 right. minutes on the dot. 45, really? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. 45 minutes on the dot from right now. We will be back with top eight gameplay. Guys, just 
personally from me to you, thank you so much for being so awesome and amazing members of the community, being so helpful. We will see you guys back. Thanks to our judges, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Josh. Now i got to fix the stream setup since you guys didn't want to sit close enough together. <laughs> Sorry, man. I like my personal space. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 COVID? I don't you know. heard there's a pandemic? Yeah, there's a pandemic. <laughs> 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 You want me to look like I'm playing? Yeah, please. That is fantastic. God, that judge shirt looks great on you, and the whole internet loves you. <laughs> thanks, man. That's perfect. All right, sweet. Thanks again for everything you did. Oh, yeah. Thanks for, again, thank you for doing this, because I hated helping with this at, at ProQuest, because I'm not good with it.
Thank you, sir. Dynamic lock screen. This is not the same tablet. This is a different tablet. So, this will be a very intense. Levy? Levy? Levi? Levi. 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 So, these are your lists, and I guess we're doing the thing where you can see each other's lists before presenting. You are hot, Mike. Just see. So sure. Uh, so there you go, and there you go, and then you guys can make your sideboard decisions. So I shouldn't say the seven words you can't say on TV or radio. That's right. That's that same skit, right? That you shouldn't say on TV or radio. Yeah, I think the law is, but he he says TV. Oh, does he? Okay. I'm sure the law is comprehensive. Did you want these back? Yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. I'll go first. I'm sure you'll be surprised by that. Uh, yeah, Nathan has the choice of who goes first. Yes. He's choosing first. Josh, yes. do I need to use these dice or can I use my own or these? Eh, no, these are fine. Uh, I'm going to, is it okay if I use my quarter as my dominate icon? Sure. Sweet. Unless you got something for me. I don't. Peter was very against making dominate token, so we can yell at him. Alright, I mean, it's like, it's a relevant <laughs> thing. I, he, this, these are the ones he wanted to use. No. So what I'm going to do is move oh, really? this to here. Is that still in frame? Josh, is this still in frame? Can I ask you a question? Is this still in frame? What? Is this still in frame? I just want to make sure it's as clear as possible. Man, it, is, it is in frame, yes. We're planning on going that wide. <coughs> I don't appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to need all this space to kill you. <laughs> Last time it was like, you get a half a mat to right, like, right. your discard. It's like, That's fair. It's like two attacks and you're done. <laughs> if, one of you, if one of you guys wanted to use your phone for smaller space, that's also allowed, but know that your phone screen would be on stream. Yeah. So as I've said all day, don't leak any nudes unless they're mine. It's my stream. Understandable. Demonetized. <laughs> Demonetized, ban, all that good stuff. That's the beauty of recording content. I can go back and watch this right where I want. Oh, I it looks great, dude. It looks like 
real professional. Thank you. Uh, yes. Longer for you. I got to go home yesterday. <laughs> After my my round five today, I was it was against a Kano, and I was just mentally exhausted. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> well, we got food in the system. Did you get to go get food? I did. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. I'll square this up or something. Oh, this is gonna throw me. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to not have it in You're good. proper I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my tokens over here. And I'm just gonna do a little corner here in the bottom. Sure. And then you need room for your graves. We can scoot it a little bit closer. And I'll, I'll I was just sure. gonna put it over here. Uh, let's keep it on, on screen, right? Okay. Yeah. I'll just tuck it then sideways. Okay, perfect. Alright, best of luck. I'm gonna go put it, I'm putting it in the general. <laughs> Check out the win. Is this one time? Shadow Puppet too? Yeah, two. Check out the win. Jackal? Six, go again. On hit. Uh, I get the peak top card of my deck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Surprise, I'm running Rosetta Thorns. You're not playing Galaxy Black, but that's, that's his signature weapon. <laughs> thought about Reaping Blade, but... <laughs> I didn't notice it was in your side. I didn't expect it, but... Uh, is a consideration. Um, I'm going to... Declare no blocks. Any reactions? Sink below. Sinking here. Taking two. Uh, still in reactions. One plug. <laughs> Take cover. Mm -hmm. So reload. Yep. Not taking anything. Nope, you're right. <laughs> two and two. This, I will block this. Okay. Taking this to our friend. Sorry. 48. 48. I will arsenal and dust in. Drawing up at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. You're gonna give my turn. Tuna goes to one. Uh, I'm gonna activate the cross wrap. Don't have much room to turn it sideways, which I normally would. <laughs> We're good. Send it to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to attack with Bolt and Shot. Coming in for four. Currently, no stuff. Declare no blocks. Uh, I'm going to reactions. I'm going to play a Rain Razors. Yep. I'm bumping it to six, giving it go again, and on hit reload. Yep. Taking six, going to 34. You choose not to reload. Okay. I'm going to pitch to activate Death Dealer. Yep. Loading a blue Ridge Rider shot and drawing a card. Yep. Uh, Ridge Rider effect is going to opt one. Yep. 
Leave it on top. Okay. Trigger is there. Yep. And lightning strike. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in for seven. And this is going to be. The clearing of blocks. No reactions. Take seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. And I will move to arson. Let's go. Check a one. I know it's in blue. Artifact. <laughs> Vanish plus one, draw two. Drawing two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Yep. Four, go again. Uh, search for my deck for a call card Minimalism. Red? Yeah. <laughs> Four, go again. Declare no blocks. Okay. Reactions. Oh. Take four. Thirty-four. Okay. What spook is like that? You know how many reactions there are. I <laughs> do. <laughs> you have some. A little. Revealing consuming volition. Switching my deck for a called fire minimalism. Sounds good. Don't know why I did such a thorough job shuffling that first time. Getting a blue. I'm in for three and go. I really need to learn how to shuffle. Bando, can you shuffle for me? You're just, you so want me to shuffle? You're just so much smoother at it than I am. I mean, it might be your sleeves too. I don't know. I don't like yeah, to probably. I got, I got those slick katanas, you know? <laughs> yeah, katana shuffle really nice. Yeah. Although mine are getting old and harder to shuffle. No blocks. Yes. Any reaction? Nope. Shadow Puppet. Shackle. Two and two. Two closing. The arcane. Okay. Thanks for the two arcane bear. Yep. And declare no blocks on the two physical. Any reactions? Yep. Twenty nine. Mm -hmm. See, look at. Me do that. Six go again. On hit. Reveal top card of the deck. Pretty decent turn. That was pretty good. Yeah. 
Clear no blind. Okay. Reaction? Nope. Nope. 23. 23? I have Oh, you went to the place. And you have not dealt arcane, so this has no on hit right now. Correct. Lock three. Taking three. Twenty. I will move to Arsenal, or we'll move to end step. Take one to blood that. Twenty six twenty. Uh -huh. Activate the skull and cross right. Uh, leaving it on top. Azalea. Sigil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did not see the sigil on the list. Oh, I wasn't looking for it. That's so. there. <laughs> uh, pitch to activate Death Dealer. Yep. Loading a sleep dart. I have one resource for you. Draw from Death Dealer. And then just come in for five with the sleep dart. Blocking <laughs> five. Block is good. I'm going to move to Arsenal. Yep. Shackle. One and two. Take the arcane. Okay. Twenty two. Yep. Start of the turn. Tunic trigger. Yep. Uh, activate the skull bone cross wrap. Reveal a yellow sleep dart. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
I'm gonna pitch three to activate for Travers. Yep. One resource remaining. Mm -hmm. Sleep dark. Four. Go again. Nothing wrong. Four. No blocks. Reactions? No reactions. Okay, I'll take four. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I'll just flip him over. Sure. Taking a nap. <laughs> I was nap say time. waking and waking up, and then I got hit by a crush confidence today, and I was like, I got my confidence, but it doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. <laughs> it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to activate the tunic to gain a resource. Sure will. Use the resource to activate Death Dealer. Yep. Loading a Bolton shot and drawing a card. Yep. Bolton shot for four. Go again from Purge Grabbers. No reactions. 17? 17 is... Can reload? Sure. Okay. So no reload. Correct. Great. Waiting for. Yeah. I'm like 17. That seems like a reasonable husk. <laughs> I was hoping to get something sooner. Uh, block is good. Turn is yours. Uh, three. One, two, three. So I had to mark the cross wrap because I was so reloading again. I'm like, I need to not try and cross wrap a second time. <laughs> You're good, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's any room. So non attack turns it on. Any room later on for the rest of the turn will be created. So I could even play a non run point non attack. Almost. <coughs> Searching my deck for cold card. Then it was a um, blue. Nothing float for in hand coming in for six go again. Yep. No blocks. Any reactions? I have no reactions. You're gonna take cover. Oh, yep. I'll pass the cover. Great. Uh, choosing not to reload. Great. Uh, taking two. Yep. Eighteen. Eighteen. Minimalism. <laughs> I 
Shadow Mercer, banishing a Invert Existence. Five, go again. Five, go again, nothing to float. No blocks. Any reactions? Nope. Taking five. Yep. Thirteen. Thirteen. Two and two. Two floating. Take two for arcane. Yep. One to the physical. <laughs> Declare no blocks. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Invert. Targeting that card. Didn't get the heck out of there. And Sorry. We can destroy. Yep. So I am blocking one of that arcane. Yep. So I have me at 10. Yep. Same. I take two to blend that. Go to 15. And these were finished. Mm -hmm. Start of the turn, tunic goes to one. Yep. Light and strike for five, draw cards. Yeah, we didn't oh, blood yeah, and yep. then two yep. there. We're really bad at that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move to Arsenal. Right. Chain will wake up. Sure. One, two, and three. I'm much, I'm, I'm much happier with your paper records being concurrent. Right. Uh, We're verifying every time, and then, <laughs> and then we yeah, just have to update what our paper says. Uh, so you hit the unhallowed and the rest were missives. Uh, can I see those missives? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, CNC, shut up up a tree. OK, perfect. Thank you. Yep. Lead the charge. Yep. Uh, you'll never guess what's coming next. Probably the bounding. Yes. <laughs> yes. Shackle? Sure. Four gold. Then. All right. Uh, are you going to use unhallowed? Is that what happens first? Four gold again, and this will be bringing you to two action points after the unhallowed sure. results. One in hand? Yes. Nothing float? Block for three. Taking one. Yep. Going to nine. That's correct. Taking two, going to seven. Seven. Two and two. Um, nothing on either. Okay. Going to three. 
on the board there, got a 12. Cross right out. Get your last one. Blind would have missed. <laughs> I was never going for it, but I figured I'd check. <laughs> oh, when I've had a uh, take cover into the arsenal. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. just what I wanted. <laughs> exactly what everyone wants. That's why to I held this hand. <laughs> Activate Azalea. Yep. Take aim. Eight. Dominate. I'm still thinking, I'm just talking out loud. So I take five, I go to seven, six for Pulsk. Let me get one action. You're allowed to play one action, and that will include uh, trying to use creepers as an instant, because they're still considered uh, actions. If you can play or activate one action. Action. Actions played as instants are still actions. Okay, perfect. Then. That was the clarification. Thank you. Red and Ledger is active, so and I will pass the turn over to you. Flip four. Bounding, bounding, mob, ghostly. All right, what you want to see here. <coughs> Go off, and then after those go off, you could use that for bullet. These are. Uh, <laughs> 
these are separate instances. This is, this is six single instances of Arcane, and this is one instance of two. So you can take all six of these and then watch it. Yes. She would die if she did that. She's a two, but. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know if the lifeful is right. I'm just, no, she can't block that, is what I was trying to say. Arsenal cast. I go take four blood debt. Alright, cool. Go to three. Death dealer. Okay. Load remorses. Unfolding? Yep. Drew the invert. Good game. Good game. Oh. What a game. Guys. Oh. We only had two. Oh. What happened? Oh. See, I was, oh, I was expecting yeah, he did that the, good the other day, too. Thanks. Uh, I was expecting the. Thanks. I was expecting the. Um, invert is his reckless way. <laughs> it really is. Right. <laughs> I've adopted in front of my reckless. I didn't think it was an arsenal because you you had pitched three and you could have played it last turn with the floating resource and you. Didn't. I could have, but you could have prevented it. It's with, yeah. with with you going to one. Yeah. I know that if you overextend, I kill you. Right. It's going into my arsenal, so it's not even doing blood that yeah. to me. So the other discussion was come in for five, but the, then and hold the yellow, which. Nice. If you come in for five, I have a yellow bounding in hand. I block that, these two, and I had. Mauve. Yeah, and you had three. That was, my, that was my concern. Yeah. Is like, I don't know that I actually am able to do it. Because yeah. then this yeah. ends up going into Arsenal, which yeah. is not great. And then. Yeah. Five is five is too easy to block because I have these two, yeah. and, and I, any three covers it. And then. I mean, I guess you yeah. could come through with rain razors? No, because I, I would have pitched and come in with that, hold the rain razors in hand. Yeah, if so you, you tried would. to block, if I played the rain razor, you invert me. So I'm always dead to the invert. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so the yeah. consideration was, if you had the invert, could I live through the next turn? And I don't think I could have. No. Uh, and I, I drew an all red hand, so like yeah. blocking arcane would have been impossible. Yeah. Oh my god. Whew. Guys, that was Probably one match. heck of a game. Do you guys mind if we sit down and chat with both of you one at a time? Sure. Absolutely. Let me get my uh, my deck together. I wanted my tunic resource, but I'm like, I can't give up arcane barrier too. <laughs> when you when you when you, when you... <laughs> Block with tunic. I was like, thank God he can't just tunic and go into. Uh, <laughs> well, no. If I blocked with cross wrap, I'd have one arcane barrier yeah, and I'm yeah. instantly dead. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could have blocked. No, I would have had to do cross wrap and tunic. Yeah. Uh, go to two then, and then then you're not instantly dead. Though. Right, but then I'm only preventing one of the damage with each arcane barrier, and it just takes invert plus a Rosetta. Yeah. I think that was my my best percentage line there. Yeah. yeah. There's another turn when I blocked with that red and the ledger. I think I had a better line. And that Perch Grappler's turn was, had to be really, was really awkward. Yes. Because my ops was, was a C&C, and I had a full hand. And I was like, I, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure what to do there. <coughs> um, um, hmm. what, what was the thing that? It was, no, I didn't have, I don't, uh, load the red and the ledger, red and the ledger for five go again. That gets the husk, and then I bolt and shot for seven. That doesn't really do anything. I don't know. That will be a good one to look back at because obviously it came down to the wire. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, when you blocked with the Red Lodger, I thought for sure you had Memorial Ground. Oh, no, not, not that time. I, I was, knew I was setting up the Dominate. Just... Yeah. Oh, what was that? Turn two, you did like 25 damage or something. <laughs> I, was I was like, like if, if there is no if there is no sleep dart or red the ledger, I, I do not care. Here. I know, and it was like, and it was just like, it kept coming. It's like I can't just throw my full hand because then I only take 15 and then yeah. then do nothing. Like I have to swing back something. And, yeah. uh, and then the draws were. I drew into two belittles is what I drew into. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, oh, yeah, oh baby. Those bullets hurt. Yeah. Oh, baby, we going. Uh, no, that was a really good game. Good game, man. Good and game. CNC, I had, the, I had the defense reaction in hand. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. Yeah. I imagine, you That's put the exudes nice. in against me, right? No. Really? Mm -hmm. You saw 12 defense reactions in my list? Sure. Okay. What is Exude there for then? Is it a fatigue? You can't fatigue me. Yeah, I can. No, you cannot. That, You're a ranger. That's how I beat all my chains today. What? Yeah, I fatigued them. What? I just need them not to do 25 damage on turn two. <laughs> and then I slow I slow the pace down, and then it comes once I get the husk, I just actually my first chain I beat, uh I was able to come in with enough things that he wasn't able to clear his blood debt. He ended up taking 20 damage in blood debt across the game. And then the other one ran out of cards. No, I did. Uh, <coughs> yeah, fatigue's the backup plan. Obviously, I want to pressure you into dying to your own blood debt, but fatigue is very doable. Yeah. I put Eclipse in. Yeah, I, I figured. I, like, as but, you should, but. Yeah. I put Eclipse in all my Hells in. Yeah. So I went up to, I think, like 60. 63? Yeah. So if need be, I can Eclipse you. Well, I'm much happier with uh, our games today than I was yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man. I should have lost that game. I had no... I, that was like... That was my like yesterday? one game... Yeah. My one game a day where I'm just a like complete idiot. I didn't even check on the first turn. I still had everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought this was supposed to be a good match. And then you beat me with like 17 health left. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh. You don't have armor. It's sad. Yeah. That's the... And you're sitting over there with a the whole fridge. I got whole a whole fridge. Whole fridge. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I mean, it's like... I, you guys want to go first? I don't care. Uh, go first? I'll go first. Great. I'll let you guys, you, guys you can go mentally... Or or if you'd like to go first, you can, so you can have more time to prepare for... Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. You can go ahead and go first. Go first. Okay. Do, you want me to, do I need to change chairs? Yes, please. That, is, cha this, that this, chair over there... That's the, the hot is, seat? Uh, the camera's clearer. It's okay. I want you to be clearer than me. <coughs> Guys, that was just a fun game to watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We just wrapped up the first game of round one in the top eight. And Nathan, correct? Yes. Nathan takes home the win in one of the best top eight games that I've ever had the privilege to watch, literally from the sideline, six or seven feet from here. I, the life totals are still in front of us on the yeah. board. How crazy was that game? <clears throat> yeah, that was, uh, that was crazy. Uh, is it like a spooky? Has a uh, sleep dart and red in the ledger, which is not <laughs> neither are great for chain. Um, uh, luckily, they don't block very well. Uh, and if you have art of war with two belittles, you just kind of do a lot of damage. <laughs> so game gets easy from there. Okay, so you said uh, you were able to draw into art of war into two belittles, but you did mention that Azalea is kind of a scary matchup for chain. It, it does feel like with the hit effects, there's a lot of natural predator going on there. What were you thinking going into the match? Uh, if it doesn't say red in the ledger or sleep there on it, I'm not blocking it. Every that's the those are the only things I care about, and then just effectively blocking those when they come up, and just saving armor for those two cards specifically because they're the only cards that matter. Okay, well, congratulations again. Is there any final thoughts you want to leave us with? I don't want to take too much of your time. I want you to be able to mentally reset. Yeah. You're ready for your next round. Any final thoughts you want to leave us with? Any fans out there? Anyone who got to see the game? Nope. That's uh. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, great event by MinMax. Uh, and thanks for running the stream. It's awesome. Of course. Hey, congratulations on the win, Thank and you. good luck. We'll see you in the next round. Thanks. All right, guys. That was Nathan, our winner of the game on Chain. We will bring in Levi, our second place player from the match, and we will talk about what went down. Uh, Levi, welcome back to the stream. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling all right. Oh. While being told on Discord that... Uh, 
I may have had better options there at the end that I could have played differently. So uh, it's it blessing of the it. blessing yeah. of the internet, right? There's always exactly. a different way to play it with full information. But sure. you did take Azalea I did. all the way to the top eight, and this is the second time you've done so, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I've actually only gotten around to bringing her to three different events, three different uh, big events. So okay, and you two of the time, two out of three, you've top eighted. Yeah. So what makes you different than the other Azalea players that get out there and maybe say she can't get there or can't get her into these top cuts? I mean, a lot of it comes down to the reps on the deck, but really, a lot of it comes down to the luck. Obviously, putting in the reps helps, but it's just the end of the field you play is always going to be a pretty high level of variance. So um, the fact that there's very few people playing Azalea is probably a bigger part of why there's not many showing up in top eights. Okay. Um, I mean, I was the one of 64. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, there's so many more people playing other decks. Of course, the other decks are making top eight more often. Of course. Um, so obviously, I think she's weaker, but it's just it's just a numbers game. Um, I think if you hit good matchups, which I did, you, you can make top eight. Possibly. Okay, well, I, I want to be the first to congratulate you on a, on a heck of a run. I got to watch a lot of your gameplay just floating around today, and yeah. you, pardon my language, you, but you play the hell out of that deck. You, you know what you're doing, you see the lines, and I know the internet might be suggesting different lines, but you and I both know when you're in the seat and in the moment and trying to yeah. consider all the possibilities, you can't operate with that information. But looking at that game, people are talking about that pivotal turn two that came through with a ton of damage. What's going through your mind when you see the combat chain just continue to grow? It's just... Going into it, you kind of want to look at having the option of fatiguing, but as soon as a turn like that happens, fatigue's not really an option, because I need to have health to work with, because mm -hmm. um, I need to have that health to be able to take some and then crack back and make them lose their hand. Come in with a dominated arrow, make them lose their turn, and then their blood debt st stacking up. But I can't do that on turn two. I have to wait till like turn four or five before it's actually impactful. Um, and I need the health to make it to turn five. Uh, and at that point, I was just so far, far down in health. Uh, it was just back and forth. And I, you kind of have to go on the more aggressive there. Like once I got the husk, yeah. Uh, I, th I think the pivotal turn of that game was the um, the perch grappler's turn. Because mm -hmm. I came in with a four card hand and he went rune chant, thorn for two. And I've got a yellow sleep dart in Arsenal. And then, like a solid hand, I think it was red in the ledger, take aim, bolt and shot, and something to pay for it. Uh, blue Ridge Rider. So the goal, obviously, is to scope on cross trap into something playable out of Arsenal, whether that's um, a bolt and shot would have been good. Uh, arrows aren't great, but buffs would have been really good. Um, and then just go for kind of a wide turn. But as soon as I saw a C and C on top. And so <laughs> it's like I can't do this wide turn. I have to be able, I could send it to the bottom and blind Azalea. Um, if I felt the game was in an unwinnable position, that might have been the play. Or mm -hmm. near unwinnable, but I felt it was still winnable. Um, so I think that the Perch Grappler line, I think I could have ordered it a bit differently and come in with the maybe the Red in the Ledger in the middle for five and that probably would have gotten the Husk and then I could have gotten seven in with the Bolton shot as opposed to the four and eight because the four hit, the eight got Husked. Okay. So I would have pushed one extra damage based on the equipment blocks. Okay. Um, which could have made a difference but I don't think it would have made much. Uh, but that kind of set the pace of the game where I had to go full aggro. I lost my boots. That stops a break point, and all of a sudden, I have to pressure him. I I can't play defensive from that point. Right. Once you make that pivot, you kind of got to stay on the front foot. But again, man, just congratulations on, on the the gigantic brain power that you put into this. And I know it doesn't end maybe the way you wanted it to, but I know that I, there's a lot of people in chat that are fans of yours. A lot of people in the flesh and blood community that were calling you by Discord <laughs> names or calling you by names yeah. I'm not willing to say out loud on stream so if you just want to take a second just go ahead whatever you want to say to the people out there that loved your top eight run as much as I did just thanks for all the people who talked to me about Azalea like message me I have a blast talking about the deck I think it, it's one of the more interesting decks to play and I love 
sharing people's ideas and uh, some of the cards I played today were off of suggestions of people in the community. I changed a few cards at the last minute. Like, That's, dude, that is awesome. Well, congratulations thank again. You. And guys, thank you so much for hanging around. Stick around as we are going to take a break and then shift into round two of top eight coverage. Guys, it's getting spicy and we are going to crown a champion at this 64 person event today. Thanks for hanging out and we will talk to you soon.
Yeah, I'd much rather have it there. And dude, you, get, you get to an age in life where a lot of people, it's not there. So the fact I'm, that it's still I'm, there, that's I mean, a dub. That we, we got time. That is a dub. Let's extend this mic. Let's get this out here. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are setting up for the second round of Top 8 coverage. And I have Mr. Samuel here with me. And we have Viscera and Chain. Dude, are you stoked for this matchup? Uh, yeah, it's going to be sorry, awesome. Or sorry, and Starbo. I already screwed up. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So the Starbo player is one of our local players, Jeremy, who's a good friend of mine. We play test a lot. He was the Starvo that took me out of this event. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. He has been drawing really well today, so I'm very hopeful for how he's going to do. But also, I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of like how he's going to approach the matchup. Okay. I, I didn't see them play earlier today. so. Okay, and so you know half of the players in this yeah. matchup, and you know our... What do you think that is going through the Starville's mindset? And then conversely, what do you think is going through Viscerai's brain when you sit down and you just see that Starville? So start with yeah. the Starville perspective. Starvo is, do I have all my colors in my hand? Great. I play Crippling Crush and I win. Uh, no. But from the in a, ser in a somewhat serious note, Jeremy, who's going to be the Starville player that plays, um, his mindset on the deck is very interesting. Um, he's like, okay, to play the deck most optimally, I have to remember to tick my tunic, and that's it. Okay. And that's how he plays the game. As long as he remembers to tick his tunic, and I'm being serious here, this sure. is Jeremy's mindset. He goes, as long as I remember to tick the tunic, I look at my hand, I play what I have, and that's what the where the the, the, the hurdle gets over. Okay. For Viserai, he's going to want to try to murder him as fast as possible, I think. Right. I do feel like the Viserais that we've seen today have been, you know, we've seen a couple, they've definitely been tempo Viserais, as yeah. OTK Viserai feels like in this. Definitely washed out with the band restricted announcement. Definitely. But Tempo Viserai can have some gas. Revel and Runeblood, really powerful card. Oh, yeah. And the weapon still getting through Rosetta Thorn. Strong card still pushing through a lot of damage. A lot of weird mixed damage. Hard to block. Yeah. And I think this is going to be a great game. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this one, you know, come really down to the wire. Oh, definitely. I mean, literally when we were eating dinner, Levi and I were talking about just how insane Viserai can pop off still with still having Vex and Quill Hand. If you get a Mordor Tide going, it's just like 25, 30 damage turns. It's still a Absurd. So um, I think he's going to really need to make sure he's handling his blizzards well. Mm -hmm. His channel league fridges need to be timed properly. Um, and I don't know if he has the ability to um, fatigue him, but we're going to find out, I guess. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is time for you to put your prediction in chat. We got Viserai. We got Starvo. I want to know what you think. Put your prediction in chat right now. And before I let you go, you have to put your prediction in chat in this microphone. Who do you got win in this game? Well, I got to. It's, it's just got to be for my boy Jeremy. I got to say, I, though, although I I don't want to root for him. Starvo's the guy. I got All right, so Jeremy, Sam not officially, as you can see here, yep. Starvo fan, really upset that he living legend out, wants him to stay in the meta. <laughs> I, however, as a man of the people, okay. a champion of the community, <laughs> will vote for Viscerai. Nice. You and me going back to back. All right, let's do it. Thanks for let's hanging out, guys. Stick around. We have the second hey game of the top eight coming up. Make sure you tune in, and I'm excited. I can't let's wait. Do it. Let's go. See you guys. <sighs> Ready whenever you are. Thank you. Thank you. And there you go. Side as you like. I would like it noted they wrote that list. I sent mine via computer, so it's not my fault. Oh, they wrote it? Really? Yeah, they, uh, I guess they, they saw the email, but they didn't print it. Oh, okay. Hey, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. We'll see ya. See ya. See ya, Rod. <sighs> uh, 
Do you care if we use our own dice, or do you want us to use... Uh, I have both, because... Use your own dice to roll, use those dice to represent if you can. Uh, is, unless, unless it makes you feel uncomfortable, go ahead and use Is it roll, or do we get to pick? Oh, oh I, I pick. Any, yeah. any, any rolling you do during the game. I'm going right first. Now, okay. Yeah. I'm saying don't use those dice for any randomization during the game. Sure. Those yep. are 3D printed dice just rep like to represent numbers. Gotcha. Okay. So I've got a bunch of my own if we need them, because yeah. I make a ton of chants and a bunch of other weird stuff. Let's take a look. Razor Reflex. I didn't see any of those. That's red good to know. Yeah. Red Turn Timbers is interesting. Mm. And only one red pummel. Mm. I knew you had them. I just didn't know how many. Ooh. But that exposed to the elements is probably going to be obnoxious. If you run it. It's interesting because I see all these cards and I know what matchups they're for, but I also know like he could put that in against me. <laughs> I'm like, lead the charge is definitely a prison card. I'm like, <sighs> so I think I'm uh, I'm ready to start boarding whenever you are. You can go. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we have to do it at the same nah. time or not. Or, um, so I'll give that back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't remember how I boarded for our Swiss game, but I don't think it was correct now that I know your list. <laughs> I am admittedly playing some weird Viserai. Um, then it's kind of what happens when you sit down and make a Viserai deck with two chain players. <laughs> and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, can we put the little package of Viserai? <laughs> Apparently you can. Uh, we can. Yeah. And it's working surprisingly well, though you are the only Starvo I fought today, mm. and I did not see any chain. Oh wow! I saw no chain. I saw Prism as my top eight matchup, and you were my you were Starvo in round five, and now again. Gotcha. So yeah. I might have admittedly gotten a little lucky with some of my uh, some of my matchups. I played against three chains so far. I was also seated pretty low to start, I think. Hmm. I, I started out at like table 25. Like, I was over in the back corner. Um, what do you mean, like a round one? Or? Yeah, like round oh, one. Oh, okay. I, was like, I, I don't know if they have like seeds based on the, Did you play Magic or anything? I did. Okay, you know how Magic does it where the higher the record or the higher percentage, the higher table you are? Yeah. It's not how this game works. Gotcha. If you're in a tier, they just put you at a table. Gotcha. Higher tiers, higher tables, but that makes sense. I'm sure neither of us are going to reveal anything surprising. No. Though if you wanted to reveal Sledge, I would be pretty cool with it. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a move. It was a sledge old time I saw. Yeah, it was kind of nuts. You said you're going to be on the play. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. I always say on the play or uh, uh, on the magic. draw. Yeah, I, just, I understand what you I mean. I keep confusing <laughs> people who have never played Magic. <laughs> magic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I say Scry instead of Bop. Just... <laughs> I actually, that was something that threw me off. Because it wasn't Scry, I always thought you had to put them back on top. I didn't realize it was literally Scry. You could put them on the bottom. Yeah. Playing Red Whispers and, and uh, Briar. I'm like, why am I playing this? This feels like trash. <laughs> like, I just get to see my next hand and then be sad that my that's, next hand is bad. Like, <laughs> that's in Index. Uh, Kano is the... Uh... Yeah. 
I was considering trying to toss it in here just because of like tomes and uh, sonatas and being able sure. to guarantee those. But well, it, old Vistless played the blue. They did play blue. Yeah. Um, and that was kind of something, but a lot of the other cards kind of just eked it out. Like the main choice is like, do we play Whispers or do we play Become? And Become yeah. just nine times out of ten is a better card. Um, it's a little rough because Become only searches for Rune Blades, which means I can't search for Belittle or Minimalism as much as I absolutely want to. Mm. Uh, but it still hits pretty. I mean, the turn against you earlier, Become yeah. got me search for the Revel. And yeah, it was a lot of Rune Chance. It was seven Rune Chance? Yeah. No, it was nine. It was two, two, and nine. Because the it was Mordred, but come oh, made yeah, two, geez. and then Revel made seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was huge. <laughs> Which is funny because he went for the attack first, <laughs> and that was going to be worse than the. <laughs> I was saying I'm going to go grab Gloomvale. Yeah. He's going to be you know, <laughs> Gloomvale almost active. Like. Yeah, that's funny. Make sure the legs are right. This looks like a party over here. Oh, right? We're having a great time. We, we already played once. So, so. This is uh, round two for it's us. A rematch. So I'm coming for the revenge. <laughs> we kind of know what's going to happen here. <laughs> The judge, the Avenger, <laughs> to you. The, the literal one of three people in this building with authority. I'm just a lot of talking about He doesn't have the shirt. I do. See, it's only fair. You have the min max leech. You got to be able to represent. That's true. It's not because I'm. Didn't want to unsleeve my deck. <laughs> or sleeve it. These are admittedly hard to shuffle. A little bit, yeah. I apologize. I'm going to be really careful to not break a sleeve. Yeah. That's appreciated. Because I don't have many spares. Although I'm sure they can give me some. Alrighty. Let's go to work. Good luck, man. You too. Good game. Two, three, four, five, life totals, dice, equipment. I think we're good. Sweet. Tune against the counter? Yep. No circus music. Always a nice change of pace. Let's see here. My phone in my bag. Except you're not New Zealand. New Zealand is not so bad. It doesn't have to be something that's disagreed with. Yeah, I know. Because anytime you say New Zealand, you're not. That's what we're doing. Take your time. We, there's no time limit. We've got, <laughs> we've got as much time as you need. I need to stop shaking my leg. I'm shaking the table. I did that earlier, too. <laughs> Stargo real quick. Is that a May effect? It is a May effect. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you'd force me to show my hand. If well, I, I was more saying that I, I <laughs> see that you would have had it, but... Yeah, a little awkward about that. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and just block four. Sure. Uh, Arsenal? Yeah. Start with a balloon. Okay. Reveal? Yes, I will be revealing a balloon. Okay. Uh, I'll just leave that out there. Sure. I'll search for red minnowism. It's right at the top for me. Okay. So, three physical.
friends are probably already flaming me for missing a tuning trigger. <laughs> This is still your block phase, correct? Sure is. Okay. Take six. Three, one. I'll go ahead and pass to you. Sounds good. Anything on my instep? Ah, okay. Sort of my turn. Yep. Tuna. Yep. I can pulse. Nine dominate over. Nine dominate. Yeah, one card in hand. Two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. My apologies. Thirty-one thirty. Yep. Uh, you get frostbite, arsenal, pass. Yep. I'm gonna take my tunic this time. Fair enough. I will go ahead and play Tome of the Arcanite. Okay. Pitching two for that. You got it. Uh, any reactions? Okay. Reveal a meet and greet and a minute. So okay. those will go to hand. You got it. Um, I will then play the meat. Make one rune chain on the back end. Currently? Not currently, no. Okay. 
Good reaction? Yep. Sure. No sinking. Uh, on my react, I will creepers to sure. rebel. Go to six for a chance. Uh, reacts from you. No reacts from me, so full block. Um, I will go ahead and use a pitch to Rosetta for two, two, and six. Arcane coming at me right now. Mm -hmm. Clarify the rune chance will be coming before the two arcane. Take the two from the Rosetta. Got it. Going to 29. And then two physical. Two physical. Uh, go to 27. Sounds good. I will pass priority to you. Here, here. Um, you took the two arcane from Rosetta, correct? I did. So my creepers will they stay are. around. Yep. Just wanted to double check. Yep. Uh, my turn soon gets a counter, and I will just arsenal pass. Sure. Sorry about this.
mortar type. Sure. Just to make a wrench hit with grass. Sure. Pitch for me. Make two wrench hands in the back end. <laughs> Two arcane, fourth physical, no go again. Unless the arcane hits. Mm. <laughs> Somehow don't think I'm going to let that happen. I don't think so either. Uh, <laughs> be kind of cool if you did. <laughs> cool for you. Um, sure. Uh, pay for the ring chance. Okay. Four physical coming at me. Um, move to reactions. Yep. I will sink below sinking. Block four. Sure. Sounds good. No reactions for me. I'll go ahead and pass it off to you. Sounds good. I have nothing. Creepers dies. Creepers does die. That's kind of why I thought it would be cool. Feel <laughs> the arcane. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Simple turn for me. It's coming for seven. Just seven. I'll declare no box on that. 27? 27, 23. Uh, Arsenal pass. Yeah. Team is going to go to 3. Sure thing. I'm going to go ahead and use tuning resource okay. to play Tom of the Air. Okay. Any reactions? Not for me. Unfortunate miss. Yeah. Those shuffle or just go back right on top? Oh, they go right back on top, so but in whatever order I choose. Uh, Rebel and Mordor type? Or Rebel show? and Red Moth Skies. Red Moth Skies, thank you. Say if you want to flip them again. Next I, time. Not, <laughs> I, yeah, I <laughs> thought I had the second card wrong, so you're good. <laughs> Play a Yellow Moth Skies? Sure. Uh, make a Rune Chant. Uh, yeah, pop this right. Sure. Yeah. Play Gloomvale. This will be four with Go again, and three Rune Chants. I have the extra token, and I keep forgetting to use <laughs> Clarity for the stream. Sure. So double go again now. Um tuna counter to crowd? Sure. Get your grade real quick. Go for it. <laughs> Crow needs a rune chant. I'll take two. Sure. 25. And then I will block the four damage with my equipment. Sure. Make a frostbite. Get a frostbite. Okay. Sounds good. Um. I'll go ahead and pitch to Rosetta 2-2 two, two, and 1. Um, take 5. 20? Yep, I'll go ahead and pass it over to you. That frostbite is dead. Okay, start of my turn. Yep. Tunic. Starvo. All three pulses. Yeah, we got them all. Um, what are we getting beat with? Oaken. Eleven dominate go again. Fused.
block two. Okay. Take nine. Uh, and then... Oh, wait, he said we can't use these for rolling. Yeah. Don't use this for roll. <laughs> so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Are these, the, is this yeah. to keep or to card put you, on The card you'll keep. Okay. Uh, you'll keep that one. The last thing I want to do is get DQ'd like that dude at, uh, um, at Jersey. Yeah. And then I will... Um, play the pulse and come in for eight. No frostbite threat. It does affect the hammer. It does. You are correct. I'll give you four here. Sure thing. Taking four? Yep. Personal pass. Uh, my turn will be Ticking Tunic. And Arsenaling my last card. Alright, give me a sec. Take your time. Say any, or any reactions as I move to Arsenal? I might. <laughs> yeah. <Let's see. laughs> no. Okay. Start of my turn. Yep. Tunic. No Starvo. Okay. to not get the trigger? Uh, correct. You'd have to block six to keep go again on your next turn. I think I'm just going to give you nine. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thinking... I would specifically ask you don't blink it, but it is your choice. <laughs> you really haven't given me much choice here. Uh, ice, ice, earth, earth. Other pulses were pitched. Best you're coming in with this and nothing. Sets me up best for my next turn, I suppose. Arsenal? Yep. I've got nothing. Okay. Draw three? Yep. My turn is going to be tuning to two. And uh, move to end step. Um, Source and six. Coming in for a left. Yeah. <laughs> One card in hand? Yes. Yes. I'm going to block 11 again. Three, six, nine, eleven. Looks good. Arsenal pass. My turn's going to be tu taking tunic to three and passing priority. Thank you. Uh, don't think me. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound good. For no. Me. <laughs> um, start of my turn. Yeah. Tunic. Starvo. Okay. Um, let's go. What do we have here. So, how 
how can I do this? I can go oh, grab the tablecloth there a little bit. Mm -hmm. go. Pitch to crown. Okay. Sure, be that way, Duck. Eleven, Dominic Ogan. Yeah. Two cards in hand still. Yeah, these two. And break rounds for three. Yeah. Okay. It's 11. I'll block with both equipment too. So I'll take six. Six. Going to four? Yeah. And I get two cards from your hand. Correct. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That'll be the card you keep. This one. Other two go on the bottom in your order. Yep. And seven. Uh, yeah, I got out of luck. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, even without the fuses, the spinals, the cripplings, I, that's what he did to me game one, too. He hit them all in a row and just did not have enough of a turn to be able to come back. Yeah. Into break rounds. Into break rounds. <laughs> I mean, the deck gave me the Oakenhold. I didn't have it. We were just yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, you crowned it. I know yeah, you I did, because that's my luck. Because uh, I was just going to Spinal Crush. I was looking for the ability to hammer or something after. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, here's an Oakenhold. I'm like, okay, great. I'll go with that. Well, hey, congrats on getting Vista top one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. my only two losses to the same Starvo player, so... True. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I built out a Vista deck. It's sweet. Um, I think I like yours. For sure, but it's the same weakness that this had before the ban. Yeah. Is I take cards from your hand, so you can't do anything. Yeah. And I mean, it's I. I admittedly, I don't run in red unmovables because I oh, just sure, accept yeah. it's. I'm just gonna have to take the hit, and you're gonna take my turn no matter what. Fair enough. Because either I'm pitching, and losing a card, so I'm still down two cards. Yeah. Or. Or I take the damage and I go down two cards. So it's. You might be able to get away with it though, just because. Um, this list also runs very few. Oh blues. yeah, I did. I did counter blues. It was like very 18? low. Eighteen. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. It's most of my stuff is one. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah. things that are two are shrills, and those are blues. Yeah, so. you're basically just playing like uh, this version of version of chain. That's kind of. I mean, when the deck is built yeah. by two chain players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Makes sense. But Good game, man. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It was. Uh, I thought I was. I thought I was keeping up there for a little bit, but unfortunately, it was not in the cards. Yeah. Well, do you guys have a second chat? Yeah, man. Game? absolutely. Like, who, uh, who took this He one? took the game. Okay, we'll chat with you first. That way you can mental reset. Get done with sure. chat, mental reset, and have your time. And then we will catch up and chat afterwards. That sounds good. So if you want to switch over to the other side, that's the nicer camera. <laughs> that side. Sure. And I want you guys. You guys deserve oh, a nicer camera. Do it. They, do, they get to see me all the time, you know? Oh, no. Uh oh. The, uh. Fell off the box. Sorry about that. It's okay, I'll have to check the, the gameplay area after this. If I remember. Alright, let's take a look. Let's pop in here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the post-game interview. You guys know me. My name is Josh. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, how did it feel? How'd your game go? Good. Um, we played in the Swiss. I didn't have much of an issue there. Just Starvo did Starvo things. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the one reason why when you played Vis's before the bannings, they were OTK versus Starbo because if I take cards from your hand you don't have a reset like there's nothing you can do and so that's kind of how it went um I played a lot of Viz before this so I kind of knew what I was getting into it's a unique deck it's like uh just aggro Go okay uh, this but yeah it felt good okay it felt good uh how did your turns play out do you think you won because you were able to just kind of trigger Starbo over and over <laughs> and over again or was there was it something um, deeper than that did you have to kind of dig dig into the tank a little bit the early parts of the game so turn one. Um, so I went first. I had Pulse Pulse, um, Icy, I think, and some other non-attack. So I could fuse, but I couldn't attack. So my choices were I could like try and hold both pulses, um, 
and then hope I rip like an attack after I arsenal, I get two two draws at it if I like go in with hammer. And I really don't want to give him too much filtering because I know he's light on blues from looking at his list. Um, so I don't know. There's a couple of decisions like that early on, and then once I got through those decisions, whether they were right or wrong, um, light, he was ahead on life a little bit, like 23 to 20, and at that point Starvo just did Starvo things, so it wasn't really much decision making past that, but the early turns were a little bit harder. Okay, and I know, you know, there's a lot of memes that go around about Starvo, but we're looking at our top eight here in a field of a 64 person pro quest, yep. and you were the only Starvo to make the top eight. Yep. What do you think puts you outside of the rest of the field, the rest of the Starvos that we saw today that couldn't get into the seat you're in right now? I don't know. I think we just didn't have a lot of Starvos. Um, <laughs> I'd say experience. I've been playing him since, uh, you know, he became a thing with the casino version. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, you know, people like to meme on Starvo, right? But I think it's still a hard deck to play. Like, you got to know when to time your shield. You got to know when to block, when to actually hit people. Um, sometimes you, you know, get to go 13 into 8, and that's just how the game goes. But, um yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly think it was probably just quantity of Starvos, because for some reason we saw like none, or almost none. Okay. Um, and maybe the Prisms filled them out. There was a lot of Prisms here. There were. And I honestly did not play a Prism in the Swiss. I haven't played a Prism today, which is weird, because uh, I played Starvo at the Calling, and I went 5-2 and two against Prisms. Oh, okay. So, Good amount of Prisms uh, on the field there. Before the banning. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, so... Um, yeah, maybe maybe the prisms kind of filtered them out. Um, I'm not sure. All De right. Deck is still strong. Deck still deserves to be banned. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll leave you with that. Congratulations again. And before you go, you got a bunch of people watching in chat. What advice do you um, want to give to maybe people looking to get into your seat or anything you just want to say to people out there? The yeah, floor is yours. I mean, Flesh and Blood is a great game. Um, you know, come play. Uh, I'm sure everybody's watching knows it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. The community's great. Um, cool. You know, if you want to win a pro press, play Starvo for now, <laughs> I think. And dodge some prisms. That's my advice. All right, man. Well, congratulations again. Good luck to you. you. We'll see you in the finals. Awesome. And then following up here, we have our Viserai player. Go ahead. As you sit down, introduce yourself one more time. I know you were on stream earlier, but I go and reintroduce yourself in case anyone didn't see. Nice to meet everyone. My name's Aaron. I say, I am the uh, Viserai player to make it to top eight. <laughs> All right, so Viserai, taking Viserai into the top eight, mm -hmm. when you started today, did you think you would be in the seat? Do you think Viserai was going to get you here into this top cut? I, honestly, no, because my previous runs, I actually played at a ProQuest yesterday that went significantly worse. That was a 2-3 uh, run. Okay. So uh, kind of coming out here today and just running real hot early uh, my only loss of course being round five to the same starvo um it was honestly a little surprising but honestly uh riding on a pretty good high so it was a fun run i mean all things considered all right well you got into this game against starvo and we just heard our winner say starvo sometimes does starvo things mm -hmm. but he did mention there were some decision points earlier in the game looking back do you think there were some points that you could have tried to shift tempo maybe make, take control of that game do you think there's anything you could have done differently um in particular i was actually just chatting with a friend of mine about this um my turn two when i played belittle revealed belittle i searched for a red minimalism um, not playing around Blizzard that he had an art arsenal. If I had searched for a blue, it would have made that hand a lot more resilient against Blizzard because I had two red minimisms and a red belittle left in hand. Okay. So I even could have gone pitch the blue, have two floating, play minimism, minimism, belittle, Rosetta, and come in with a lot stronger of a turn, whereas that Blizzard kind of really gimped me out. I still don't think it would have necessarily swayed the outcome of the match looking at the final life totals, but I think that was kind of one of the key uh, spots that I ended up uh, misplaying just ahead. Okay, well, I mean, it's, that's the awesome part about Flesh and Blood in mm -hmm. a game like this, is you have the opportunity to look back on things and say, maybe I could have taken a different line, maybe swayed some tempo and taken over the game. So it's really cool that you recognize that, mm -hmm. and it's cool, I mean, it's awesome that you played Viscerai yeah. at these top tables, so thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. And then real quick, before I let you go, anything you want to say to anyone out there watching, anyone who might want to pick up Flesh and Blood, play Viserai, or anything you want to say at all? <laughs> I mean, to pick up Flesh and Blood, it's always the big thing of just play the hero that you really just want to play. Even if they're not necessarily the best, if they uh, if you have fun playing it, there's something to be said about uh, specialization. Uh, a good friend of mine always says, that if you want to play trash, just be king of the trash. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, but otherwise, I of course got to give the same shout out to my friends Raj and Bryce who helped me put this deck together. I almost had I had very minimal input on it. They uh, they put together some spice and uh, it went the distance. So well, that is awesome. Thanks for having you, and then good luck with the rest of your pro quest. Thanks for your high run today, and you guys stick around. We will bring you we bringing you coverage of the finals. Coming up here, we know one player in the finals. We're still waiting on the second match to stick around. I'm pumped for that. I'm sure you are, too. I'm, I, it's it's honestly looking like a rematch of the 5-0. Um, same chain, same Starvo. And that one went to Starvo. So right. I'm a little curious to see how that's going to end up this time. Well, but. ladies and gentlemen, we will be bringing you live coverage of the finals right here with the champion being crowned at MinMax Games. Stick around, and thank you so much for hanging uh, out. So thanks we'll for having us. We'll see you guys us. soon. Thanks again, man. I appreciate Absolutely. the interview. That's always fun for me. I mean, you're basically energy incarnate, so it's not...
I'm presenting my deck. Presented. I'll get you your right. You have to, <laughs> they're going to deck check this. Yeah, they're going to first. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Judge! Yeah. <laughs> you have so many. Do you want a uh, bell? Or I still have the crayon that I got. I oh, know, but you need the whole box. <laughs> oh you can, God, you can change so it out. Big. Why is it so big? Because they're big crayons. Holy crap. These are my daughter's crayons. Wow. I I'm just going to stick with the red crayons. Yeah, you can use whatever one you want. I'm just going to have it on stream. <laughs> it's funny. Sure? You're going to have the whole box on stream? Yeah, it's funny as shit. If you see this way. in the background, it's not in your way. You don't totally put stuff there. I do put stuff there. You can put it here. Yeah, put it. There you go. Is that on We'll have Josh pan down over there or something. <laughs> Would you like to go first or second? I'm going first. Great, I'm yeah. presenting to you. Alright guys, there's... Oh, there we go. Take your time. Did he tell you, you know, don't worry too much about shuffling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is a standard chain, yeah? Yeah. Oh god, I don't know. No, I'm talking to him. <laughs> Oh, I got some spice in there. Don't don't undercut me. All three Toma Findles is a lot of spice. Dude, it's it's three Toma bust. That's a lot of Toma. Dude, I'm is actually just the best card. In the has, has it been going nuts? It, it, once you see one and you can tome once, it's yeah. like oh I healed four and I drew two more cards. Yeah. Oh, and it's like Art of War, another tome. It's like you just power through your deck. It's great. Yeah. No, I, I chain keeps doing it to me, and I keep like getting physically ill every time it happens. <laughs> it's so gross. Is there uh, anything like I care? This is basically just this Starbo. is the calling winning list. I didn't change a single card. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. It's just Starbo. Great Starbo. We love to hear it. Great judges. And they're walking away. Judge. Nope. Check my deck. <laughs> I got a three hour drive. Oh Judge. no. No, don't look at cookies, Judge. <laughs> I gotta drive. I gotta drive three hours. We're gonna play this game quick. John. What? Not John. Judges. We presented. You wanted us to play. <laughs> we literally walked away for yeah, we one done. second. We were saying it for like five minutes. There you go. We're done. Have fun with our stuff. I guess it doesn't really matter who I check because I'm friends with both of you. I'm going to screw up both your decks. It's fine. Wait, Jeremy. Okay, so your sideboard is past here. Okay, that's all. I just want to make sure I don't mix it up. Uh, main deck, equipment, his sideboard's right here. So is the, uh, these are, yeah, this is his sideboard too. And his tokens. Cool. <laughs>
Mexico Bird. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I know what the plan is. <laughs> All right. All right. I got everyone's favorite co-commentator back. I got Mr. Sam, who correctly predicted the results of the last match. Yep. Did you see it going down exactly like that in that gigantic brain of yours? <laughs> Um, I mean, it, it was pretty back and forth. I mean, they were just kind of sparring for a bit until Jeremy got that fused oak and old, and then that just kind of tore it open. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes, right? Starvo gets that, and it's over. It sure does seem that way. Yeah. Starvo did go, look, I have all of the crayons. Let's get this game over with. And the tempo just seemed to turn, and Viserai, without the cards in hand, and with the on-hit effects from Starvo, just doesn't have the ability, doesn't have the defense reactions or the armor anymore to block that out and get back on the front foot. So I ask you, as an avid Runeblade player, I won't mention which one, but as an avid Runeblade player, is there something you would have done differently on the Viserai, or a different way you would have built that specific deck to try to handle Starvo? No, I mean, after the game, Jeremy and I were talking about that. That's just one of the inherent issues with an aggro or tempo-oriented deck into Starvo, is you have your game plan, and it's essentially, I need to try to kill you or pressure you before you get the ability to cripple me or ruin my tempo. And that's about your game plan. There's not really anything reactive you can do, because that will go against your proactive plan that you're trying to enact. The thing that Chain can do that's separate, that's better, is, well, one, he has a giant slew of armor that he can just throw in front <laughs> of it. The fridge. Yeah, and he also has a second hand that he's playing from, so the disruption doesn't affect him as much, but Briar and Viserai don't have that. You know, they can put out a lot of damage, but they need a lot more resources to be able to do that. Okay, and so this is my thought. Talking to you about this aggro strategy and this tempo matchups, I and mean, we've had conversations throughout the day, and with Starvo hitting Living Legend, kind of moving out of the meta, do you think there's more space for those tempo aggro strategies to exist, or do you think with Starvo out of the meta, we're going to see things slow down and be more true Guardian oriented? and really become a defensive grinding matchup. Where do you think the meta, meta's going? Well, it's going to be really interesting with what I perceive is going to be a chain that also hits Living Legend as well, which is going to be even bigger because one of the other issues that aggro has had in this game is that there isn't really much of an incentive to play a different aggro deck versus the best one because it comes down to a numbers game. You have chain that has 53 health and explosive power that can just come out of nowhere and it's continually getting stronger as the game goes on. Katsu has the ability to kind of threaten other aggro decks where you kind of have to respect his block, but he doesn't have the armor. He doesn't have that explosive nature. And that's just kind of something within the game itself. So once Starbo gets out of the way, that'll open up the field for aggro. But with Chain being gone, I think that's even bigger because that kind of will allow, hopefully, aggro decks to cement themselves and be more individualized rather than having to just try to race Chain, which has always been the pinnacle of aggro at this point. So hopefully with Fey and with Uprising... <laughs> oh, we'll going see, speculate. Even, on with, us. even okay. with Icelander, there'll be some tools that'll allow them to bypass that. You, know? you heard it here first, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Sam Dando calling no. Icelander aggro in the meta coming up. I heard it right now. No, 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 not aggro. And then finally, you mentioned there's only one true aggro deck. Yeah. Is it time? Is it finally time for your Briar to take the spotlight and be the one true aggro deck that it was meant to be? You know, we're going to find out because one of the issues that Briar has had has actually been Ninja to me um, because they can threaten you and you have to block. You have to be able to do that. So if Faye has the ability to continually go lot wide, trigger mask, play from graveyard like I think he's going to be able to do, like Chain, um, this is a speculation, but, and then if they're able to play through Icelander, honestly that's going to be one of the biggest questions is, do you have the tools to be able to go through frostbites, stun techniques, control methods that hinder control, or hinder aggro typically, right? Mm -hmm. So if there are some other generic tools that come out that Briar can use to play through that, Maybe. I guess we'll have to find out. But for now, we're just going to have to wait, right? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after talking to this man, I've never been more pumped for Uprising. This wasn't going to be an Uprising conversation till we got all of the tinfoil hat <laughs> brainness yeah. going on in Sam's head. We have the finals coming up, and we have Starvo. Yep. versus Chain, I believe, is the matchup. So we've talked about this Chain, yep. we talked about Starvo. It's time to get our pick in. You got to pick first last time, and you locked it in. You got it right, so yep. you win again. You get the opportunity. Who's taking this one home? Well, I played against Nathan yesterday. I've watched a lot of his games. I've played against Jeremy a number of times. I've lost to Jeremy a number of times. Uh, I think they're both super strong players. They're both really good with their decks. They know how to pilot them really well. 
Um, if Jeremy tries to enact a fatigue strategy, I've seen Nathan play through that impeccably. He's very, very good at playing through fatigue. I just now, you know, when this whole meta switch happened, I said Chain was the best deck by far, and I'm going to stick with that. I think it's going to be Chain's game today still. All right, so you're calling Chain, and that means I'm on Crayola, baby. <laughs> Give me Starvo. Going into the finals, going yeah. out on top already in LL. We got final match coverage coming for you guys. And Sam, you've been an all-star right now. You didn't sign up for any of this. No. You were just here. You were the drip drop Sam, quitting yes. two events just to be in the stream and on camera with me. Yes. So thanks a ton, man. I appreciate you. And you guys stay tuned. We have finals coverage. We are going to crown a champion right here, right now at MinMax Games. One out of 64 is going to take the whole thing home. Stay tuned. We will be back with the game. All right, let's do it. Take it easy. <laughs> you do not have to write in crayon. I'm writing in crayon. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move. Okay, well, you go ahead and you write in crayon. <laughs> I'm going to move that up there. And I'll just go like this. You, you used the crap We're doing it. <laughs> if it breaks, though, it's not my fault. Oh, I don't need this. Can I move the mic for like a hot minute just so I have like actual space to shuffle? Uh oh, I think you need the face cam. Eh, he'll fix it when he gets back. He'll fix it when he gets back. How long have you been playing for, man? Um, I played Magic for like a decade. Okay. Did competitive like nuts. Um, but <laughs> competitive nuts? I've never heard of. Right. That. No. Did <laughs> did the competitive scene like a lot. Um, and then quit. Uh, I've been playing this since uh, what Monarch Unlimited. Okay. So it's been. What was the year? Was that July, June last year? Something like that. Yeah, it's almost a year. Best part of all of this is I get to take next weekend off. Ooh. Uh, how long have you been playing? Yeah, it was. Oh, oh nice. Okay, cool. Uh, overspent on a lot of Monarch first. <laughs> yeah. Still my favorite set. I love that set. I like it a lot for drafts. Um, I think it's just awful for sealed. Like, just the worst sealed format. I've actually never played it sealed, but I also think that sealed is just a bad format in general. Yeah, and, uh, mostly true. I like it a lot for tails, but I think tails is just a guys. Game. We are working on the tabletop feed. We understand it just went down. We will bring it back up right now. I didn't do it. So let them know. You might have done it. Um, um, you like ta you like tail sealed? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> What's wrong with Tail Seal? It's Briar. It's basically yeah. Briar Bust. Well, you I mean you can't really play uh, Lexi, but. No, Lexi's unplayable and sealed. <laughs> um, Unless you open, like, New Horizon and a bunch of good lightning cards. I mean, it's true. I guess I probably like it just because I did really well in the calling that was sealed. <laughs> you go with Lexi? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I went. Like X one with my Briar deck on day one, because uh, Briar. Yeah, Briar, Briar <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, draft format sweet. Yeah. That's what I was. Uh, <clears throat> I scrubbed out of the the calling, uh, but I was like so hyped to draft, and two of my buddies made the draft portion. Yeah, and I was like, just like if you don't know what to do, just draft Blue Earth. Oh, and draft Old Earth. Yeah, it's so safe. No one realizes how safe. Yep. And easy it is in draft. And they both, one drafted Briar, one drafted Lexi, and there was like three Briars, one Lexi, and an Olden in their pot. It was yeah. Just like... yeah, I went, um, I got to draft twice. I was at table one draft pod, the second. And uh, 
I played against Michael Fang in that pod where he was the Earth old him. Um, so good. Yeah, I had the winning in for top eight, but didn't get there. I had I had the Earth Ice old him deck, and uh, yeah, played against a Briar deck that just did way too much arcane. But yeah, that Earth deck, like it came down to one to one. And he just had like one extra damage on the turn. Because we were both just, you know, defense reacting. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you as a human being. Is, is that what we're supposed to do? What? Appreciate you as a human being. I mean, I appreciate it. All right, I'll do it. You don't, you don't have to if you don't want to, Jeremy. I'm not going <laughs> to force you to do anything you don't want to do or you're not comfortable doing. That makes me appreciate you more as a human being. <laughs> I know how to, how to talk to you. <laughs> You said you wanted to go first. Yeah, I'll go first. I'm done shuffling my handwriting. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Real fun. Uh, I think we're waiting. Yeah, guys, wait a couple minutes here while we try to bring the stream back up. Yeah, man. Unacceptable. I'll allow it this one time. Only because you said you were going to send me nudes. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to <laughs> It was wonderful to have on camera right before we got started here. Huh? Side, it wasn't me. Side. All right. Oh, sorry. I need to cut that. Yeah. All right, guys. We are back. Good luck in the finals. Let's make sure we have our judge, we have judge cool. presence to get started, I believe. Sure. I need to see if this works. Oh, it does. Oh, no. This is, like, impossible to read with. Make sure, though. Good enough. Audio is still running. The <clears> mics are on. Yeah, a bunch of these sources are intentionally and will be intentionally muted. I swear I didn't break anything. No, you're fine. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Thank you. All right. Tune to get scanner? Yep. I'll shift over here a little bit. You did it. Remember to it? I did. You succeeded. Step one complete. <laughs> Step two, play the rest of the game. <laughs> 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 you basically already won. <laughs> Step one repeats every turn, though. It's a whole new game. <laughs> you could just forget again. New, new cards. Oh, no. Re re remember. Remember <laughs> Tunic. Must remember Tunic. Oh, man. I uh, I played against the guy who had Tunic right like in his... Uh, oh, right, like actually here. Right here. Yeah. And I was like, that's brilliant. I don't think you're allowed to do Howard, that. Howard, I'm getting messages like from people watching this stream right. saying, let them play all the banned cards. <laughs> Ooh! Give me some plunder runs, please. I, I, I don't have I like this. That's way better for him oh, than yeah, it is yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're seeds. not going to allow that. Give me seeds. I get to put in Autumn's even. Touch and Awakening, and he yeah. gets yeah, seeds yeah, and plunder yeah, runs. Let's go! Let's go. Hard pass, please. I think, I think oh. we might get in trouble. Yeah, that will go, we'll just that stick will go to the... very well for one person at this table. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stick to the existing man. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go Arsenal Pass. Sure. I think so. Positive? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. all right. <laughs> I regret my decision. <laughs> this is already the best stream ever. Yeah. Oh, I got my crayons. Also, it... we have donuts. Uh, I'm not going to do that on the stream. But... That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Writing with a crane is very hard, just so you know. Oh, I know. I, I, I couldn't write a zero. I can get a knife and sharpen it. It's already kind of. Okay. So, can you get my, my pretty dice out of there? Yeah, of course. <laughs> my lucky dice. I have one floating. What's happening here? I have shackled. Two. At your face. I don't like it. No floating. <laughs> Two is good. Right. God damn it, there's a crayon here. We've done it. <laughs> <sighs> We've drawn blood. This All is right. the worst. <laughs> Why did I agree to this? Oh, uh, that's true. I do. <laughs> you get bigger crayons. I have bigger crayons. <laughs> I will exude all of my confidence for seven. One card in hand. Nothing, nothing floating. No blocks. Nine. Ooh. Spicy. Okay. Uh, Twenty-nine. Great. Awakening can't save you now. God, if only it could. 
point nine. My turn. There is. Gonna... No, this feels kind of spooky. Darvo. You remembered the things. I did. I generally do. Oh no. I don't like this. Uh, let me yep. move this one for you real quick. Hey. Uh, 11, Dominic, go again. Hits, discard two cards, etc., etc., etc. I don't discard them. Yeah, that's true. That is a myth. My bad. That is a myth. Random cards from my hand, put them on the bottom. <clears throat> Oh, that's not fun. I think I'd just take 11. Um, was I prepared for this? <laughs> Can't roll the d4. Whatever. Do you need me to get you You're fine. I got one. One, two, three, four. Uh, that one. Bottom? Yes. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that one. Great. Great. Everyone was happy about this. I hope not. Great. I kind of just hope that I'm happy about it. Great. Forward go again. That's from Arsenal? Yeah. Yeah. Forward the Frostbite. Okay. You got it. Can you get my little? Why don't we just do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing it on purpose. I am needy. We're <laughs> here to serve. Uh, Arsenal pass. Yep. Uh, what did you swing at me with? It was a blizzard. So you Arsenal the Evergreen? Yeah. The blue Evergreen. Yeah. Check a one. Invert existence. Why are you in the deck again? I'll take it. <coughs> Great. Uh, I have. Oh, I don't have a frost. Oh, nice. Hey, oh, I should have just taken the frost. Alright, uh, Shekel. Two. Shekel two, huh? I mean, like, no, 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 go again. No, just two go again. Cards? Three. They are rectangular. Rectangular. Mm. 
That coming at me. Yep. Um, tunic crown. Yep. Sorry, I don't know what the rec correct verb like, yeah, yeah, yeah. way to it's, say it's, while yeah, it's coming yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the probably not stuff. that. In the layer stuff. Thank you. Before, Pro probably before, not the other one. Yeah, you don't yeah. like that one? Before exude resolve. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I have a crown. It's it's yeah. chilling. Yep. Um, <laughs> Don't have to go again. We got what two cards over there? I do. We haven't played a non-attack action. Sure we haven't. Turn tunic. Yep. No starve. He's heavy. My cards is kind of a lot. Yeah. Uh, yep. No, I was playing. Hits me in the face. Yeah, we can 
Oh, okay, sorry. Good to go. Yep. Seven, go again. Oh, I forgot to take this off. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I think it's just this is a corner. Thinking? Mm -hmm. So actually what I did is I took, you know the new blue one? It just intimidates. Yeah, yeah, I put I took because I only got one classic battle. I took two sand sketch out from the third two in. Thinking to be more consistent, I'd be able to hold my notes better and make sure get things out. Yeah, you know what? I think people are starting to realize. Like, mm -hmm. With six what do you call them? Yep. Three, four, five, six. Oh, because you can use There's six pitch, yeah. Yeah. Two in a row, yeah. I, Chain doesn't cost I don't know, maybe you just don't understand. Yeah. Because I immediately was like, perfect. It's late in the day. I looked up the other two cards and didn't even think to bother with them. Yep, you're good. So what you're thinking about is, yeah, but how about you get is that why you're running club? Like you just you're just doing something and then you do club. Like, I feel like I'm always resource strapped, or I never have enough cards to actually do two things. So really, to me, I've always looked at sand sketch as just a uh, as just a, a, a better attempt at intimidating. Because I don't feel like a beat band or a massacre to try and make them more effective. So in my head, I'm like. It's just like a 1.5 intimidating because I'm almost, I almost never have um, to That's the block. You take five? Yep. So, I don't know. Go to 17. Pass. Sure. Soon to get some counter. Yeah. Starvo still doesn't Starvo. Oh, man. Agreed. Everyone is sad about it. <laughs> I wish I could believe you. <laughs> the viewers at home are crying. Uh, I'm going to pop the Greater Fist. Ooh, spicy tomatoes. And I'm going to come in for 11. 11? One floating. One floating, one in two. Yeah. <coughs> so I have to block seven? Uh, no, I need block eight. It's 11, so if you want to go again, you need to block um, eight, yes. Great. This is eight. Yeah. That's math. I'm afraid of that. But I think it's okay. So we're taking three? Yes. 13? Yep. Personal pass? Yep. Like is dead. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And two, three, and four. You you never unless you're unless for hand although it's getting a really good deal. It's kind of a wild world we live in right now, you know? What are the other two cards? Uh minimalism and beat the chair. Okay, okay so Alright, we vibing, we grooving. 
Going and getting a card called Minoism Orange. That's all I'm saying. Oh, thank you. I got it. Make a... Wrench here? Yeah. Uh, sure. <coughs> Small space? Yep. One arcane and four arcane. Yeah. Go again. Yep. One in Arsenal, ghostly business still. Don't like it. Thinking about the bar. You did it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Go again. Four? Two floating. Yeah. 
That seems good for me or bad for me. <laughs> what the fucking world we live in. Sorry, pardon my French. <laughs> <laughs> Two run blocks. Go to five. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't do math. Yeah. My cram. That's why I got the cram. Shackles be kind. Shackles be kind. Come on, Shane. I never asked you for anything in your whole life besides the last like eight games. See, Bane. Alright, let's see. Okay. <coughs> My turn is uh, Shackle. And I see you. I take three. Let's see. Please tell me you have the wrong colored crayons. So I do it uh, two. <sighs> no, wrong crayons. We said wrong crayons. Don't like that. Don't like that. Cards you got in your hand? Four. I can't count. Yep. So you go down to one here. Go down to one. And then I have. Have a good night. Suppose I just have an attack. Yeah. Attack for four. Uh, creepers and four. Okay. Arsenal pass. Yep. Here, uh, two cards, three cards in hand. Three cards in hand. Cool. I cannot believe it. I was thinking about toning off the little. Yeah. I still heal four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I potentially lose creepers. Mm. And I go punish. That will, yeah. Figure out how to kill you. 
from something. You let me know. <laughs> let us all know, please. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't get another turn here, so. <clears throat> Can't believe you didn't die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you and me both. You and say, me both, think, buddy. Kind of <laughs> like, Holy crap. We're going to start with uh, the Shadow Verser. Two, or, uh, two go again. Uh, two go again because... Because I said so. No, go ahead. Banish the you banished the Ghostling. So we have one card in hand then? Those oh, this came from the file. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, <coughs> how do we do this? <laughs> what everyone at home is asking yeah. right now. <laughs> Actually, the real question is, how do I mess this up? Because I think it's on me to kind of mess it up. <coughs> so... What's this? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess no matter what, I tax your pool anyway, so... Uh, block the two. Uh, you get a frostbite. Uh, I would like to decline. <laughs> decline the frostbite? Yes. I don't think it's a May effect. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Shit, he's got me. You got me on the ropes, buddy. Okay. Sure. Uh, so these are gonna clear out. This is gonna go away. Two floating, we have go again, we got action points, we got everything. Okay, that generates the action points. Ghostly visit uh, does not have go again. Sure doesn't. Yes, it doesn't. It doesn't trigger on ghostly. Oh, sorry, I'm all the way around. Okay, good. I'm thinking about Malrin's guys. So, four right now, your hands up. I would, uh, I mean, if I can map this out, right? <coughs> just, just take like three awakenings, put them in your hand, and then put uh, expose to the elements in there. Let's uh, just crown to begin with. Yep. And then let's block for uh, three. Okay. I have two floating. Seven. None of my attacks seem to do seven. Good game, man. Yeah, everybody. We got something. It was a valiant effort at survival with the tome. Yeah, but it turns out Crippling Crush is an okay card. <laughs> when you, when you can't have block it, oh yeah, man. It would have been fine if I had blocks of Anything. Did you not have an attack in hand? I, I had didn't two, see what you, I I had two like, non attacks and two no blocks. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I was like, like why I wouldn't felt, you just give it a turn? Felt, I felt so good going into that turn, and then the two no blocks and two non attacks, it's like, even just an. Even a freaking. Uh, did, did you? You had the tome uh, on that turn, though. Huh? You had the tome on that turn. I couldn't tell him because I didn't have an attack to block with. Yeah, you have to block with an attack to trigger yeah. the boots. Uh, yeah, so you can like use them. So you're kind of just stuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. That's right. You're good, man. It's all because was, you didn't have an attack. I think very lucky for me, very unlucky for you, <laughs> if I had to say so. <laughs> so you guys, I want to take a second, first of all, to congratulate both of you. <laughs> Second of all, to point out that you just played in a finals of the top eight in front of 150 people at the top of your game. So congratulations to both of you. So let's take a second. If you guys got the time, 
Uh, I will sit down. I would love to chat with the player who finished in second place first, and then chat with the winner, and then maybe distribute prizes at that point. Yeah. And if I talk to these guys, sure. I'll put your frame back in the box. Talk, let the good oh, people no. on, the, uh, on the YouTubes get back to their day. Works for me. I'm so proud of you for playing with crabs. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> really, really brought the meme home. Hold on. Well, what are you doing with my prop? He, I think he deserves the entire prop. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You know what? This is the ultimate prize. You may pick a crab to remember Starbo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with our second place finisher. Dude, how are you feeling right now? You're you're like a warrior. You're putting away the weapons and the armor for the day. It was a good battle, and I gotta tell you, what a showing! Taking chain all the way to second place of a 64-person pro quest. That's gotta feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels great. Uh, Zach played really well all weekend, so uh, no complaints. Uh, just drew a really terrible hand at a really terrible time. So, you know, sometimes the cards flip that way, but I can tell you're having a good day because yeah. I feel like you and I have been having conversations all day long. So yeah. it must be a darn good day for you. It was a great day. It was a great day. Great, great event hosted by Min Max. Um, so yeah, it was awesome. If there anything in that game that you thought could have gone differently, uh, you know, I've asked your opponents this a lot today. I've never had to ask you. Is there a point that you thought? Something could have gone differently that might have edged you out and got you the win. Yeah, I mean, that, that turn he presented the crippling crush there at the end. If I draw an attack, I just need one attack. I block, I tome out of Arsenal. Um, I still have a turn. I can block at least reasonably well and heal. Uh, and I'm not stuck at one. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, that was was not the the out I was given, and sometimes that's just the hand you dealt. So all right. He, I mean, he played great all day. Well, that is awesome. Well, he played great all day, and I want to give you a shout out. You played great all day, and you've been an awesome member of the community. You've been super communicative with people playing against. You've been warm and welcoming in the whole environment. So thank you so much, and congrats on the second place finish. Yeah. You got you got big plans. You you won one yesterday, so I guess yeah. you finished second today. That's not that bad. Uh, no, just going to France. That's it. You're yeah. going to France? Yeah. Let's go. Well, congratulations, congratulations to all you guys and I'm sure everyone likes give one final message to the people out there that watch you play literally all day long yeah uh, thanks everybody for watching shout out to the loops um, and my family thanks all right man congratulations good game thanks, man. and then finally we need our champion to slot back in over here all right, as we wind down the giant 64-person event, I am here with our champion. I'm gonna call on the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our champion. That was Peter's embarrassingly high voice in the background. How do you feel right now? It's been a long day of grinding, man. Good, great. I won. Well, <laughs> so, Starvo won, I was just there. Okay, so you took Starvo, you won the ProQuest. Does it hurt at least a little bit that you haven't helped him get to Living Legend? You're, just, uh, you're, you're like a week or two behind. Right? Yeah, I tried in the last Pro Quest season. <laughs> I didn't get there, but I think everybody else did a good job of making it happen. Okay, um, what made today's run different, right? You said you tried in the last Pro Quest. Yeah. You've been to a couple of them now. What made today's run different of them from the other ones? I didn't play any mirrors. Um, in the last Pro Quest, I, Starbo was rampant, obviously. And so I didn't play... <laughs> I won this Pro Quest playing zero Starbos and zero Prisms. That is absurd. Okay. There's no way. Um, but I went through, what, four chains? Um, yeah. I 9 0, so I didn't lose a game today. Um, lucky, very lucky. I, like, I had cards do things that they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> um, you know, if my opponent's hands were different than what I expected it to do, like in that match, that Crippling Crush uh, actually got him to discard cards. Just like I thought, and take damage, I thought it was just going to make him discard cards. Um, so, yeah, just that's the biggest difference is I didn't play any Starbow Mirrors, which is what I was. 50-50 on okay. in the past, and then I didn't play any Prism today, so... But you played a bunch of Chain. Did you come into this event teched against Chain and ready for it? Um, not really. I Literally, literally I played the Calling Winning List. Like, I, card for card. Okay. Um, it's a great list. I, it was very... Like, I didn't want to play Art of War. I have no Art of Wars in, my, in, in that deck. I didn't change it. Um, I never liked Art of War in the list. Okay. I didn't really want to be defensive. I just want to be attacking and make them have it. Um, and it worked out really well for me. Like, I don't want to go to second cycle 
or anything. I'm not <laughs> trying to do that. So, yeah, I just uh, hit them, and they died. It was great. <laughs> well, that is the best definition. And you, finally, you got your invite. You Good. got it. Are you going to make it? Are you planning on going? I'll try my best. We'll see. That is awesome. Well, one more big congratulations. Thank you so much. And for one last time, you got over 100 people watching you, checking you out now. What do you got to say to the people watching you? Any words of advice, any words of encouragement, or anything you want to say at all? Yeah, I mean, hopefully we put on some good games. Um, you know, good thing Starbo's gone. Chain's next, and we'll see what the meta looks like after that. Well, congratulations one more time to the champ. Round of applause. You rock, dude. Good luck on the gold foil pole. Thanks. And to you guys, thank you guys for hanging out all day long. This has been the ProQuest at MinMax Games. 64 players, over 64 people here hanging out, jamming fab all day long. Thank you guys for hanging out. Remember to click, click subscribe and follow for more stuff like this. It's a pleasure just to hang out with you guys and talk and jam flesh and blood all day long. You know me. I'll be around. But until next time, my name is Josh, and we will see you around. Take it easy, everyone.